Good morning, good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. I wish that tune was available as a ringtone because I think we'd all be downloading it, wouldn't it? What a fabulous way to start the day. And here at Sewing Street, we have got a fabulous morning ahead of us. We've got some fabulous things to share with you. Beautiful gold work that we're going to be chatting about. Wonderful kits as well that we'll be sharing with you throughout the morning. But you know how it works here. We kick off with an early bird. And this is our way of saying thank you to you for joining us so early early in the morning also means you're going to get a cracking deal and this is a deal that everybody should take advantage of because it's a staple it's one of those things that you should have in your sewing pantry so as you can see we have got a fabulous deal with regard to your 100% cotton ivory fabric now you get two and a half meters now obviously it's not as exciting as some of the fabrics we bring to you but it's what you do with it it's one of those bread and butter items that we need and it's a stash essential you're looking at two and a half meters here for 18 pounds and 95 pence of course you're not looking at that price there's the chevrons the price is coming down and you can see just 14 pounds and 95 pence less than 15 pounds you are getting two and a half meters of beautiful white cotton fabric beautifully smooth so it's absolutely gorgeous as a staple to go in the back on the back of your projects your quilts to do those little practice pieces potentially can i suggest as well if you are into your gold work you're going to love this because this is a fabulous super smooth base for you to work on and myself and maria were having a chat about this and um, before we went live and she was saying because of the, the nature of the work you need to have something that's a brilliant quality cotton so this is fabulous and bringing in hoops if you are into your gold work as I know many of you are you can see if you're two and a half meters you are going to get a lot of those pieces that you're going to be able to embroider so if you fancy getting hold of yours the details are on the screen lots of you getting involved with this as well absolutely loads of these um, going into people's baskets you can go for multiples but I don't think it comes as a continual run because I think it's already pre-cut um, but if it does come as a continual run bit of a bonus isn't it but we're going to cut it up anyway so yeah they are already cut to order so there we go just had that confirmed from head office um, so ET6648 if you fancy getting hold of this go for multiples you need to be going for this at least once if you are a sewer because you will have a purpose for this I am sure and we had huge quantities of these and already half of the stock has gone this is one of the most popular stars of um, early bird specials because whenever we do like a monochrome a single color always popular because you can't go far wrong with it you might have a project in mind already brilliant straight away you can start using it but it's not going to go out of date it's not going to go off it's going to be one of those ones that you will be going to as and when you need it which is why i suggest you go for at least one of these and if you are running a little bit low on your ivory cotton then why not treat yourself to a couple of those it is the sort of price that you want to stock up on so brilliant quality absolutely fabulous two and a half meters um, a beautiful one to work with and uh, yeah so many different opportunities so yeah take advantage while you can so today what have we got ahead behind beside that early bird well i gave you a little bit of a sneaky mention there we've got a brand new company that we are introducing to you here at sewing street but not a brand new company to myself because i've worked with the lovely maria before and i know you are going to love what she's bringing then we've got pat and mark in the building they are back at 9 a.m it's like a little trip down memory lane for me this morning so looking forward to that uh, and that's where you can be able to see the fabulous quilt that I just introduced you to a few moments ago then Maria is going to be back with more gold work embroidery um, and uh, that's kind of the thread that's running through the morning <laughs> do you see what I did there and then at 11 a.m we've got Pat and Mark back with one of my favorite um, fabric collections the French General and loads of beautiful kits for you to take advantage of and then I am going to be here from 12 through to 1 um, telling you a little bit about some of the quilting um, tools we're able to bring to you here at Sewing Street as well. So it'd be lovely if we've got your company throughout the morning. Now, the website is really easy for you to work with um, because you can watch us live, as you can see, just by simply clicking on that button. And what that will do is it will give you the opportunity for you to um, message into us here. So there you go, you can type whatever message you like. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to keep in touch, questions that you want to ask, comments that you're wanting to make. Also gives you the opportunity to check out some of the fabulous products that we're bringing to you as well. And we've got all sorts 
of gorgeous gorgeousness coming so many beautiful threads you're going to love these as well and if you love your embroidery but are new to um, gold work then don't worry we'll be telling you all about that i um, have got a little smattering of quilting there as well so um, to uh, kind of scratch that quilting bug um, it should I say that we have got that there and I have got the tablet open so if you do want to contact us via social media Facebook then you can do I think I've gone through everything have we ticked everything off the list Ben I think we have um, but so yeah we'll have a little look at some, what we've got coming up I've got the fabulous team here we've got Charlie we've got Ben we've got Levi myself and Maria Hello, good baby. morning Maria good morning. how are you I know it's yes. early isn't it <laughs> it's early for me welcome yeah, really welcome well, thank you. yeah now welcome to Sewing Street although you um, have already been several times over on Hobby Maker because you kind of uh, kind of cross over into different areas yeah I mean you? I started with Hobby Maker um, in January okay. this year um, and for continued shows I've had about five or six I had one yesterday you did it was fabulous um, if you're into your block printing yeah. do go and have a little look although it was pretty much a complete sellout but it's good to watch <laughs> well it's good to watch because I use the designs that I've actually got on the show today is the, the tree yes. and also the Tiffany Rose there are actually our wood blocks oh. so if you fancied actually printing your own fabrics with those wood blocks or doing more gold work you know if you don't buy kits yes basically um you can buy them there on that channel which is on the hobby maker website fabulous as well so yeah so if you wanted to you know have both you can, you do. can do i yeah. love it but mentioning brand new company which is old made new yeah. um so for anybody that wants to know a little bit about your company and gold work as well because yeah. this might be a new area to some um basically the company started in 2020 and i graduated in 2020 as a textile conservator okay i did my dissertation on gold work embroidery so i didn't know nothing about it in 2020 <laughs> <laughs> until i had to do a lot of research and that's how I learned how to do the traditional methods of gold work embroidery. And there's only four which actually will bring you into the taster kit, which I'll start with today. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, so basically the company's been going now for three years. It's getting stronger, which is lovely. It's fabulous to hear. And more new designs. And also the actual gold work itself was, comes from the 12th century, probably earlier. Um, Egyptians used gold threads in their periods. And am I right in thinking you get involved with kind of conservation work in, in kind of stately homes and things like that, That's repairing right. things? I remember us having a conversation about yeah. it. Yeah, I work with National Trust throughout, for five years I've been with the National Trust. I also work for private clients and collections in museums. Wow. Um, so I recently worked with the Cromwell Museum, which was really fascinating. Cromwell Museum? Yeah, that's 16th oh my century. Wow. Um, actually touching his belongings, which <gasps> is amazing. Wow. Yeah, which is really the hat is over 400 year old. Oh my goodness. And it's in really good condition as well because I had to look at the condition. <laughs> wow, yeah. what a thrill. Amazing. Although, thrilling but terrifying in yeah. equal measures, I should imagine. Yeah, it's amazing. Wow. But that's where I get some of my inspiration as well for the designs I do. So everything's based on heritage. It's based on the natural um, sort of materials that were used. I tried to get as close as possible how it would be done yes. hundreds of years ago. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So everything is very, very authentic. And I mean, you can see um, this is a piece here that's got kind of little pieces on there. We'll be talking more as time goes on. But I mean, some of the pieces, the detail that you've got. And for anybody that's already done a little bit of hand embroidery, will we see some of those skills coming through with this? Or is yes. it totally different? Yeah, I get a lot of people that have done cross stitch that probably want to bring in a little element of gold work into that. Um, today with mixed media things are moving on where people are mixing techniques. Mm. So you just get your traditional embroidery, which some of my kids have, plus also you get the metal work in there, just to bling it up really a bit, you know, to make it look a bit more interesting. But also you are learning a new skill when Absolutely. you, you know, I love it. Ooh, so exciting. Right, so where shall we start? Now, you mentioned the taster kit. Now, I've got the taster kit to the side of me here. Um, uh, and we will have a little look at this in a few moments. And this um, is brilliant because everything is beautifully packaged. There's a lot of pride goes in these um, kits, I can tell. Yeah. And this is going to help you create the most incredible piece. Um, if you're wanting to do it the way that uh, it can be intended, it's entirely up to you. It's free reign, I suppose, really. When I was doing my dissertation and I was doing the research, I couldn't find anything on the market okay. for a beginner to actually start gold work. 
Um, the actual wording in gold work is quite complicated even because you're using traditional wording like passing threads yes pearl, a pearl wire yeah. so i mean you know if as a beginner i would, didn't even know what that was Different so language. i developed this kit which actually is one of my best sellers okay and everything you need to know about gold work you've got your four basic methods in there which is what i'm going to demonstrate i today love as it well. and in the box you've got everything that you need so when you get your box and you open it this is what you will find so you are going to find your instruction sheet in here and we've actually got this made up in the studio and it looks absolutely incredible and that's where you see all of those beautiful threads coming together there but you don't have to worry everything is in there so everything you need to know the materials that are included so you can do a little tick list if you're wanting to suggestions of additional bits and things uh, pieces you might need you're going to need your scissors you're going to need fabric glue um, a little bit of yellow cotton thread and a hoop of course if you are struggling for things like the hoops we have got those available so i will mention those as the hour progresses but always oh, is a proper treat opening this box oh, so well, i love it it is beautiful it's a lovely gift for anybody as well um the glossary we were talking about the different phrases there it's kind of uh, deciphering all of those different phrases that you'll encounter but i like this because this is the kind of the original language i suppose it relating is. to the art yeah. so that is beautiful that's in there and then oh what have we got here so what have we got in here then well basically we've got your faux leather which okay. is actually for the padding which is on the demonstration i'll show you that first lovely so you're going to learn how to pad do your padding in gold work um it's pre-printed so you haven't got any tracing to do so Perfect. you can literally put that in your hoop lovely and you're ready to go oh now what we've got in here <gasps> oh all sorts of gorgeous now <laughs> oh my goodness look at these oh wow so you've got your skeins there with your metallics which is lovely now we've got these little kind of bobbins what are these bobbins these bobbins are the passing threads oh, okay. um, which actually i was mentioning to you so basically passing thread is actually outlining shapes okay and again you with gold work embroidery and as they did in hundreds of years ago they never went through the fabric they oh. couched everything everything so was it couched. sits on the top yeah because oh, okay. traditionally that would have been made out of copper or wires wow. that were coated um, some of them were real gold so you what? get percentages <gasps> of gold oh my goodness i know so basically everything didn't go through a fabric it actually was couched on and it sat on top which Beautiful. I'm going to demonstrate. Wonderful. Anyway. So you've got that. I love this because you've got a little bit of everything that you need. Yeah. Um, incidentally, we have got additional um, L, um, bits and pieces. So if you know exactly what you need to shop for, for other things that you've got, then by all means go for it. Oh, now what we've got here. This is the wire. Okay. This is pearl wire. Um, it's different to the pearl threads, metallic threads. Um, pearl wire is much more stronger in strength. It's made of copper okay. and it's coated, so it's got you get those different to colours. It, actually, yeah. it is. It's quite a heavy, fab heavy wire to work with. And it's spelt P U R L. P U R L. Yeah. So almost like knit and pearl, pearl, rather than pearl as in P E A R L, as yeah. in pearlescent. So okay yeah. lovely like that and then oh now this is a fabulous bag of goodies because it's got your uh, needles in there a couple of different types of needles you need two needles you need a tapestry needle which has actually got a big eye um, nice which actually is for your parson thread to go through that makes me happy yeah <laughs> um so basically if you are plunging they call it to go through the actual, okay. just to put the end of the thread into the fabric um, you'll need a big needle and then you've got the finer needle for your couching and just got, using your normal oh cotton. my goodness so much sparkle in there yeah. I love it now um, we've gone through everything and I don't think there's anything else in the bottom of the box there so I'm going to pop everything back in there stock updates we are incredibly busy we only have 10 of these kits left we started off with really good quantities of these and um, we've actually got 21 people with this in their basket so half of those people are going to miss out on these and have a look at the beautiful piece that you're going to be able to create with this taking the inspiration as you can see from the packaging and the leaflet that's in there so if you fancy getting involved you better be quick um, so the details are on the screen and to have everything in there as a starter kit for gold work as you said earlier marie it's really yeah. tricky to find that so, it yeah. is and also i mean it, it took me weeks to research it it really did because there is just so many different metals out there and as i've gone on for three years developing the company 
I found some fantastic metal threads. Ooh. Some are all like sort of like Rococo ones, oh, which wow. are a bit more curly. Yes. So I'm hoping to bring that for the future for shows. Oh, I love so it. Just Can't wait. It's, you know, just something a bit different to work with. Oh, it's exciting. Starting yeah. on that journey. Um, now, the details are up on your screen. So if you fancy getting involved, then you can do. And isn't it lovely and refreshing that we've got a brand new guest here? Because we never know how you guys are going to um, receive these new kind of areas of sewing. But I can tell you, we are incredibly busy. And it's lovely that maybe you're getting into a new area of um, embroidery maybe it's a case of that something that you've always loved but you've always struggled to get hold of the right quality tools then um, yeah this is the place to do it we've only got four kits left we better get into a demo really I suppose with this <laughs> should we or shall I show you some of the bits and pieces first yeah because if everything sells out before we get to it, then yeah, you're going to be cross with me. So only got two of those starter kits, um, 25 people waiting for those. So there's going to be another show with this. So good luck. I'm going to step back now and let you just fight that one out yourselves. Now, another beautiful kit that um, I'm, I'm sure many of you jumped ahead and had a little look at this one. And we've got this one on the counter as well over by Maria. So um, already you know what you're shopping for. We've only got 13 of these available. Potentially, if you're trying to check out your basket with the Goldworks Haster kit, you may find that you're getting the, the kind of uh-oh situation there. So why not have a little look at this festive tree? Absolutely beautiful. Again, a fabulous piece. When you look at the finished article with this oh Maria this is beautiful it's got a very modern contemporary look to it but I like the way that kind of fuses yeah. with the, the I mean, antique feel with working with the threads um, actually the actual design really works well yeah because the threads sort of lean to the pattern mm -hmm. um, so I tried to make it a bit more contemporary but it's still got the traditional method in there but this would be lovely for a table runner yes on the ends of it with yeah. a tassel hanging at the end I could just yeah. see that or maybe if you're doing quilting it's actually a perfect shape the actual triangle to fit onto a quilt oh, so you could actually idea. just have that yes. as the center of your quilt yeah. and then you know work around that um, I will mention that the, the tree itself has been embellished with some beautiful pieces that we've got in a fabulous bundle that we'll be coming to in a few moments the little rosettes and the additional bits and pieces but I'll tell you about those in a few moments but concentration on the tree itself we've only got eight of those kits left 23 in baskets right I better get a move on hadn't I so you can get your instructions again you're going to get your printed panel with your gorgeous piece in there it's a bit tricky for me to show you but it's kind of like a grey tone because you don't want it to stand out too no, much I guess that's right but it's strong enough to see it yeah if it was in black and if you actually missed say the line then you'd see that and it's nothing more frustrating than seeing little bits of lines underneath but you can always come around with that. You can actually double your threads with that or put some beads over that. So There's always a way. Yeah, there's there? always a way. Um, and I do apologise. I did mention that the embellishments weren't included with this. I got myself a little bit mixed up. And you have got a few embellishments, but more of these are in the other kits that we've got as well. Down to three of these. Beautiful. And almost like little tinsel threads there. That is a lovely one. That is, is that called beautiful? Parson's Red Glitter. It's actually like a Czech Bright. Czech Bright is actually a faceted wire. Okay. So that's why it looks like it's glittery. It's but beautiful. it's lovely because the glitter doesn't come off. It's actually embedded into the, or, you know, so the coils. Oh, it's actually sold out now. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> you know, when we said, we'll see how it goes, Maria. Yeah, that's Within, right. what, what, 20 minutes into the show, um, both of those kits are sold out. My goodness. Okay. So but I suppose we've got to chat about though. things that you can shop. Well, we'll get to the demo. Yeah. We'll still be doing demos, so don't worry. But yeah. the embellishments, let me tell you about the embellishments, because this is, it's almost like a freestyling set, this, it isn't is. it? Which I love. So you're going to get, in fact, I already started delving, so let's, <laughs> let's, let's close up. I can't help myself. Um, festive box of gold, as you can see, with regards to this. Beautiful, as you can see there. A little bit of ideas and inspiration. I'm going to open this up and show you. Now, these boxes, can they vary in the content? It's they a bit of a lucky dip. Yeah, they do. I mean, there is actually exactly the same amount of fabric in there and exactly the same amount of borders, but they are slightly varied. Okay. So uh, because they, when I buy in from India, the, the actual sari borders, I only can buy nine metres ago because they oh. do them by hand. Of course. And, and I suppose that's yeah. the, the length that they need for the saris. So quite rare, really. Yeah. But so, yeah. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. I mean, it's like a little storyboard in its own right, isn't it? But look at this. You're so generous with the contents of these. And these are beautiful little sequins and beads and gorgeous embroidery threads there. 
absolute amazing quality and so bountiful. There's loads in here. Oh, you're gonna have a load of fun with this. I know, they're lovely. Those are called gotters. Gotters? Um, and they're actually for bridal wear. Okay. And they're meant to be like lucky coins. Oh, so really? So when they're pleated, they actually are hand pleated, as you can see. But I use them for table decorations, for napkin oh, rings. Lovely, you know, little napkin ring be made with one, yeah. That'd be for Christmas. Beautiful. So it's called a festive box of gold because, it, to me, it's like a Christmas box. It is. And you can literally, you know, embellish your Christmas items with that. It's joyous. I mean, you've got little tassels in there. You've yeah. got little MDF um, snow uh, flakes in there. You've got little rings, loads of beads and sequins, little bugle beads in there, seed beads as well. Um, more of that gorgeous ribbon coming through with lots of shimmer and sparkle and the most incredible pieces of fabric oh my goodness it's going yeah. on and on and on this piece they are the lovely little wow bases. and also if you're doing journaling like yes. if you've got a beautiful page or you want to cover one of your books um you know basically they are really really lovely to have oh my goodness this is joyous absolutely yeah. beautiful you have got so much in there you've got your base fabrics there and you can build up the designs take inspiration from the kits if you've gone down that route or maybe check out the block printing that we mentioned from the show yesterday over on Hobby Maker with Maria and utilise those blocks that you may well have purchased, but use them in a different way as embroidery bases. This is flying out. This is flying out. We had huge quantities of these, um, but we're down to 20. So um, before we get into the demo, I think we need to have a little bit of a regrouping, so to speak, <laughs> because we're very busy and I'm not quite sure where the rest of the, the hour <laughs> is going to go. So um, we're going to have a little chat with Maria while you can check out the ways that you can shop with us and it's so easy you should keep an eye out for this <laughs> have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on sewing street you can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly uk customer service team just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Oh my goodness, we are so busy and it's so good to have your company. Maria, I know you are loving everything that Maria's um, brought to us. If you have shopped with us already and you've already got your purchase on the um, kind of in the system, why not send a message through to us here at the studio? Because I know Maria is absolutely blown away with how fast everything has been selling. She's back a little bit later on, so we're going to do what we can to try and bring you more stuff a little bit later on. So different focus um, when we come back at um, eleven o'clock, isn't it? We're back. No, no, yeah. no not ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Had to think where we were so yeah so absolutely brilliant so uh, yeah so maria um i think probably the the best thing we can do is get into a demo because yeah. i've got nothing else to show you at the moment what i'm going to demo is actually the gold work kit because um they've got your four basic methods and even if you bought the christmas tree it's still got the same methods in there and this will be the so same method if you just traced out a design exactly from your freehand or whatever you want yeah or if you okay. bought, or bought a different design for a blood you know like the wood blocks or anything yes. like that yeah, so basically what I've done is to pre-start, because it does take time, is to actually do the pattern on the centre of the rose. This is called the Cromwell Rose, by the way. Okay. And um, Because this was actually on his sword. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And you'd know because so, you've probably seen it. Yeah, that, <laughs> I've got there. <laughs> they are heavy, they are, and sharp. So basically what I've done is I actually, in the kit, you've got a little bit of felt. So you'll cut to size the felt and just glue that on with a little bit of fabric glue. Okay. And then you will lay over the faux leather gold. So basically what I'm doing is, is actually just tack stitch that out there. You won't see any of this tack stitching because you're going to now use the parson thread, is, which is what I'm going to show you. So is that you. almost, uh, I'm thinking how I'll reference that back to, to my sense, it's almost like you've appliqued that in place, I'm guessing. That's, it's that's on the right, surface. exactly, okay. yeah. I mean, in gold word terms, they call it padding. Okay. Um, so if you wanted something a bit more raised, even when you're laying over the metal threads, it gives you that bevel That lovely dome well. look, yeah. So if you've seen some gold work, especially in church, 
churches where yes. you see those banners yes. they're all beveled that's how they've done the padding oh, underneath okay but and years ago they used to roll cotton like oh. little rolls yes to raise that so oh, yeah it's love interesting the, love the history behind it yeah fabulous what's next then right so basically this is your parson thread so you've got the silver and the gold in the kit and i've just cut a, len a length when you're cutting this goes on forever you've got about a meter of each okay. color in there when you're cutting it you're just roughly looking at the size you need because you're going to lay and couch that around so basically what i've done is i've folded it in half because i want it double so i'm going to have like double thread going around and for anybody that's new to, to some of these phrases couching is when the the thread sits on the surface of the fabric and you kind of use little stitches to go over it to that's keep it right. in place yeah so using your cotton and thread i use a yellow cotton Okay. Good to men's a really good cotton because it's mesmerised and it doesn't tack. Ah, it's not okay. fluffy. Oh, you I want think something good to men. But yeah. if you have got a cotton that is a bit fluffy, you can use wax to actually oh, condition your thread. It... Yeah, ah. so it strengthens the thread as well. Yeah. There you go, learning so. So basically, much. what I've done is I made a little loop. I've halved it in half, put the needle up through the fabric, and literally going to now just go back underneath, under your um, faux leather, and just pull that through. So that's secure on there now. So you do little by little. I do about five millimetres and then I'll go back. So what I do is I do the first one just to hold in place. So you're coming back up through quite about 10, 10 millimetres across. Okay. Lay that across there, flat, and then back over. So that's your first stitch on the couching. So you're securing that to the fabric. Fabulous. Don't pull it or anything because when you pull it, you can actually have a risk of actually unwinding the gold. So the the passing through is it like a coil? It is. What it is, it's a synthetic coil. Okay. And it's actually like a foil gold that's actually wrapped around. Ah, okay. So right. if you pull it, you're at risk of actually pulling that apart. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. So basically, you just lay. They call it laying. Uh huh. Laying over couch. So basically, you're laying it round. So you already can see it's starting to, again, you do the same thing again, come down a bit further round. Ten, I do about 10 to five millimeters. Now I've noticed you, you've kind of got your hoop in a stand there. So is this that is a lovely. good way? Because you both hands are free then, I suppose, aren't Exactly, they? especially in gold work embroidery. You can mm -hmm. use the seat style, which I've used as well. That's a good one if you've got a seat style. Okay. Yeah, which is really what you've got there. Yeah, yeah. Um, in is gold work embroidery, you do need two hands. Right. And also, you need hands sometimes just to use your tools just to put into the fabrics and the you know the threads back into place. So you're kind of manipulating the thread through. Kind of nudge them, but without kind of forcing them, just gently getting them into place. Um, incidentally, we have got a seat frame um, available on the show as well. I've got it, I haven't got it all set up, but you kind of know what it is from the imagery there. And this is a way for you to actually work um, and keep both hands free, which as you've seen when Maria's working, is kind of key to getting the, the results that you want. Um, so if you do want to get hold of a seat frame, we have got that available for you. Worth popping that into your basket as well, especially if your post and packing is all already taken care of so 27 pounds and 99 pence if you're wanting to get hold of that and you can see very easy for you to work i suppose it's a seat frame but if you wanted to you could use it on a countertop as well if, if you wanted i mean the paddle is meant to go under your leg isn't it when yeah. you're sitting i mean because so. you can raise that hoop up or if ah, you just leave it oh, down the height there yes yeah, so yeah. you can actually just have that down if you're on the table got you uh, but if you want it higher with your legs sort of under yes, yeah. then you can use it that we way useful tool to have it's one of those one-time investments really isn't it because you just use it over and over again so yeah nice idea that one little bit of construction when you put it together but that's just because obviously it'd be a bit box like this if it was already pre-constructed <laughs> yeah it'll be a bigger box but nothing it? complicated <laughs> so yeah you'll have fun with that and we have got the hand hoops as well but i'll tell you about those in a little while the hoops are actually made of their wood effect resin um, my company basically uses sustainable packaging, it uses everything, no plastics. So I, when I'm researching things, I'm always finding something sustainable and environmentally friendly. And these are fantastic. They're resin-based, 
So when you actually pull them apart, they would go a bit like jelly. Okay. But they hold the fabric in so well. They really well, do. Brilliant, because sometimes you've got two different types of hoops, haven't we? We've kind of got working hoops and display hoops. But yeah. these, you could use either, really, Well, I just you? keep them in yeah. once I've done that. I mean, as you see, but you can actually wind them in, because they're a bit sticky. Yes. You don't use oh, them. Oh, OK. Yeah. You kind of roll them in, yeah. You, so you can actually wind in the ribbon. So from the kit, say, you know, like I've done with the gold work kit sample, I've just round some gold. So you wrap it round and then pop it back yeah. in again. Yeah, so if you are winding things on and you want to keep it like a, a colour that you'd want. Yes, yeah. Like some ribbon oh, or something. Like a, yeah. a rubberized feel to it. Yeah, they're nice. I like they? these. I've and not seen these. And if you smell these. them, they've got that sort of tree kind of resin. Oh, it's kind of resin from a tree. Oh, actually, yeah. Can you, yeah, it's like a bit like amber. Yes, it's kind yeah. of gluey, gooky. Oh, sorry, yeah. you got me on camera. No, no, they're nice. <laughs> they <are laughs> but good. they do. But it's not an overpowering smell, so you don't have to worry. Um, and, and can I just mention as well, if you've gone for the early bird, uh, you've got the base fabric there, then you've also got your hoops there as well. Twelve ninety nine. you're getting both of those together. And if you've not seen our early bird, I think it's still available. You'll find that on the website when you're following the show as well. Um, but the hoops by themselves, twelve ninety nine. Um, XF7982, if you fancy getting hold of those. And of course, working hoops but display hoops as well so you could go for multiples of those if you wanted to lovely so how are you getting on over there right. Maria? so i'm halfway already just to show you there but what i'm going to do is i'm going to move on and show you the wire okay because i think if we run out of time then at least i can show you the four basic methods it'll be there lovely <laughs> again you're using the same needle and the same cotton and with the wire i just wanted to show you how you handle the wire no, it comes on, I think it's about a metre length in there as well. Yeah, that's right. That's the, um, oh, no, that's it. not the pearl. No, sorry, that's not that one. Oh, it's okay. The, in the kit, they've got the one that's a bit more rigid. It's the gold and the black. That's in the gold work kit. Oh, okay. And the right. taster kit. We'll have a little rummage yeah. through these in a minute. So basically what it is, it's a wire. It's coiled. It's copper. So it's been coated black. And when you, before you handle it, you roughly measure what you need about halfway. Okay. You don't go all the way round. You can snip it with your gold work scissors, by the way, which are actually designed to cut threads and metal. Okay. Don't use your embroidery threads because you'll end up making them blunt. Right. And then before I couch it, I'm going to pull it apart. This is the lovely bit. Okay. So as you're pulling it apart, you literally Ooh, stretch, it. stretch it. Yeah. So you're going to stretch it to the length you need. But when ah. you're doing that, you're actually making coils bigger. So that means the thread will go in easier. Oh, I see. To hold it on. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's really, really clever how it's done. So you're almost making like little little beads when you're snipping elements off. That's from the this. chipping, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's the, gonna be another method I'm gonna show you in a minute with the metal threads, the pearl wire. Look at that. Yeah, so you've got like a longer piece now. So this is what I'm saying, it goes so far, it really it's does. Because like you've got double isn't the it? length. Yeah. yeah. So now, what I'm going to show you how to do, on the design, I think it's black inside and gold, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to come up on the line using the same thread and the cotton. Basically, when you're couching, you're using the same needle in the cotton as in the kit. Lay that roughly over, and you're literally just going to grab the end. And you can hear a little click as okay. it's gone through. Yeah. And again, with the wire, because it's so rigid, you just need to minimum, sort of bend it as you're on the line. So you come up again, about 10 millimetres, and then you're working back, like a back stitch, really. So that's how your wire gets fixed to the fabric. It's almost instant gratification with this, isn't it? Because you can see exactly what you're doing as you're doing it. And it's... When you look at the sample, you think, oh my God, I could never do that. But when you actually do it, it is so simple. It's just been showing how to, and instructions, they're actually step-by-step -step photo guides. But on my website, I do have an education page where you can watch a video as well. So yeah, so there you go. You can actually work quite quickly, really, because you could get this done probably if you literally sat there for a couple of hours, you'd have quite a fair amount done. 
And it's just such, such a compact craft. Um, obviously, the, we had this available as a kit earlier on today. Um, and this is kind of the, the finished article. So as um, Maria's working with this, you can see, obviously, she did that centre bit that she spoke of. And then, obviously, that gorgeous area around the edge there, kind of framing it. And now it's almost like that petal shape taking form that yeah. you're working on at the moment, That's which right. I think is amazing. It's just look at the sparkle. And if you do cut that. it too short Beautiful. or you still run out of a bit of a length, it doesn't always end it on a corner or a point and then you can actually then just fix the next piece. Oh, just so it just that. looks continual then. That's right, yeah. I mean you don't have to worry, oh my god, you know, I've done it too short or as long as you follow your line that's and you're the on the thing, line. Yeah. That's the thing. Now, obviously, if you've invested in the kit, you'll be able to follow everything that Maria has, has been talking about. The instructions are all there as well. And this is kind of the ultimate make that you're going to be creating with that. But because the kits have gone, we have got some components that you might want to look at. So I've got the, the pearl thread here. Now, is the pearl thread different to what you're working with at yeah. the moment? So what is it that you're working with at the moment? I'm working with the pearl wire. Right, which I don't think we've actually no. got as a little pack, have we? We've got loads of lovely little packs, which yeah. I'll tell you about in a minute. On, but the, on the future shows, I will bring that, because yeah, I have I a beautiful colour to, selection. Yeah, yeah I will definitely. And we've got loads of gorgeousness. Yeah. I've no idea what you do with them, but that's no, why these, Maria's here. <laughs> these are kind of really, really gorgeous. They're um, sprayed colour copper. They're, again, they're in the same, um, actually, format as the wire. It's a coil. Okay. Um, but they're much more flexible. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you wanted to open a package, you can do Oh, okay. Well, I might do so, that. I mean, could you yeah. work with the pearl thread on I the, mean, the I can, project? I have got some here, which oh, I can actually you? demonstrate. Oh, okay. So, yeah. If you wanted to have some of this as Shall well. Shall we do it? We've kind of gone a little bit yeah. off, off, off the plan because everything is sold out. So the, the <laughs> details are just popping off the screen because that was actually that, that kind of festive um, box that we were looking at with all the different bits and pieces. But the, the pearl thread, and this is what I was talking about, the pearl thread has got a different spelling of pearl. Now, I don't know, are we, pay, are we buying these individually, are we? Yeah, right, they're in okay. colour combinations, which Good actually choices. there's no company in the UK that actually is doing these colour combinations. Oh, okay. Um, I just I just love it when you get like a selection of colours Absolutely. instead of just buying the gold or the silver That's and it. I have so many beautiful colours anyway so I've done them sort of a bit festive a bit Christmassy. I love it. Well should yeah. we show, should I show yeah. everybody the different combination and we'll have a look at how That's you use right. them then. Brilliant. So this particular one you've got um, your, your minerals I love that phrase there because you've kind of got your gold tone and um, your silver tone you've almost got um, almost like a steel grey in there and the black as well. So those eight ninety nine and this I know I've seen Maria work with this and little goes a long way with this. So if you are into your gold work and you know about your pearl thread already, can I suggest you get this before we even look at the demonstration because it's flying out and you've got four threads. You've got twelve colours, uh, uh, twelve inches of your four different colours in there, but you are going to be able to kind of use that in lots of different ways. It's going to cover a larger area. So that one is your minerals. Um, where should we go next? Should we go um, Hockney? Now I love this because it's kind of going from the, the kind of the minerals there to this bright bright tones in fact I'm going to open this one yeah, up I think if I can get that. to it so this one you've got gold in there you've got gorgeous um, almost like a regal red in there most amazing cerise pink as well I'm going to tease these out carefully but look at these you've got copper in there you've got almost like an antique gold you've got your gorgeous red in there um, that lovely pink as well and it's brilliant a brilliant quality that you can see with regards to these but we will learn how you're using those again in a few moments 8.99 for that particular one so I'm going to move that one to the side if you want to go down the festive route sorry we're going at these at quite a pace but I'm keen to get back over to um, Maria um, the festive one and this is where we're seeing um, some of these ones that did we see these, these in the Christmas tree that we were looking at right. earlier? Yeah. I thought I recognised them. These are the faceted them. ones. So they actually are the same as a copper wire. Okay. But when they do them, they're actually faceted. So it's almost so like they look a tinsel a bit more, look. Yeah, they look really gorgeous. Are they effective? Though. So you've got that green, which has got that um, kind of tinselly feel to it. Again, that beautiful red that we saw a few moments ago. You've almost got, it almost looks like a box chain, this one, which is your, your pearl um, yeah, and your lovely, gold. That. Beautifully shiny, as you can see. And then you've kind of got that antique gold in there as well. So that particular set, $8.99, that one is your festive um, check bright. So again, four strands, 12 inches. But again, you'll find a little goes a long way with those. And then the last one that we've got, and this is beautiful. This 
this one's called crystal and in this one you've got the most beautiful kind of teal tone in this I love the little packets that you've got with these as well they've got like a little grip seal on them <laughs> um, so in this one you've got your cooler tone so you've got your silver in there you've got that beautiful it's almost like an electric blue that gorgeous teal you've got a fabulous midnight um, blue there as well which is gorgeous and you've kind of got like a steel gray in here slightly lighter weight with that one so it's, it's um, you can see that it's quite light um, with regards to the comparison of some of the others some of them are a little heavier well I say a little heavier they're not that heavy but you can see weight wise slightly lighter so 8.99 again for that set and I think if you are going to get into your gold work then it's worth going for all of these they are so how lovely. do we work with these then right what I'm going to show you today is when you're handling these don't pull them okay. that's the main thing so when you get them in the packet don't pull them out of the packet let them drop out okay so that's the first thing because you need to use them when they're actually closer together to see the color okay otherwise if you actually pull I'll just pull the end on this one you kind of lose the color I mean you can still ah, couch it yes but you know you basically can't do any chipping with it right so the last method because we've looked at doing the padding we've done the parson thread you've done your pearl wire now is the last bit, which is your pearl metal. Because you said there's four metal. areas. You've done four already, yeah. yeah. Gosh, we've done three of those without even realising it. I, I know. love it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so with the chipping, you use your metal scissors. I'm just going to chip that one away. And you just roughly measure where you need. I have a little metal ruler sometimes to you just like sort of line them up to get the chips exactly the same. Okay. So if you want five millimetres or three, like I do put in the instructions, yes. you can just chip them. So just do a series of chipping them really. So you're going to have a little tiny, tiny little bead, basically. It looks like one of those um, bugle beads. Yes, yeah, that's what I was just thinking to myself there, yeah. And then what you do is then you just thread that onto your needle. It's like a magnet, it actually just goes <laughs> onto your needle. And uh, obviously if you've gone for the kits, you will have needles that are featuring in there, but I'm sure, is it like a beading needle? Because it's quite Yeah, it's a, a very a, fine, a in the couch fine needle, one, yeah. it's the same needle. Okay. Um, it doesn't have that bevel on the end of the needle, which actually stops it coming onto. Right. So you can use a beading needle if you've got one. Yeah, I'm only but, thinking because of the kits yeah. having sold out, that was yeah. all, yeah. Yeah, okay. so you just use your beading needles that will be fine, or a very fine, small, sharp, is it called the sharps? I think it is yeah. the sharps, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they kind of eat, and we do have those on the website. Yeah, I, know that. I mean, you yeah. can buy packets of those, can't you? So basically, what you're doing is you are literally beading this on. It's called chipping in goldwork terms, but it's basically beading. So there you go. That's your first chip that's attached to the fabric. Oh, that was easy done. Yeah. yeah. So you can just put it back through again. I'm just going to cut another one. So you can see how far these go because I know you've got 12 inches of each colour but you can see how much you'll be using. You'll have loads left over, which is nice. So would you sit and um, I think chip it? Would you yeah. chip it and then have all of your chips ready yeah. to stitch rather I than doing little, one each time? I have a beading tray oh, and okay. I basically, with my ruler, and I'll just bead them and then chip them, you know, sort of chip them up. The colours, actually the size that you need. So historically, why would they use a pearl thread rather than a bead? Was it that beads weren't available at that I, stage? That, that's right, there was only glass beads around especially 12th century if you have a look there isn't a lot of Czechoslovakian glass beads were around in okay. Europe very hard to get um, obviously you would use the crystals like yes. the amber and stuff but even then they would be kind of couched on yes yeah. so yeah so basically um, as is has gone on into centuries you can get beads and that's why you get more beaded items especially so that would have been later in, in history Victorian period yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. it's like, fascinating yeah so basically you're going back to the basics really <laughs> and don't forget do check out uh, Marie I mean do, do you have social media you've got I do. where we can find the information about the history of the arts yeah I, on my education page which is on my website www.oldmadenew.com um, I have videos and I do put my conservation work on there as well. Oh, wow. Uh, but anyone's got any questions, please, you know, ask me because I always will get back to you and I'll help you out as well. I think everybody is mesmerised because yeah. we've not had any questions come through, but I know you are <laughs> shopping, so I know you're out there watching and I can see you on social media. That you, well, I can't see you, obviously, so don't worry. Um, but I can see that the numbers <laughs> are there. Um, and it, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, the amount of different styles and uh, kind of effects you can get with the these. The colours are fantastic as beautiful? well. beautiful? I mean, if you've got a little jacket or something you That's want to decorate, idea, you know, a lapel. Yeah. 
um, a hat. Yeah. You know, they are actually, and you can use these with wire. Okay. So if you do do jewelry making, sometimes jewelry makers buy this thread to actually colour the wire I as well. It. Yeah, it's really good. Fascinating. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Yes. <laughs> um, now we've only got about 15 minutes left on the show I've, I've got nothing else really that I can actually share with you that we've not already covered as well um, so I think we'll probably spend the rest of the time with yourself Maria no, I don't uh, mind at all no, I can show you a bit more chipping a bit yeah more. let's do it I mean in the kit it is all silver and gold but if you buy an extra packet of the colour you can introduce the colour as well so you can make it your own which would be really nice as well so yeah so basically what I've done is I've just literally done the stamens I would say on the flower but you can see and also there is another technique as well I'd like to show you where you can use the same method of chipping but if I was I can do them with some loops so oh okay well, let's so do you, it yeah, let's go for it they're really really nice these are all you're doing is really is you're bringing your thread throughout You, you're chip. talking about the scissors as well. Now, we haven't got the scissors on the show, but uh, what sort of scissors is it that you need? These are actually designed for gold work, okay. um, but they are actually are serrated inside. Ah. So when you're chipping, it literally grips the metal so wire, roll so it stops the, flipping. The ah. Yeah, stops it sort of like going across the room, really. But you can just about see, if I move that around, there is teeth on that side there. Ah, okay. So, but they are really sharp. You just need a one point. Well, our wish list but is going to be so we'll long for the next some, time yeah, we come, we'll Maria. To, no, no, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm still using your scissors. Oh, are you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, they goodness. were lovely. I've forgotten those. about those. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> you do some fantastic um, stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we've got any of those left, actually, to no, think about it. probably sold out, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. This is that, that kind of teal turquoise. This is the turquoise one. Kit. I just thought yeah. I'd like jazz this up a bit. I like it. So what I've done is I've come through that hole. I'm going to go back through that hole. Okay. So what it does is it then will create a hoop, like a loop. Oh, okay. But you right. can actually get texture. Can you see that? How oh, it's... wow. So you can play with these threads, and, and you can literally do a whole, say, petal, with the loop and it brings that sort of texture I suppose you can kind of go free reign a little if you want I mean obviously you can, yeah. if you've gone for the kit you've got your full instructions and incidentally I will <coughs> excuse me mention that if you are looking for the kit for the flower I'll save you the time we haven't got any of those available now it's sold out very early on but of course you might look at that style and kind of do something like free rain I suppose if you've got an, yeah. a, a, a pen that it raises over time you could utilize that couldn't that's you, right suppose, yeah 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 you can use any patterns that you've got maybe if one of your cross stitch patterns even you could actually just trace that onto fabric so you can see how it's developing I do this with centres of flowers, which is another kit I've got on the next show. I love it. Or which I'm going in the to next do. one. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what sort of feedback do you get from your customers when they receive the kits and oh, when they put the pieces together? They they absolutely love them. They are returning customers, which is lovely. That's always a good sign. Because they're learning. Yeah. So every kit they buy, they've learned a new technique. So I do try to do it for basic, for beginners. Mm -hmm. um, as you say, the glossary will help you. Yes, yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I get people, some people don't get on with it. I mean, I must admit, I've had two or three people say in three years, oh, this is not for Gosh, me. that's not many yeah. people though, is there? That but most people say, I'll give it a go and they actually enjoy it. And then they visit and they buy some more kits or they buy more wire and yes, yeah. you know, just so it develops. Sometimes it's nice, isn't it? Especially if your crafting mojo has gone a little bit and you've maybe fallen out of love with things like cross stitch or your regular embroidery, even a little bit of applique. And this is um, something that you could potentially find yourself taking with you because once you've got your hoop and you've kind of got your little kind of, uh, um, kind of pantry of goodies to work with, yeah. you can take it with you pretty much anywhere. And it's a small scale sort of project um, you wouldn't want to do well. You could do. Yeah. It would take you quite a while. Uh, but again, with a small sale, I mean, you can you know, carry this around in your bag, really, yeah. couldn't you? Look amazing on that, like you say, on a pocket yeah. of a jacket or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Beautiful. It is. It's a special piece, and you can even frame them. I just keep them in their hoops. Frame them. Well, the hoops that we've got on the show, I mean, they're, they're lovely decorative star hoops, so that would yeah. make sense really for those. And I think they've gone as well. I don't know why I even bother. Everything's just sold out. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's the point in even mentioning them, eh? <laughs> Congratulations, those, Maria. Thank you. Um, the sari threads, those coloured sari threads. Oh, I think we're saving those for oh, the next hour. Oh, we've got okay. something to talk about <laughs> next hour. Um, but they're gorgeous because they're made of silk. They are they pretty, do look yeah. Nice. Yeah, we need to keep something yeah. back so we can have a <laughs> chat later on. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I mean, you can see already how I've just, just done that little piece there. And it's got that little texture, which is really lovely, especially in centres of flowers. And again, you could do traditional embroidery flowers mm -hmm. and just with this packet of threads, just enhance the metals of them, which I do a lot with my projects. Um, if you're into your painting as well, mm -hmm. you can actually paint the base. There is actually a French method. Okay. Um, in gold work, there were some pieces that I found, especially in a historic house, and a National Trust house in Kettleston Hall okay. in Derbyshire. Oh, right. Um, they have got a lot of Asian embroidery there. And that's oh. partly why I went. And there's this beautiful peacock dress. Oh, wow. It's all embellished with gold work. <gasps> but there is actually hand-painted silk as well. Oh, Flowers, wow. lilies. Oh, it looks absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And then they've just, like, embroidered into the, you know, into the lilies. But that is one of the... If you are going to visit, you must visit because oh, it's wow. You need to take a trip down Lady Paul um, Road. There's some <coughs> absolutely amazing um, shops really? down there in Birmingham. And if, if you're watching, you'll know exactly the area that I'm talking about. And we've got a wealth oh, on the, the Stratford Road of sari shops and beautiful yeah. um, uh, uh, fabrics that you can invest in as well. So beautiful. I mean, it was a sign hundreds of years ago of opulence, you know, of wealth. Yes, you know, people yeah. would but on their travels bring it back because they were wealthy with the yes um, yeah and also churches you know did you see the well the royal wedding that's an example absolutely yeah you know, with um, prince charles with all that military you know i yes. actually went to the barracks 15 years ago and they always prepare if you know it's going to be a death in the family or anything yes, like yeah, that yeah, yeah, and i already saw already, yeah. king charles's outfits then oh wow and i've already seen williams they had the drawings of all the designs oh, okay. the in the and that was all done with the gold work but they have their own tailors there as well which is lovely and, and the coronation as well i bet you were a little bit like like me looking at the clothing and, oh. and camilla had got some beautiful embroidery there and um, i think she's got jack russell dogs hasn't she and they were actually on her garments right. as well yeah. so yeah yeah wasn't watching the ceremony i was just watching what they were wearing <laughs> so another thing as well with when i'm designed when you're actually developing your piece you can leave it and go on to another bit so if you've had a bit you're a bit fed up with the couch and on the wire you can just leave that and go That's to another section point, actually, yeah. and then go back to the section as well i love it it's, it's as little or as much as you want it to be really isn't it yeah yeah i mean if you wanted to leave an area you can but this is developing quite nicely it with is. the um curls so I, I suppose i mean obviously you're going to be back at um at 10 o'clock so yeah. we're looking forward to that hour. have you got another date in the the schedule not yet no oh gosh because no, I, um, I think the phone might be going as soon as you go off air, to be <laughs> fair <laughs> well i hope so because i've got so many lovely new kits well i know and I've, ideas i've, that I want I've to seen bring. some of the things that you've bought yeah. um previously obviously in a in a different life that's right yeah yeah so yeah so basically that's how that would be done. I love it. Um, again, beautiful. you can work in, um, if you're doing things like geometrics. Okay. Things like that. So yeah. that's something a bit different. Because nice. I'm also sort of thinking, I don't know if you've met um, Sandra who um, does sand tangling yeah, here. I love Sandra. And yeah. I'm thinking when we see the outlines that she's created, you could almost do that and then stitch over them if you want to. That's right. To, yeah, you? I so was watching her show a few weeks ago. I think yes. she did quilting, didn't she? Yes, that's right. She Again, did. if you've bought her stuff, you can buy the threads and, you know, you can add your own just, detail yeah, to it. Yeah. I love it. Now, um, I've, I'm holding the festive box of gold, but I don't know, has this actually sold out as well, Ben? Am I, don't, am I being a bit daft if we, we're mentioning this? Have we got any of these left? So this was, um, I think this is the third one that we've gone to. This is kind of like your dabble box with bits of all sorts in. I've got a feeling it's probably gone, oh, we've only got a couple left. So just to give Maria a break, bless her, because she's been chatting <laughs> and, and going all through the stitches. I'll just show you, this is pretty much all that we've got left on the show. So this is almost what I call a dabble box and you've got little bits of all sorts in here. So you can kind of do um, your own style with this. So you've got some beautiful um, braiding and edging in here. So very authentic, comes from, from India. I mean, look at that. You could take inspiration from that almost, couldn't you, with the, the gold work that we've been looking at. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got some fabulous ribbons in here 
here as well so we've got those in there you've also got tassels in here um, so you're going to get a tassel now yours might be very sli um, slightly different to this one they're not all going to be identical but what you're actually going to have is lots of elements in here that will work together so you've got these fab and i forgot what you said these were called these little got coins the go gota the g-o-t-a gota I yeah that. and they actually are meant to be coins for luck well, lucky I can coins understand that. they, they yeah. look like that and then we've actually got some uh, where are they they're over here so these are ones that have actually been put together utilizing um, components within the kit to make little kind of napkin rings or they could be um, I don't know charms to go on yeah. purses and decoration and all on sorts. the tree you yeah can hang those well that's a nice well. idea decorations yeah. on trees um, you've got little embellishment pack so on this one you've got little snowflakes in there you've got a few little beads there's a few hoops in there as well I think we're down to the last one so this is going to be the uh, a sellout again um, and you've also got the most incredible kind of mesh in here and beautifully embroidered fabrics in there as well so absolutely wonderful um, and we've had a lovely message come through on the website from Joanne hi really nice to see something different isn't it it is lovely to see something a bit different nice. um, gone crazy and bought all, um, all um, birthdays coming up what a treat for yourself I like that idea um, and uh, what are the basic tools needed to get started oh that's a oh, good that's question an interesting one. that is yes. a good question I never even thought of yeah. asking that so, I must admit I do do a tools essential kit oh, okay. so I'll probably bring that on I think you future. might need to <laughs> I know um, basically a good pair of cut and scissors like what we were saying these scissors are fantastic lovely gold, if you look at gold work scissors they as long as they're serrated you know that's what you need okay um, a mella which is actually like a bit of a poke like a bit of a pokey tool when oh, you're okay, doing my, oh yeah we've got those yeah yeah these are good so you can actually use a pokey tool um, but this is actually called a mela, which okay. is M L M E L L O R. Okay. And it's nice because when you're doing your laid work, or if you just need to adjust some of the threads while you're working, they're nice to hold into position. And it's kind and of it's the, not, the working area isn't as long as with a poke yeah. at all. Is and it? another yeah. thing with this, you can actually plunge. So if you were doing putting this thread, which I was going to show you, right to the end, you'd plunge a hole just underneath and then put the threads through. Oh, okay. So, so that's how you would end, tighten, end, end up it. the ends. Okay. Yeah, so again, the mellow is quite a, you know, a good one. Wonderful. Um, basically, that's it, really. Once you've got those... Gosh, it's not a lot, really, then, is it? A ruler to cut your, you know, your chipping. Yeah, so you just need a little ruler, like a six-inch one will do. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it, really. There you go. So, Joanne, very good question. I never thought to ask. So, uh, thank you. Um, and thank you to everybody for watching as well. And thank you for welcoming our lovely Maria. And, Maria, thank you so no, much for bringing you. us a, a new strand, if you will, to Sewing Street, yeah. which everybody's been loving. So, that's uh, right. Now, we're going to be back in roughly an hour's time. Um, I'm not quite sure what the plan is <laughs> because obviously so many items have already sold out but we have got a few more things that we've kind of held back which we've not shown you yet so it's definitely worth um, tuning in for but you have already started looking for the new kits because they're on pre-order so by all means if you want to jump ahead in fact I'm not going to say anymore because we'll have <laughs> nothing to talk about during that hour um, I will see you on the other side of this um, totally patched with pattern mark and uh, I will see you in a little while we're going to be chatting about this beautiful quilt so for the time being Maria, thank, thank you. you. I'll see you later. <laughs>
little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. 
You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Hello there, good morning. What a fabulous morning we're having here. If you have joined us since the beginning, you will know that we've just had the most amazing embroidery show, gorgeous gold work with Maria. She's gonna be back in about an hour. But this hour I am spending with two very familiar faces to myself and you guys as well, I am sure. Um, Pat and Mark from Totally Patched are joining us for this hour. Good morning, both of you. How are you morning. doing? Good morning, Hayley. Yeah, morning, good. Everybody. Thank you, good morning. I love it. Now, uh, you do look as if you've had an argument when we look on the screen there. there's a big gap yeah. between the two of you oh, yeah. <laughs> distancing but you haven't no, no, you haven't, you haven't so all's good not yet, yet. <laughs> not yet but yeah we've only kicked the hour off so yeah. anybody anything, <laughs> anything can happen <laughs> Now, I am sure you already know Totally Patched. If you've been on the same journey as we have, then you'll have been introduced to them many, many times, I'm sure. But you might be completely new to them. So we will be having a little chat um, with uh, Pat Mark in a little while, telling you all about Totally Patched and everything they do, most amazing kits. Um, we're going to be looking at this quilt behind us as well. And this is beautiful, absolutely incredible. Um, and it is available as a kit. And that's the beauty of this one. You've got everything that you need within the box which I'll take you through in a few moments but it is huge this is a really good size quilt Mark I have to say it's it's a lovely fresh looking quilt and yes. it's a nice size as well yeah. it's not too big and too daunting but it's not too tiny and thinking well that's not worth it but it's a lovely size quilt yes beautiful uh, and Pat as well fabric wise I mean some of our viewers might recognize some of these fabrics yeah this is a mode of fabric it's a range called Emma um, it's designed the fabric by um, Sherry and Chelsea uh, well-known designers and um, I actually got permission to use the pattern okay um, from them because we pre-cut right. they only supply fabric or <laughs> boxed kits yes. so because it's all pre-cut which Mark's really enjoyed doing. He loves that bit, don't you, Mark? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of windows and lot, lots and lots of pieces, but yeah, I think it's really lovely. Um, and some lovely feature panels in here. So when you first look at it, some of the, the panels like this one here, it might look like you've got lots of intricate work. It's right. actually all pre-printed, which is very clever. Yeah. And also you've got passages on here. So just across from this one, if you follow across, you've got piece work, but you've also got a lovely panel on this one with a lovely little phrase in there it's like a little poem beautiful and um, be happy with simple pleasures and have courage when things go wrong oh that's a quilt as an accolade it should say often after yeah, that as well yeah, that's it, absolutely um, beautiful quilt as I'm sure you'll agree but we will show you exactly what you're going to get in here and I'm going to get Mark to, to talk us through what we're looking at as we open the box up but my job is to give you the information which is on your screen there so if you want to get involved with this the item number is SUT046 and the price that we have this advertised at and you will know why I say advertised that in a few moments is £169.99p. Um, it's got a split pay on it which makes it a very affordable way for you to get hold of it but if you are new to us here as uh, Sewing Street and I know many of you will have travelled with Pat and Mark across to us we do things slightly differently here so the price that you've got on your screen isn't necessarily the price that you pay but even if you have already bought this then at midnight when your orders are batched up you will actually pay the lowest price along with everybody else which at the moment I don't know what that price is going to be but in order for you to kind of decide if you want to go for it I think it's important for us to go through the box so I'm going to open up the box and this is where my voice will change so it sounds like Mark what we got in here <laughs> yeah first of all you get uh, all, the, all the information that you need to know to continue making the quilt start and continue um, basic information that if you've never made a quilt before it just gives you a brief outline of what you need to do okay and then we've um, got these fabulous packs and then all, all the uh, blocks are packaged up in the bags so open one bag at a time 
so you don't get like three chimneys and no doors on, <laughs> on your house. Good advice. Um, and all the pieces are cut ready for you to size. Uh, so then you can just open a packet up and have a look at the, the, the fabrics in there. Um, I think there's three houses or four, four houses in each packet, so you do them in rows. Perfect. Yeah. I love it. So yeah, don't don't be like I would. Don't do what Haley would do and literally open everything up. No. Um, so yeah, take advice. And I think it is mentioned as well, isn't it, Pat, within the instructions not to jump ahead and open everything up. Yeah. <laughs> Just to remind you. Especially because they do all start to look quite similar. Yes. And each house is in a separate packet okay so you can't go wrong if you just get one house out at a time i love it and looking at the quilt there's loads of different techniques that we're going to learn with this as well so yeah. you've got little log cabins and all sorts of different things appearing well you see you think well. there is but, but the log that's cabin's a, a panel actually no it's, it's a, a panel, panel it's yeah. a panel it, i think that's the the beauty of the design well, like they've designed the panels which came as a panel and we've cut down okay to fit uh, royal we yeah, you and Sarah <laughs> cut down. <laughs> Sarah and Mark, not yes, me, yeah, yeah, yeah. have cut down. And then, um, so the ones so, with yeah. the panels are very simple. I'm going to do that one first. Lovely. And then we go on to the house blocks, which are then all the same. So, you know, you could... Quite repetitive. Yeah, repetitive. Yeah. So you then could, you could make a row of houses, couldn't you? Or you could do so, well, whatever you want with them. I, I mean, you've taught people quilting for many, many years. If you've got something that's perhaps a complete novice, never made a quilt before, I mean, could they confidently have a go at this? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I love that idea. Absolutely. It's really easy. Much, it, much easier than you think it is. Yes, yeah. Um, and I should say, at this point, I've had this quilt long arm quilted. Yeah, which is, not your... No, I, you know I usually hand yeah, quilt. Yeah. Yeah. but time restraints um, and a lady called Debbie Holland has, has long arm quilted it beautifully for Gorgeous. us um, and she's scrap box quilting down oh, in okay. Carmarthen. Little shout out. Yeah and, okay. uh, and she did a really good job really quickly for me. Wonderful and if, if you didn't jot those details down you can contact Pat and Mark through social yeah. media yeah. and they'll give um, all of that contact information. I hope she sets us out some um, time. <laughs> I think she's going to be a busy lady. <laughs> right so thank you Mark for going through that That's with okay. me. So that kit with everything that you need to create your quilt top you're going to add in your wadding very much a personal um, kind of thing isn't it your wadding so that's why that's not included and also it keeps the price down and your own backing but I'm thinking about our early bird maybe that would be useful for your backing if you manage to get hold of that anyway let's um, let's attack that prize and we are going to attack that prize because the chevrons are in we're going to bring that prize well it's going to go in one direction it's going down but now you're looking at £139.99 and p now that price is right the way through until midnight tonight it will go back up at just after midnight to um, 169.99 and your split pays will go up at that point as well but while you are watching for that first payment along with your post and packing you will get your kit on its way to you and you'll be able to get crafting with this get sewing straight away and you never know because it's all been pre-cut you might even start um, tackling that before that second payment is due or you might set it aside and come back to it at a later stage which if you do you don't have to worry about it because of course full instructions in there might be a project that you're going to tackle before Christmas and have it all ready for Christmas or maybe it's something that you're going to treat um, and pop under the tree as a gift to yourself either way you have got a fabulous quilt that you are going to be able to create with this and I'm looking forward to learning more about this as it goes on so a great, you want a great gift sorry Hayley great Absolutely. gift if, if you wanted to put someone's name of their house or, or nice a number idea. if someone wants to is moving into a new house or their first house yes. what a great gift for somebody um, my son recently got married and their tables were all named after different roads that they'd lived on ah, okay. and that's, yeah, yeah you yeah. could almost do that yeah. couldn't you with yeah. that little journey of life I love it so there you go I'm gonna leave the details with you for that um, we're gonna look at that in closer detail in a few moments as soon as I figured out how to put the box back together <laughs> without damaging it um, but we've got another project which will work absolutely perfectly alongside this so this is when you're looking at let me just move this out of the way because it keeps jumping back into the vision <laughs> now we have got now this is Emma's house with regard to the kit first Hello. thing I've got to know who's Emma Emma is the name of the range of the fabric. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes, of course, yes. Of course, yes. you mentioned yes. it at the top, yes. didn't you? Yes, of course. I was thinking it was somebody who lived like two doors down or something <laughs> like that. Um, and this illustrates the trouble that you go to for actually getting those kits ready, Mark. I mean, this is impeccable, the way that these are packed. <laughs> And this is just one house. Just, just one house, yes. yeah. Yes, yeah. So all, all the houses in the kit are all the same Similar like that. Similar sort yeah. of idea. 
all absolutely cut to perfection ready for you to get started with so I'm not going to kind of move those around but with this one we're looking at a cushion um, kit so you can see a little bit of wadding there as well so I'm just going to slide that over onto the packaging and I'll pop that back in a few moments instruction sheet so again lovely image there full color image and that shows this amazing cushion that you've got in front of you there Mark I mean this is beautiful yep lovely fresh cushion absolutely yeah. um pat is there anything that we need to add into this besides what we've got in the kit no just your thread to sew with that's it and your cushion pad your that's cushion pad it, yeah. yeah and your quilting depending on how you're going to quilt or what you're going to quilt so the backing fabric's included as well yeah backing fabric envelope flap yeah. nice and easy yeah love it and this will just show you i've got the instructions here i'm just going to turn it and this is the way that you you do literally as you're demonstrating it's photographed and yeah. it's there yeah, yeah. because you, you you know as i go along sometimes i get a bit excited like like this <laughs> i made one house first completely with no photographs okay. and, then I, and then i did the next one with photographs just because i wanted to get one done <laughs> but you know you think of things as as a, when you're writing a pattern that you only think of at that moment like yes. you know press towards that yeah and then if you leave it when you sit down you think which way did I press you're that kind of, yes yeah, yeah you've got so, to find uh, one. it's best I write them as I go along and and photographs yeah I love uh, it. and I always say that if you've got a picture to reference it's a bit of a confidence boost that you're doing the right thing absolutely you can yeah. make sure you're yes. on track yeah. yeah totally agree with that one 16 inch um, cushion you're going to be creating with this one as well and of course <laughs> if you have gone for the quilt kit it makes sense doesn't it not limited to one per customer so if you like to have a couple of cushions around where you've got your quilt then you can go for multiples but please make sure if that is the case you get involved as early as you can because it is proven to be a very very popular kit I had a message pop up on our screen as well so um, thank you for getting involved and I can see lots of you are joining us and this one has come from the lovely Jules and Jules is saying good morning Hayley Pat and Mark um, lovely to see you wow I thought £169.99p was a fab price me too I thought it was brilliant <laughs> but being dropped down to £139.99 is fabulous um, love your kits Jules Jules thank you thank you and that thank is the you, kind Julie. of um, accolade that you get time and time again from people that they love working with your kits it, it, the kits are for anybody of any any ability and it also takes out the fear of cutting which I is which is so a big true. thing yeah. yeah yeah especially if you are a, a novice sewer because that can be so terrifying and also as well pat the kits have got uh, the fabric that you need rather than you having to go off and get a half meter because yeah. you need to do the windows or something exactly like yeah, that. You, yeah. Can, you can end up spending a fortune can't you with oh oh what just especially like the roofs they're all different colors yes different fabric yeah. so and not having to use a little bit of the fabric that you buy ends up in your stash but I know that's a good thing <laughs> but I'm saying you, 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 buy, you buy your fabric and then you don't use it all in yeah. that project yeah. and, you, and yeah. it does it can uh, it can run up you know you think yeah. well I better have a quarter just yes. in case that's and then, it. we always err on the side of caution yeah. don't we yeah. Yeah. And, and then it's you know before you know it you know I mean I, go, I do have a big stash <laughs> but I do the thing as well because if I was doing a project like this I'd be buying the fabric like you say I don't know a, a half meter quarter meter yeah and then you, you use a little piece and you'll fold it up and put it back in your stash and then months down the line you'll pull this piece out and there's a big chunk cut yeah. Out of it. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. But having the right amount makes it a very affordable way yeah so um, Emma's cushion is available as the kit so the details on your screen 19.99 incredibly affordable I have to say creating that fabulous cushion for that all pre-cut I mean if you've got somebody to come if you hired somebody to come and actually <laughs> cut those fabrics out my goodness how much would it cost you um, you wouldn't even entertain it would you but I think as, as Mark said it's that kind of um, nervousness of cutting into your fabrics that can sometimes be the um, the thing to, to overcome to start with so that is one way for you to get hold of those but you can also get hold of the the cushion pattern by itself now this is where I talk about how keenly priced the kit is because for just ten pounds more you're actually getting your fabrics and your fabrics in the way that you can see the the photo sometimes when you substitute fabrics you've got to kind of get into your head that your roof is blue if that's the fabric that you're using the brickwork is a green or trying to kind of transfer that over so 
that's why a kit is good because it's exactly as you're seeing on the picture now i'm not going to open this one up it's beautifully packaged there but i have got another one here so again full color imagery there as well mark yeah, yeah. as i said picture paints a thousand words doesn't, doesn't it, it you, just, you, yeah. you, you see the picture you can automatically reference it to what you're doing um, and then again, I mean, Pat, so many photos in there. I love this as well. Beautiful flowers. <laughs> um, and this <laughs> has shade flowers. Are they crocheted? Yeah. Wow. They were a, a mother and Sunday gift. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, well, very envious of those as well. Yeah. Um, so um, absolutely beautiful, um, as you can see. Now, um, oh, we've had a few messages come through saying that um, there's a bit of a problem watching with the streaming. Is it, is it low quality? Right, it's on the website and on the app apparently. So it's a bit jumpy, a bit jaltery. That's not us. We're not that live. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> not that live Ooh, no. We're morning. very staid. <laughs> um, but thank you for letting us know. Ben's on it. He's contacted our IT department to, to do IT things. <laughs> I can Whatever. just about turn it on and turn it off again. Yeah. That's, that's me covered. So thank you. Thank you for keeping in touch. And also as well, I've just noticed on um, Facebook, we've had a lovely message come through. And this is from Steph. Good morning again, Steph. Uh, morning, folks. Back together again. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> a little, little reminisce. Yeah. Uh, and totally patch. I um, remember you well on to the channel. Mm -hmm. um, Mark, you must love cutting, um, cutting your fabric, bless you. He does. He <laughs> loves it. Loves Can't it. keep him away Keeps from it. Keeps me out of trouble. Well, that, that is true. Sometimes. That is true. Sometimes. <laughs> so um, there you go. So everything that we're kind of covering within the hour, we've mentioned there, we've got the quilt kit. If you are looking for the pattern by itself and you can't get hold of the pattern by itself, Pattern Mark have had permission from Moda themselves. This is one of their patterns that they have allowed them to get involved with. So please don't go looking or asking for the pattern because it's not available. The cushion, though, that is available as a kit or as a pattern. So if you fancy going down that, that route, then you can do but Pat, Mark, I'm going to hand over to you guys. What's the plan? Okay. Fire away. We're going to do, hopefully, uh, both blocks, the pieced block and the p panel block. That's what we call them, don't yeah. we? Okay. Uh, we're going to start with the panel block, but the roofs are the same for every kit. Um, every house, sorry. Um, and also, uh, just saying a little blip, last, when, when we were on a month ago, yeah. we had a big blip with <laughs> uh, postage. Okay. Yeah, our, our picker-uppers, carriers, didn't oh, come. Oh, gosh, that's so frustrating when that happened. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, we yeah. were very so, frustrated. Well, you were there with, ready so with so all your boxes. There was yes. a bit of delay with the posting yeah. going out. So, so that hopefully that'll be sorted this time and it won't yeah. be so long. So. But it's your first show, wasn't it, last yes. time? So yeah. 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 Okay. And it's very... Um, it, but it's very annoying because we like to be so efficient. Yes, yeah. So if you had to wait... We've spoken to a few people, but if, if you had to wait... We're all, it's apparently all sorted now, so we're Perfect. okay. Perfect. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to start with what is the most difficult part of the quilt. Right. So if, if you can do this, you can do all of it. Okay. And, and you can do this. So this is our chimney here. You need three pieces of fabric. Um, I think all the chimneys are different colour, are they, Mark? They are. <laughs> that must have made it easy for cutting out, Mark. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I give him his cutting like and I and I have many strips to cut and everything and, I, and I, it says one per kit and he goes one one <laughs> so you've got to stand there and just go one <laughs> <laughs> right so I'm stitching with my <clears throat> sorry quarter inch seam okay um, which is standard keeps you quarter inch it'll all go together beautifully wonderful um, and I'm just stitching a background which is this um mottly white lovely um, and then going to press it towards the uh Dark chimney side. the chimney yep over to the ironing department the pressing department <laughs> i love it is it plugged in mark oh you see Got yeah. Oh. yeah but it's not turned on oh, oh there so we carry go on to, we'll get that sorted out i'm going to heat up and then um, oh, no, not okay we'll talk about ourselves <laughs> shall we? it won't take a second <laughs> it won't take too long while Give we're waiting try. actually we've had another lovely message come through from julie um and this is kind of praising accolade that we hear over and over again fabulous couple brilliant fabrics and projects so glad to see them on sewing street the best channel for creation isn't it just <laughs> isn't it just couldn't have put it better myself it is lovely <laughs> there lovely. you go done <laughs> right so we've got a chimney in the we're going to be in the middle of two backgrounds so stitch the other one on and you're thinking oh it doesn't look anything like a chimney but it will it all comes together it'll all come together that's what you've got to do, you do step by step. So yeah. see that there are beginners thinking I can't do all those. Yeah. Step by step, stage by stage, follow it through 
and it all comes together as and you it's say a at the end. A phrase yeah. that I use over and over again is trust the instructions. Yes. So yeah, don't um, let your brain kick in and think no, you're doing it wrong. No, because even I do that. <laughs> because because they're all different colours, like when I was planning how the packets would go, um, I thought, should we have like a packet of rubes, a whole, all the yes, rubes together, yeah. all of this? But it's it's so much better. I mean, you can mix them up if you don't want them the way it's been designed. Yeah. You can mix up your, your walls and all of that. But if, um, you know, if you want it to look exactly as it is, just one packet at a time. You I think that's a good advice, actually, to, to start Well, yeah, off somebody with, yeah. better than me's designed it, so that's just great. Like oh, it's, <laughs> been, it's been put together so that it all blends like it with is. With their own yeah. fabric. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they know what they're doing, don't they? Beautiful. Yeah. Right. So we need this to become a chimney, right? Okay. Now to do this, what we're going to do, we're going to take the corners off our roof. So I'm just going to put this here and pretend I've stitched it on. So we're going to stitch a diagonal line okay. and pretend I've stitched it on. And you could do this, especially, you know, your first one, because then you'll see, like when I fold that back, my chimney's going on the side, isn't okay, it? Okay, right. See that. So this is where you might think you've done it wrong. wrong. <coughs> yeah, but yeah, if you look at the that. pictures, yes, you see, this is all in the pictures. So um, the important thing is to draw your diagonal line the way I tell you to draw it. Okay. okay. So is it in red? I don't think it is in red. Oh no. Oh. You've got a bit of glitter on your nose, Mark. It's very distracting. <laughs> what is that? His nose or the glitter? <laughs> Tiny little bit of Can't glitter. I tell you. <laughs> Tiny little bit of glitter. So I I've put it on here now. I'm going to draw a line across that way. Okay. So I'm going to do that now. Does it need to be a heat erasable pen? Is, yeah. that, the right, is that the right way? It is the right way. Okay. Um, yeah, heat erasable. Yeah, heat erasable or a pencil, you know, wouldn't matter. But I suppose, are you going to stitch on that line you, anyway? You're going to so stitch on the line, line okay, yeah. yeah. And I do usually use a pen that I can really see in the studio, but this one isn't looking at seeing it at all. Well, okay. as long as you can see it, that's the main no, thing. No, no, this is important. They've got to see this bit. Okay, okay. Okay, we're nearly there. This is not one you prepared earlier, is it? No, this is. <laughs> <laughs> so pop it back on your um, corner okay. like so try put a pin in I don't pin very often but pop a pin in and then you can see making sure fold it back yeah, and right. then you can see that the chimney is oh sticking yes up. of course yes yeah. so that's such a simple thing but if you've you know you've never done anything like that you might think it well, it's looks, wrong. Mine's it, wrong. And yes. it looks so difficult to try and do that itty bitty little corner and yes. triangle and all that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. So it's really simple, um, and and that is the most difficult part of the whole. Oh wow! So the whole can, quilt. So if you can do that, you can do any of it. Of course yeah. you can. Love it. And I know a lot of people do um, get their quilts long armed now, but I can tell you, it was lovely for it to come in the post <laughs> yes. to me. Um, Mark, Mark used to have a long arm machine, yes. and. Um, we never had time to do mine. Mm. <laughs> and also as well, sometimes, I mean, we do get very kind of protective about our quilts that we create. And sometimes yeah. it can be quite nervy, almost passing your baby over to somebody to do that finishing. Yeah. But if you've got a, a good quality um, a stitcher that's going to be able to do it for you, then yeah. you don't get as nervous. And that's, as we said, mention, um, get in touch with Pat and Mark uh, and yeah. they can put you in touch with somebody who can it, potentially help. Uh, it was just lovely to get it yeah. in the post. I went, Wow. And it saved you so much time. It did, That's yeah, thing, it was lovely. It? Yeah. yeah. But everybody's got their, like, some people don't, maybe not like to get theirs long arm quilted, they prefer to hand quilt, so. Yeah, that's true, you could do, yeah. yeah. It's surprising how many people do, like, I can remember when um, long arm quilting was very American. Yeah. Everybody in America, they, yeah. I can remember us going, and yeah. they looked at us crazy when we, I said I hand quilted, yes, you know. Yeah. But I think it is getting more that, that way over here more, as more well. So having been quilting for 30 years, I've just discovered this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've discovered letting go. Yeah, yeah I have. Yeah. 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 That, that that can be quite tricky, yeah. can yeah. it? Yeah. So we're going to cut this off now. All the pictures are in the pattern. Uh, but before you do that, check again. Just yes. make sure your chimney is going up. Perfect. Because, you know... You don't want to cut <laughs> off, off the wrong bit. You don't want to cut off, you know, and then you go, oh my goodness. But um, for anybody who's not familiar with our um, kits, we always keep some spares of fabric. There we go. And blades. <laughs> and blades. <laughs> um, can you press that yeah. like that, Mark? Yeah. I'd like. Could you? I'd like it pressed towards the roof. Yeah. So that way. Okay. 
Could you? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. I'm just looking at the, um, the example that we've got here, and I think, is it this house here that you're working on? It here? is, yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether we can, it's, it's t just behind the, the blue band, <laughs> so I don't know whether we'll, we might be able to show you that as the hour yeah. progresses, but it's just off to the side there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, to, but to be honest, any of the roofs are constructed in the same way. Exactly. But if so. you're wanting to really kind of get into the nitty gritty of the, the tuition that we're getting, this is the area that Pat's working on at the moment yeah. and uh, uh, that we're seeing beautifully pressed by Mark. <laughs> Well, it's a change from cutting, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. mixing it up. I have to say, though, I haven't seen him a great deal. He has been. <laughs> Sarah's having to do it done extra shifts, extra days. Yeah. We won't talk about our printer, will we, Mark? No. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Mm. Don't talk about it. Well, I'll tell you what we can talk about. Oh, I just yeah. had a, um, a message pop up from the lovely Joe, um, Joe and Andy from Crafty UK. But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes, yes. yeah. <laughs> so they're watching as well. So. Excellent. Happy, this actually says happy birthday, Mark. Is it your <laughs> birthday today? <laughs> you kept that quiet. Yes. 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 Is that where the glitter came from? <laughs> I think it's your glitter. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, yeah. How do those people know that? How do those people know that? I don't know. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I love it, love it. Um, we've also had a question come through and I'm going to let you explain this one, um, yeah. Pat. Um, Susanna's watching and she's asking, is the pattern available on its own? Um, I love it, but can't stretch to the quilt at the moment. Now, there's a story behind this. It's not, but I'll, I'll, it's your yeah. story to tell. Um, because um, the people who designed the quilt, uh, designed for Moda, they've designed the pattern. So the pattern that come, you can buy the pattern I don't know where though. Okay, fair uh, enough. Because um, the pattern comes with the box of yeah, it as comes the with kit our kit, that Moda it? sell, yeah, but we, and they don't sell yeah. it on their own. Oh, no, they do can. sell it. They sell it the, 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 I think you can oh, get okay. it, but I don't think it's easy. No. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, <laughs> it needs some additional information. Yeah. Oh, you know, okay. All <laughs> oh, right, we'll gloss over that. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes they're a little bit vague, aren't they? Yes. Like, yeah. Like it says, you know, cut sixteen roofs, and you think. Well, yeah, but I've got to look at Handy all my fabrics and, 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 yeah. and, and, and yeah, all yeah. the rest. Yeah. Right, OK, now that's so fair there is, So I didn't want to produce a pattern because it's not my copyright to do it. No, no, that's, and that's very respectful and the yeah. way it should be. Uh, yeah. But they did allow us to cut a pre-cut kit because they don't do okay. that at all. Yeah. So you may be able to find one, but, you know, maybe enough to get it from America, I don't mm. know. But uh, can I offer a suggestion? Uh, if you can't stretch to the whole quilt, yeah. then why not have a little look at the, the cushion? The cushion. Because you've got the cushion kit and we've got the cushion pattern as yeah. well. So there's two other ways that you maybe can create, kind of create single houses yeah. um, and then maybe even design your own quilt um, on the back of that. So yeah. that might be something worth looking at. Yeah, like these are alternate, a house block and a panel block. Yeah. But because they could some be of them anything. are printed fabrics, aren't yeah. they? Which, and that's why a, a pattern wouldn't, a pattern per se wouldn't work with this no. because you have to have that printed panel to get the whole in look. order to get that that yeah. block made yeah um, and if you can't get hold of that panel yeah then it's not going to look the same so it, yeah it, it's very unusual for us not to have a pattern available isn't yeah. it because it yeah that's what we do it's a lot yeah. as well yeah. so um but I just couldn't just couldn't no, do it. No, no, that's yeah. fair enough. But we've got alternatives. As we say, we've got the cushion yeah. if you wanted to go down that route. So, uh, Susanna, yeah. it's worth checking that one out. Yeah, I think that would be, you know. Yeah, nice, and, if yeah. you, and if you've got any questions, you can give us, drop me an email. Go, like, go, to, go to the website and put on contact. And yeah. Then there will um, answer contact contact just, just yeah, some, yeah. because sometimes like sashing and there's like some mm. cornerstones make a big difference to something yes well I, I like I could tell you the size of the sashing. yeah I can yeah. just talk to anybody yeah that's fine we'll help you <coughs> we'll yeah. try and help you, definitely so, yeah. yeah lovely yeah. thanks Pat um, right so we've got our chimney so now we need to form our background so we put in this square on which has got a line drawn down it and that's going to go back there and then it becomes sky like so that's fabulous and it's so, nice as well because you're working uh, with pieces that aren't being cut on the bias which yeah. means if you are a novice sewer yeah. then it makes it even easier for you to get those pristine finishes yeah there's no bias they're all rectangles and squares aren't they Mark? Yeah. lots of them very much we couldn't push him to cut triangles as well bless him well i do i do i know you do but some kits <laughs> but not this one. The edge. i can <laughs> tell you i made a quilt uh, this last week that's lovely, that will be uh, winging its way here shortly. Fabulous. Um, but 
it had got it's got some little pieces very little pieces in and mark saw it and he went don't tell me i've got to cut those windows <laughs> tiny uh, they're like like, less than a quarter of an inch. They are. Really? And I'm thinking, please no. Yeah. Oh my You've lost goodness. the plot if you think I'm going to cut those. Wow. But they're appliqued on you, oh, yeah. so that's okay. I went, no. And then Sarah saw it, and you'll all know what it looks like if I keep talking. Oh, no, no okay. We'll, we'll wait. We'll, we'll yeah. keep. Can you press that yep. for me? Um, yeah. Um, it's only a small quilt, and it's like so a row. Oh, nice. So um, on some of the different things, it's really it's come out really really lovely hasn't it mark yeah um, very nice so mark went oh, i can't cut those windows yeah. and sarah came in and she went there's grass behind the fence i'm not cutting grass like that <laughs> <laughs> i said you haven't got to cut grass it's all about so, the technique yeah, yeah. but they both it, it was their first reaction they didn't want to talk to me they're going oh, i don't want this so that is one roof perfect done. now you've got these you okay. we've okay. got to keep these haven't we like these oh, are yes, the bits I've cut off. they're good sized pieces, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're good sized pieces. So you'll have like 16 times that that you can it just turn into a mat or something. Don't throw them nice away. Nice idea, yeah. Once we've got to this stage, where's my panel? Where's my panel, Mark? I don't know. No. You picked it up. No, yeah, I think what? No, I got it. Got there it. There you go. Go Oh, so this is the actual panel. So this is where yeah. um, it, it's very, very clever because when you look at the quilt, you might, and you could well be forgiven for thinking that some of the pieces, um, like this piece here, there that you've go. got a lot of intricate work, that you've got lots of little half square triangles that you're working with, or What's potentially qu quarter square triangles. Um, you've got panels where you can see here that's already pre-printed up at the top. The one that we've got over here with the poem, the one down here with the log cabin. Many of the pl um, these are actually pre-printed, ready for you to quilt with the others are pieced and you've got different packs i'll go through the box again in a few moments to show you exactly what you are getting with this one but if you're working with a pre-cut i'm sorry a pre-printed panel then pat's got one of those over um in her work area now and this is very effective isn't it seeing it all pre-printed yeah. yeah it's 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 like up. like yourself, you looked at it and thought, oh my goodness, you've got to do the log cabins, you've got to do all those little pieces. I did a mark and thought they're little <laughs> triangles, I don't want to cut those. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the effect it has. It, yes. it has. It's, it's so effective, the panel yeah. in, the, in the actual little houses. Very clever. Yeah. If, if you could have those, Mark, and make a... No, that's grass. I know it's grass. <laughs> can you build, a, can can you build a house in the middle? God. Nobody's watching you, it's okay. <laughs> yep, okay. Just, just so people can see yeah. the difference. Yep. That'd be lovely. So I'm just whipping together another no, roof. Test okay, now, so you? in a similar technique to, to what exactly we already Exactly the saw. same. Well, while you're doing that, uh, and Mark's building a house, shall I show everybody <laughs> what's in the box? Yeah, why yeah. not? Because that might be a good idea, and we can kind of all regroup afterwards. You so. can open bags, but not little bags. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> uh, it, 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 again, you, you're going to want to know what you're getting. So I'll, I'll try and show you as much as I can without getting everything out. So first of all, you're going to get your project box. And this is a box that's well worth keeping because it's a storage box, not only giving you that full image there to show you how you're going to be creating your quilt top, which incidentally is 57 inches um, by 67. So really good size, just slightly off square. Um, but that kind of uh, reiterates the, the shapes of the houses, actually keeping that length that you've got there. So within your box you are going to have um, loads and loads of information first of all a lovely little thank you from Pat and Mark there um, and you've also got the illustrator or should I say all the information with regards to your different blocks block one two three four and five and also um, a little explanation there with regards to how those work full contact as well with regards to your long, long arm um, quilting so if you want to get that done you can do and also your fabric requirements if you decide that you're going to go on and create this further then you've got your packs now within your pack you will have all of your fabric pre-cut now for instance I'm just gonna move the box out of the way for this particular pack so this one and you open these kind of pack by pack don't go in and literally get everything out because you will find yourself in a real right pickle if you're not careful so take the advice from the instructions to start with so you can see that you've got the instruction this is what we've been learning about doing the the chimney doing the roof 
full colour instructions showing you literally every step there going right the way through but then you've also got your packs for your houses and your different blocks so you can see each one of these so you can see um, pack one that could be month one or row one house one you can see they've almost got their own little door numbers with these and as you work your way through you've got the image there showing you even if there's multiples of the same you've still got the image there but then you've got all of your pre-cut pieces so in here these have all been cut there's no cutting required it's all done for you um, pieces like this where you've got a panel you will have that panel within there in fact I'm going to open this one up just to show you the panel I'm not going to get the little pieces out but these are all pre-cut as well and they're all in the little grip seal bag so you can go in and kind of see those different pieces so there you go that has been cut from the original panel to the right size sometimes that's tricky to do as well when you're actually cutting up a panel to know where to cut but that has been done for you so that's tricky isn't it Mark? It, Very. it is it, <laughs> and I, I can yeah because you can quite easily get that slightly off I'm going to pop that just that's not as neat as it started with it I'm going to pop that in there just to start with I'm, I'm, I can feel the eyes burning into me I can there's feel them burning into there's me. an art to that hey? there is yes and I, I certainly am not skilled in that art <laughs> um, and again there so these you've got one two three four and when you look at your quilt it, it's all such a logical system so this will be um, and I've got my four can I show you this on the quilt is that okay so this is row one almost street one <laughs> if you want to think of it that way so these packs will relate to each of the houses so that is the pack for that house up in the top corner um, this one is the next one so you've got all your fabrics to create that one the one with the panel that I just showed you that is your next pack and then your last pack um, is in the corner showing you the little red house with the blue roof so all of those are there in the order that you need them which they are going back in that order um, and then they are with that instruction panel there for the whole of that front row and then sorry top row and then you will find all the other packs for the subsequent rows as you work your way down so it's very logical so incredibly easy all pre-cut so the details are on your screen that's what you're investing in it's almost like a, a quilt class really or a course isn't yeah. it with this one yeah um, and the price on your screen has got a 30 pound saving on it from the original price and you still got your split pay if you're wanting to spread the cost so all in your box good and ready to go right just, where are just we in to? the last packet you get all the sashings and the bindings oh okay yeah. right. and the border right yeah. in the in the box <laughs> yeah right so got bottom, you yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yes i can see that there in yeah. the bottom there yeah perfect okay and that, and that explained it really well didn't it doing yeah. that like yeah that. i think yeah because sometimes yeah. when you see that like the big bundle it's like oh i don't understand yeah. it but yeah if you and think of it row by row separate, but they yeah. are and, so and organized. it emphasizes again take one bag out of time Absolutely. do one house put it away do the next one yeah that's yes. and that could be like weekend one uh, and that could or yeah, be evening yeah. It, yeah. it could be the different evenings if you've just got an evening's worth of sewing and if you really don't have a huge amount of time then the ones where you've got the printed panel yeah doesn't take longer I at like all. those better for, for cutting I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> right, back, right back to you so now we've got on the table the a roof and the printed panel and then all you add to this is grass sides and top section was some sort of carpenter's name for that one bit next to <laughs> us you can see the difference so yes. this is the you know perhaps start with one of these you can see why that's, i like the panel cutting yes. better <laughs> so all you do with this is take your panel that's already cut to size and you do a quarter of an inch seam you add your sides on first uh quarter inch seam and then you'll press them I think I pressed them all towards the house fabric I did. Yeah. It sort of, it, I've got so used to this fabric, it's like houses or Mark will go, I've got no, I've got no windows left. Yeah. <laughs> there we have. And do you know what, as well, I'm looking at this and when you have the two blocks side by side there, I'm thinking this is a wonderful project for perhaps two um, people to sew alongside each other. So mm. maybe yeah. you've got, um, I don't know, niece, nephew, grandson, granddaughter, obviously of a, an age that they can kind of take on sewing skills with a bit of supervision, but yeah. they could be doing the blocks where you've got the panel 
Um, the, so the, they could be doing those because they're probably the, the, the most simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then you could be doing the peace projects and then actually putting them all together as a joint effort, which I think is a lovely idea. It's kind of like a, a memory crop. Mem then, yeah, isn't definitely. It? Yeah. You could turn it into a memory crop um, yeah. um, and um, maybe put a name on the back That's or a nice something. Idea, yeah. 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 I did Lovely think it, they, it needs some door knockers and things, and then you could do, you know, <laughs> but you can go on it, and yeah. on. Embellish it how you want to as well, yeah. can't you say, yeah. All right, Mark's doing that. I'm going to just put this section onto my roof. Wonderful. Um, towards the panel? Towards the house fabric. Which is the panel fabric on this one? No, to the, no, there, to the blue. Yeah, to the blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fabulous. And, and you Press can see, go. they all go, you know, and, and do what I've done. Lay them out so you can yes. see what you're doing. Yeah. You, you're, it's so, so much easier. And this is exactly the same for the cushion that this one is. Okay. So, um, you know, just fancy one cushion. And then if I was going to embellish it with, like, words, you could put... Um, like, uh, I'd go around the borders and yes, put my... Yeah. Uh, you could, uh, I mean, Mark, if you wanted to go to town, you could almost do a little bit of a plique on top, couldn't you, with little yeah. cats um, at the, the front door or... Yeah, really personal Numbers on the doors <laughs> and, yeah, you could really go to town and have yeah. fun with it. Really personalise the whole thing. Add embroidery flowers and all sorts. Yeah. And once you've got the instructions, you can make... Little house for tableware. That's a good point. Facing either way. And or, I suppose it, you could do with it. I mean, obviously, we've got it laid out as the quill, but when you put them together, you can kind of put them together in whichever rows you like, and you've got yeah. free reign, really. I mean, it's yeah. to play around with it. That's a lovely wall hanging as well, wouldn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, for like you say, anybody going into a new home. Um, absolutely perfect. Um, now, incidentally, the kit is on your screen. I will warn you, though, um, was it half the stock has gone, did you say, then, Ben? Just over half the stock. So I know lots of you will place the orders um, towards the end of the show, which is fine. That's not a problem. At the moment, you're OK. But what I will warn you is the amount in baskets is actually kind of half of that remaining stock as well, so a quarter of the stock. So um, when we see Pattern Mark a little bit later on, they're going to be back at 11 o'clock. We're not going to be focusing on this project here we've got other projects that we're going to be looking at um, but uh, yeah people will order in between the shows and also go back and watch the shows as well how are you getting on over there pat i'm four inches away from the end of a house does this mean mark we can now officially call you property developers <laughs> <laughs> very good yeah I'm in, I'm in construction. You are, I can yeah. see. Yeah. I'm just wondering whether you should be wearing a high-vis vest and a hard hat. <laughs> no, that bit of glitter, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so all I'm doing now um, is sh just show, I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'll do the windows because okay. it, cause it's, just, it's just literally straight line sewing. So, Lovely. Uh, I'm going to pick up my two. I mean, looked at my patterns. Look at that. So look, that oh, blocks all. You haven't cut, you cut the grass. The grass. <laughs> <laughs> so that block mark, that's that block's all finished now, is it? Yeah, done. And it's that's beautiful. Row one block. Isn't that effective? One. Is that one? Yeah, row one block. Yep. One. So top left corner. Yeah. Love it. So, so that once you've done it, you just pop it to one side and then continue with the others until yeah. you've got your whole neighbourhood ready to stitch together. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it, it literally is this easy. I'm just sewing straight lines, straight lines. So this is um, looking at the house that is just below the one that uh, Mark's just shown us on the, the layout. So this is a pieced one. So again, quarter inch seen throughout. Yeah, and this is our window section. And basically what you're doing here is just making the, the strips. Yeah. So I suppose, is it, is it kind of like a, a basic block construction with this yes. one then? Yeah. So um, I, I tell you in the pattern the order to do things in. So you need to do, like the windows is easy because it's just one section. And then I'd probably put that onto there because I can't wait. Then I'd join <laughs> my windows. Then that's another section. Then you make up your doors and your houses. I think this door doors is... Doors and windows. A window. Is this door up the other wrong way around? Yeah, it's a step. It's a step, okay, great. <laughs> Who knew it that we needed a step in, in our house? <laughs> because when you look at it like this, I always think with any patchwork, with any block, you look at it like this and you think, 
oh my goodness, is that ever going to become yeah. something else, don't you? Or, that looks far too big, there's, there's too many that's pieces. The yeah, that's thing, the other thing, yeah. Thing, yeah. yeah. With yeah. all the seam allowance taken into consideration. Yeah. And that can be the trickiest thing sometimes when you're cutting pieces or if you're trying to construct a, a block or a pattern yourself because you've got your finished measurement, which is what you yeah. can actually see, but when you actually cut your fabrics out, you need to be adding on that seam allowance. So yeah. you don't have to do that though on this occasion. All done it's all for, done you. for you. Yeah. That's where uh, people get confused. Oh, it's easily done though, isn't it? And you yeah. only need to have a, a momentary lapse of concentration and, and you can yeah. ruin a, a cut And very again, easily. if this is you've got to cut your own fabric mm. and you do that, make the mistake like that, and then you can't get any more fabric, Absolutely. you've got yeah. a small house, you've got a bungalow. Yeah. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> don't encourage him. No, I can't, let him, I can't let him get away with it because I said I'm going to make a cushion with a house on. And he, I don't know how many times he said to me, I think you should do a bungalow. I said, I'm not, not doing everybody a, lives in a house. Some people live in a bungalow. Why can't you do a bungalow? I said, I am not doing a bungalow. I'm doing a house. So he's actually get that in. I did. It'll yeah. all end up being to totally patched street, won't it, with yeah. all the different... <laughs> and then there'd be a pub and a post office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just stick with the houses. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just putting my strip now under my roof, exactly as I've just done on the other one. I've already made my windows. And we'll just re reiterate, when you're going for the kit, each of these blocks is in its own pack. Um, so don't think, right, I'm going to do all the roofs. No. <laughs> because you could be forgiven for thinking, well, I'm doing, I'm in that flow, I'm, yeah. I'm doing the chimneys and I'm doing the apexes, I'll do all of them. But that's when it gets confusing because you've got your different packs that are relating just to your individual pieces. So um, just to reiterate, just as Pat's saying, you will have a bag that will have kind of like a row of houses. And in there, you've got the individual packs for the houses on that row. So for instance, this pack here is for the top row. There's another pack for the second, third and fourth. And you've got your individual houses within there. So do them house by house, save up those blocks, pop them up to one side and then follow the imagery that you've got and the construction pack that is also in there and that will help you with your sashing, with your cor um, cornerstones as well and then all you need to do is decide on your backing which the early bird might still be available to do that. How are you getting on over there Pat? Okay I've done part of my bottom section. You can see I mean this is real time I'm going to Yes. And usually we'd be saying, well, it's kind of real t real time, but you've got a, the cutting out time in advance, but you haven't. No. Because it's all cut for you. So this is literally how quickly they can come together. We've been chatting and talking about different things, and there's two blocks within an hour, yeah. pretty much, that will have come together at the end of it. You've got a handy little can... friend who'll stand by you and I. There you go. Every, every, every quilter needs a mark. Yeah. Yeah. Do. Of it, don't this, this could be a good group quilt as well, wouldn't it? That's a nice yeah, idea, yeah. And then actually, makes yeah. A yeah. one of the houses yeah yeah because yeah. that's it you could almost send out each of those different components wouldn't you it might be that you're in i don't know different parts of the country or making it up and then i don't know maybe doing a charity auction or something yeah. like that but loads of possibilities yeah it'd be a good thing to do for a charity yeah. if everybody made 16 people made one block yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's a nice idea. And actually, I mean, the price itself, you could kind of divide up if you wanted to do it as a fundraiser, couldn't you? Yeah. Obviously, one person can place the order. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't. I've got go. one too. No, I've got one too. No, I've got one too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They all go, oh, we've all ordered a quilt. What are we going to do all now? All of a sudden, we've got 16 quilts in a basket. <laughs> we know why. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is fabulous. I love it. So, I mean, it's just it's just a pleasure to do. And the fabric's lovely, nice and bright. And uh, talking about the fabrics, Moda fabrics. Is yeah. it Moda fabrics throughout? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the panels yeah, yeah. aren't, yeah. Yeah. Quality though, isn't it? And beautiful prints as well. Just so it's, cleverly. It's very fresh, very fresh it and is, clean yeah. cut, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of timeless as well, because I think it kind of will, will travel across all the different seasons as well, with the, the different colour tones that you've got in there. And that's certainly home decors. I mean, there's lots of different colours that are featuring in there, so. We've got a wall lovely. in our lounge that's always got a quilt on, but primarily because we had a door filled, filled in. in. 
and we haven't decided what's going to happen to it. So it hides this oh, what okay. was a door. Well, it sounds like it's a hidden, hidden a uh, scruffy, corridor or something. A scruffy bit of wall it is. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, yeah no, don't, don't think it's some design feature. <laughs> no. And it was supposed to be there for, we we'll put that quilt up. I'll put that, just to hide that for a bit, yeah. For a little while. For a little while, and it's still there. And it's still there, so we keep, and then we've got one that's always there. Yes. And then if we want to photograph, we put the other one on top of it. Oh, Pin it to okay. it, yeah. Um, and because it's just a convenient place. And this has been up there for a while. And Mark took it down. He went, well, our quilt looks a bit dry. Look a bit dry. <laughs> it's a nice, fresh yeah. looking one now. You yeah. just get used to it, you yeah. know. But yeah. And also as well, making quilts. I mean, obviously you've got the practical implications that you can use it. You could have it on a, a sofa or on a bed or, or whatever. Yeah. But I, I love, um, I was watching a show a little while back with um, Janet Clare and she was saying that when you make a quilt, it's not necessarily about the fact that you need something to cover your bed or you need no. something to fill that area. It's almost like um, a fabric puzzle. Um, and lots of people that are kind of in, in, enjoy puzzles and that, can, that kind of the, the, the way your mind works, putting things together, putting, I don't know, numbers into a, a, a puzzle or finding words in a word search. It's that similar sort of construction element, the way that your mind works with a quilt. So don't think to yourself, oh, well, it's, it's a lovely quilt, but I, I, I don't need a quilt for my bed. It's not about that. It's about the process and yeah. the experience of, and the achievement, the sense of achievement yeah. and creating it. And the talking point, someone will come over and say, oh, very that's, nice. That's a good point. Do yeah. they, or, or Ida Down, they yes. call them, people who don't know. They <laughs> yeah, call them all sorts yeah. of things, and you go, blanket what? and that sort of thing. And you say, that's a quilt. Uh, <laughs> where did you get that from? I made it. And they go, yeah. whoa. Yes, yeah. that's the thing, And that's, that's it? a yeah. sense of achievement for somebody. Yeah, definitely. I love it. It's that, it's that kind of sense of almost taking things apart and then putting them back together, isn't it? Cutting up the fabrics and then yeah. stitching together to make something. So, yeah. Which is what a lot of people say, don't they? Why yeah. do you cut, Why do you cut all it all up and put it back together? Yes, yeah. <laughs> but the sense yeah. of satisfaction is amazing, yeah. it is, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. And if you've, ne if you've never quilted before, it's, it's worth giving it a go because it you might make a quilt and that might you might be like, I'm never doing that again. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah. Um, and that's OK because we can't all enjoy everything. But what you could potentially be doing is either going for the quilt because you love the design or look at the cushion because the cushion is also available as well. I mean, um, time wise, we, we are almost up against the wire. I'm going to let Pat carry on doing her stitching, but we've got um, a, a fabulous cushion that Mark's got over by him and we've actually got this available as a kit. So again, this is a brilliant project. Um, in the, the kit here, you can see you've got all the fabrics there pre-cut. You've got your backing fabric there as well as your wadding. Oh, thank you, Mark, darling. And thank you um, and that is going to allow you to create your cushion cover so you've got your cushion cover with your piece fabric this is beautiful I love the stitching that Pat's done on this one um, as well enhancing the design you've also got your fabric that you're going to use for the back of your cushion you just need to add your 16 inch pad in the envelope back there so nice and simple you don't have to worry about zips and things like that although you could add a zip if you wanted to um, or you could even keep that fabric for another project and then just use maybe some of like the uh, the ivory cotton that we had as the early bird on the back there but you're creating your cushion cover now this is a nice way if you've never quilted before for you to have a go because all the pieces are cut you haven't got to worry about rotary cutters or anything like that it's all in there but if you're wanting to get hold of this as a kit you are looking at 19 pounds and 99 pence brilliant value for me and that's including all of your fabrics but if you've got an idea of using other fabrics then we have got the pattern available by itself pattern for the quilt isn't available but if you wanting to create your own cushion then you can do because you've got for 9.99 the pattern in a beautiful envelope there with all the information that you need for your requirements and inside there you will have your full color instructions in fact i will show you that um, because here you've got full color in illustrations and your um, different instructions there so so you can see that panel coming together that pat's working on similar sort of idea throughout there and that is the way you can get hold of that tuition by using your own fabrics but I ha do consider the kit because for that extra tenner you're getting all of the fabrics that you need for you to create your project so it's two different ways it's entirely up to you but 9.99 if you're wanting to go for emma's house as the pattern but then 19.99 if you want to go for the kit as well and just if you absolutely adore this quilt 
and you're wanting to get hold of it I will warn you having gone through all of the different kind of tuition with Pat and we will go back over there in a second um, we have got more people adding this to their basket now than we have stock available so lots of you've checked out your baskets already brilliant this will be on its way to you and you're gonna have so much so be fun putting this together but if you are thinking I'm leaving it right to the end of the hour of course you can do but that doesn't guarantee you will get the kit so might be worth checking out your basket now because when we say goodbye to you it's gonna be a proper bun fight for everybody getting <laughs> hold of these Pat last yeah. few minutes coming back over to you uh, I've just got two seams to sew and you now look at it it looks like a house now doesn't yes it? Yeah. that's why I wanted to get these sections done so I mean less than an hour two uh, blocks two, two, blocks, two blocks so if you took one hour looking at your pattern and yes, yeah. not have your mark to do Having a cup of tea. Then, <laughs> you know, I think, that, you know, it's such an, it's much more simple than it looks, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. Well, and yeah, reading I mean, instructions twice. Yes, yeah. That, yes, yeah, do make Definitely sure you read those that. instructions a couple of times. And yeah, and you've got your two different styles of blocks. So once you've kind of mastered each one of those, then you're going to be well on your way. So, I mean, I suppose conservative, you could say 16 hours, then you've got your finishing in there. So uh, maybe a, a couple of weekends, maybe you've got a week off work and you fancy a project to get stuck into. But now I can't think of a better project to get your teeth into. Pat Lark, we will see you um, in an hour or so's time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Time to go and get yourself some birthday cake, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you back here um, at um, 11 o'clock. So thank you for your company for the last hour. We've got lots more to come. Maria is coming back after the break and I will be the other side of this too. See you in a bit. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume. So I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her, so her head's stuffing's gone in her head so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background um, but I just love them, I've got one here, um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people so um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. 
See you there. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back to what is turning out to be an absolutely amazing day. Um, and I am loving it. I know you guys are loving it as well because we've been getting so many lovely messages coming through. Um, lots of you watching on um, social media as well. So uh, yeah, fabulous. Now, before we go into the hour, Ben is chatting to me um, and uh, I've, got a, a, a I've got a favor to ask of the viewers, have I? All right, okay. Now I've no idea what this is. <laughs> so. Oh, now, yes, I know where he's coming from now, because if you were here at 8am this morning, you will know just how incredibly busy we were. So much so that pretty much everything that the lovely Maria, that I'll, who I'll introduce to in a few moments, her kits sold out literally as we were showing you. We didn't even have a chance to demonstrate some of them because they were just going so quickly. So, yeah, some of them did sell out in about three minutes. So if you could do us a favour and just kind of pace yourselves we've got an hour to fill um, and when you've got nothing to show then it's quite a long hour and that means lots of talking and I know you don't want that um, so talking of which I am going to introduce the lovely Maria to you and I know you will recognize Maria because she's a, a welcome face here on Sewing Street did her first hour with us at 8am which you absolutely loved but we go um, back we've got a bit of a journey between us so we have worked together on a, a former life shall we say and you may well recognize her because she was over on Hobby Maker yesterday Today. That's right. Yeah. Hello there. I love it. And good? listening to your stories of what yeah. your plans are and what you're hoping to bring us, Maria, it's very exciting. Yeah. I mean, the, the actual company has been going since 2020 and um, it's just evolved. I mean, everyone seems to be interested in the heritage side of doing sewing. I love sewing. it. Yeah. I mean, it, everything is heritage. It's all got to come from somewhere. Yes. Um, but basically, I do take my inspiration from the houses I work with as a conservator for textiles. So I mend, clean and repair old objects. So when um, we kind of take our little natural um, uh, National Trust card and we go off around the country, there, yeah. there are things that we might see, wall hanging, curtains, cushions, chairs, all sorts of things that you've That's kind right. of done little fix-its fix on. Yeah, and also I do give advice on how to store, how okay. to um, keep it in good condition. Um, sometimes we have to unfortunately pack things away and mm -hmm. put into archives because we can't have it on display. There's only a certain time length on yes. lights and you know, heat yeah, and stuff. Yeah, don't think about the light on yeah, things. Yeah, I mean, there's some of the repairs that are actually, there is a beautiful barn in Norfolk called Textile Barn. It's owned by the National Trust. Okay. It's next to Blinkington, which okay. is Blinkington House. And um, I've gone there a few times where I've actually been moth damage on objects oh, where they've wow. got the deep freezers so oh. they can actually put a tapestry in a freezer. Oh my goodness, bonkers. Yeah, it's amazing, <laughs> it really is. Um, furniture, things like that. I mean, I do work with a lot of different objects, but as long as it's textile based, you know. And, and um, yeah, so some of the tapestries, that it usually takes four people to sit at one row wow. to actually go through systematically thread by thread wow. and finish things and yeah it's really really interesting and of course the thing is although you've got a piece that's kind of generations um, in history 
it's modern day um, materials that quite often you're having to use and match and source that's and right. bring it to give it that heritage look yeah. and that's kind of where we yeah. find ourselves so I'm going to introduce you to a couple of kits and we'll have more of a chat with Maria in a few moments um, now I will give you a bit of a heads up if you were watching earlier on you will know just how incredibly busy we were and how quickly things sold out so I've got a lot of uh, well I've got a big feeling that a lot of you who watched that hour that maybe missed out on things have really joined us through this hour and you know the routine you're going to get in as early as you can so i'm going to kick things off with this beautiful piece here now this is your tiffany rose in fact i'm going to hold it and show you on my camera above me because you will be able to see this in all its glory and all that beautiful shimmer and sparkle that you're going to be able to create with this now your kit for your tiffany rose is available i'll take you through that in a few moments but you can see how beautiful this piece is you've got lots of intricate work some of which we did cover in the last hour but i've got a feeling we're going to be talking about it again in this hour so this particular kit the details are on your screen so I'll show you exactly what we've got in the kit and I'll show you the other elements that we've got before we get to Maria because if you come to me after we've spoken to Maria it stands a chance that these will have sold out so <laughs> it's the only chance I'm going to get so beautifully packaged so when you open your box up you can see there's so much pride that has gone into the packaging of these products it's almost like you're opening an heirloom item to start with now you will get full color instructions so whatever you shop for you are not left on your own although we will be going through things in fine detail during this particular round so full color imagery um, also details of additional things if you do need them you'll find on there as well and also full color photos taking you step by step even down to how to form your stitches on some of these as well so that's included in there contact details should you need them you've got all your beautiful pack of your embellishments and your different little bits and pieces in there including your needle so you don't even need to go and find that beautiful um, uh, kind of almost like an antique gold beautiful color that one looks like it's come out of the the history of the books that one gorgeous you're gonna get that skein in there and you are also going to get your panel and this is the key thing because on your panel pre-printed you have your design that when you take the tuition that Maria gives us you are going to create your fabulous piece as you can see there so that is your kit 24.99 being your price lots of you know how um, incredible the kits are because you've seen the show or you are a follower of um, old made new um, and uh, you've got involved straight away so much so that um, we've only got 14 of these left and we had really good quantity of these to start with um, and the emphasis is the fact that we've got 14 left but we've got over 20 people trying to shop for this one so if you're wanting to get hold of your kit can i make a suggestion you do it pretty quick <laughs> so vmo7942 if you're wanting that one and i'm going to move that one to the side as i bring in the next kit for you and this is beautiful this is where you can actually use your embroidery and wear it as jewelry um, we'll chat about these designs so please excuse me while I kind of just show you the kit but we will talk about this one in a few moments so you've got two pieces here you've got a beautiful slide which is actually attached to the felt there so you can see you've got your little brooch clip there um, and then you've also got these beautiful earrings that you're going to be able to create and you've got your kit so with your kit you're looking at your Celtic jewels brooch and earring kit um, and again when you open the box up everything that you need in there full instructions full photographs everything you've even got your templates in there as well and again all of the elements that you need the highest of quality all sourced by our lovely Maria to mean that the minute that you open the box you've got everything you need in there all your pearl threads are in there as well and um, you've also got your felt as well which we'll be chatting about why you need these different components touched on it a little bit earlier on but it is all there ready for you to get crafting with the moment it arrives and then ultimately you are making something that's going to be a conversation starter when you put it all together 24.99 being the price on this particular one and definitely one to go for as is the last kit that we were just looking at a few moments ago we have got the ability for you to get hold of threads and different bits and pieces but I think should we chat about those later or do you want to chat about those now Ben it's entirely up to you we'll do it a little bit later on because I am looking forward to a demo so um, I'm going to pass over to Maria. So Thank Maria, you. what did you want to show us for your first um, demo? Well, the first demo I've got is actually the Tiffany Rose kit. Lovely. Um, okay, so we can have I a can chat show about you that as you go. Basically, some of the elements of what you have to do in that. Again, it's a beginner's kit. Um, so if you are a gold work expert and stuff, you'll probably find this kit's quite easy to do. Um, I do put the um, terms in the instructions. So when I say things like pass and thread, 
I, I'll tell you what Parson Thread is. But basically, this one's actually a really, really nice. It's designed from a Tiffany glass. That's the design oh, base. Oh, I see. Yes, yeah. It's called Tiffany Rose, but it looks a bit like stained glass, raw iron, that yes. sort of thing, which is actually the feel of it. Um, yesterday I was on Hobby Maker, and I actually have this block that was on Hobby Maker, and that might be actually on the website. Oh, so okay. if you fancy printing it again on your for yourself or doing some block printing, actually that design is there. Oh, so you can okay. actually purchase that as well. Oh, okay, you lovely. To. We can hop over to Hobby yeah. Maker for that. So I think there's some just about some left because again I had a sellout show yesterday as, <laughs> as well. <laughs> so it's basically, the lightest touch almost yeah. that you've got at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So basically what I've done is in the kit, those little faux leather gotters, they're called goters. And um, in India, they decorate their saris with this, but it's also a thing of luck. Okay. You know, so anything to do with like coin styles or making up like the goters on your, on the edges of beads and things, that's, that's where this comes from. Oh, okay. But I thought it'd be lovely to actually make a gold flower. So what I've done is I've literally just took them out of the kit and glued them on with some fabric glue in place. Okay, so just fabric glue that will have an our mm, yeah. sewing box or something but like that. But basically what it'll do is it will actually really hold it in place while you're stitching into it. Ah, oh, so you well. still stitch it in. Yeah, okay. you can do. You can leave them like 3D sticking up or, you know, you can actually stitch back into it, but I'll show you that anyway. Okay. Um, and the next thing we're going to do as well is look at couching this lovely, um, it's five strands, because what I do is, when you take a length, round about, say, 40 inches long, I never go more than 40 inches because it's hard to then handle it okay. and also it can get tangled. I then knot the ends so they don't fray okay. because I find this quite, because it is wound on, but it can actually fray as you're working. So the knotted ends, so they don't do that. And I actually wax it with oh, some wax. Okay. So you can use a tea light if you haven't got a proper yeah. wax because that will actually hold it, it in kind of place. Conditions your thread and conditions as well. it. Right, okay. Makes it a bit more silky when yes. you're working with it. And one of the strands um, I've actually taken out of the six strands, so it's a five strand thread base on that. Okay. I've actually threaded onto a needle, which is the fine needle in the kits, doubled it and then put a little knot and then just started at the base of the edge. Oh, so you use every, so you, every strand in yeah. that effect. So yeah. what you're going to do really is you're couching it onto the actual raw iron bits, so all the bits that are curly around. So basically I'll start off. It doesn't matter about the knotted end because we actually will put a sequin over that. Okay. So I've just designed it so it's simple. So Another does the knot sit on the surface then? Because yeah. at the couching, you're always working on the front of your work, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, with couching, you never go through the fabric. Yes. You always literally, you're adhering the fabric with the needle and the threads. So again, you won't be able to see your couching because it's going to be the same colour as your strands. So you literally held that in place already. You don't even have to yeah. sort of worry about that anymore. And all you're doing really is following your lines, which is actually printed for you already. And it doesn't matter if you go through it or over, you know, as long as you go over the six strands or five strands, then you just hold that into place. That's and it's quite therapeutic, really, just I mean, like going around. I'm looking at the, the thread that's being couched in place on the, the one that I've got here, and you've got way more thread than you actually need yeah. in that skein. There is eight metres there. So again, like I say, you could actually redo it or, you know, use that's it. That's a nice idea, actually. Yeah. So. Or you could actually double it if you wanted to have a thicker line if you want to and you can see you can see that kind of swirly pattern if you excuse the expression where yeah. um, it's kind of meandering around the design that you've got there and of course when you look at Maria's you can see you've kind of got the foundation line there that you're going to follow but you can see there that skein you've got way more than you're going to need to actually create that design so yeah I like the idea yeah. of doing multiples of these. When there is eight meters on each on skeins um, which is a way, a way amount but then that's what I like about my kits because I always make sure I put more than enough. Yeah. I never yes. get anybody contacting me saying, "Oh, I've got enough to do this." <laughs> you know, they've always been happy, so it's really, really nice. So yeah, so all I'm doing is really is just following these lines around. So what I do is I start really looking at the line and then coming up on the edge, and then 
place it back over. And it's back um, over. a good idea, incidentally, as well, if you have got a, a hoop that leaves your hands free. I don't know if we've got it on the show again, but there, there is a hoop that's got um, a seat panel, um, seat base, should I say, on it as well. Um, and we, we've got the details up on the screen. I've not got one here to show you, but it's kind of like a hands-free hoop, which is useful because it means that obviously your fabric's hooped up and you've got both hands available to do your couching. So to lay that gold thread um, or that golden thread along and then obviously you can couch it in place just makes it a little bit easier. This one uh, kind of got your seat, um, st seat steady on there. So that paddle that you can see, you can hook underneath your leg as you're sewing, but equally so that the height can be adjusted. So if you don't want to sit and sew and you'd rather stand or have it sitting on the table, you can adjust it to your own personal height. So $27.99 if you're wanting to invest in that one. And uh, yeah. it is useful to be able to have your hands free with this, I'm guessing. Yeah, well, because when you were doing gold work, you actually probably do need your two hands because you tend to be working on the surface a lot. Yes. Um, sometimes you have to turn the hoop around mm -hmm. to you know, secure the back. But um, it's nice to have the two hands free because one hand I support the couching. Yes, yeah. And then the other hand I'm actually sewing that's with it, yeah. as well. So if you're right hand or left hand, it doesn't matter as well. So that's another thing about it. But yeah, you can know, see already. What I do is sometimes I go ahead of myself. So I'll go to that edge there and then I'll work back over around the bits that I haven't sort of stitched because that way it's held in place. Can I ask as well, Maria? Mm. I mean, obviously, the, the, I'm just thinking about it with the kicks. I'm thinking like a crafter now. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Um, this here, obviously, this this is printed onto the fabric. So, in effect, this is almost like your template that you might usually get on a, I don't know, a sheet that's, that's on a right. photocopy paper or something yeah. like that. But it's actually onto your fabric. Because I'm thinking, I mean, if you've got the the amount of thread that you've got, I know mm. obviously with your embellishments, you've got enough for this one particular piece. But could you actually transfer that if you wanted to? With a, a pen you onto other fabric because if we bought the yeah. kit or you could photocopy I okay. suggest even photocopy as long as you've bought the kit you've got it just do an outline on top of the because you could almost do like a, a rosette of these if you've got a larger piece of fabric or, or lots of different pieces with it yeah or, or make it as almost like a piece that you can actually put onto a garment because the amount of thread that you've got there so that's right oh now my mind's gone into overdrive <laughs> yeah yeah I mean again if you wanted the um outline to be you can now buy the block print and print it yourself yes that's it yeah but Which i don't mind if you do get in touch yeah. i mean if you wanted a proper photocopy of it you can email me and i'll email it back oh to you bless you as well i don't sometimes i do put the tracing in i think on the celtic jewels i do because I you've got to remember. trace that yeah yourself. i did notice it in that one i didn't notice but it that in, one this, I don't in the tiffany rose do, yeah no. oh, that's okay though yeah but i mean some people sort of have, have never said to me oh we need some more or you know but yeah no I mean always contact me I'm just thinking because it might be that you like the design and you, you've got a, I don't know a pocket that you're wanting to put it onto so rather than actually put it onto the fabric in the kit you, you kind of trace it direct onto your garment yeah so yeah so basically that's your couching really on that. yeah, that, so and we were chatting section. earlier you were saying there's kind of four techniques really when it comes to gold um, embroidery yeah. gold work um, on the taster kit um, you're learning the four basic methods so it's padding, which mm -hmm. is basically, this was padding okay. in a sense. Um, and then there's chipping, which is, I'm going to demonstrate the middle of the flower. Lovely. Um, couching, which is what you've just done just now, parson thread. Again, this is treated like a parson thread. So anything like this, or you know, the, what's in the other kits, is basically more flexible, okay. so you're couching. The metal threads you chip, or you can actually use the wire as well, which is pearl wire. Again, it's couching. It's like an education yeah. within the so kit, isn't it? Learning yeah. all the techniques. So yeah, I'm just going to, you can actually, with this as well, this pattern, because you've secured the end, you can then just cut that. Then I'll knock the end again, stop it fraying, and then start again. And that little knot, so it's a good idea, as you said there, just stops it unraveling. Yeah. Quite swingy sometimes, aren't they, metallic threads? So they are they're really, prone to yeah. that unraveling. I find that they really do fray a lot. But see, that just stops that fraying again. So what you're going to do in the kit again, I've got some sequins, and you are actually on the ends just putting a little sequin in okay. between, ah. which is on the kit. So, yes, yeah. Yeah. It's nice touch that. And they're lovely and shiny, I have to say, those little sequins that you've got in there. Very eye-catching, the whole piece to be yeah. done. So, yeah, basically what we're doing is we're just really couching at the moment. 
Um, I'll do some chipping in a minute, maybe do the edge or something or the middle yeah, of the flower. Yeah, well, I'm enthralled watching yeah. the demonstration, so you just you carry on and do what you like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a lovely time watching. So as a beginner, it's very, very, it looks harder than it is. Mm -hmm. uh, because when I came across it, I thought, oh my God, you know, how did they do that? But when I started learning how to, because I had to mend and repair some of the objects I was doing, I thought, it's so basic. But then the 12th century, they were very basic. Yeah, it was very basic. They didn't even have embroidery stitches, really. Well, it yeah. wasn't informed until 1700s, Oh, probably. really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something I never so really thought of. Because, I mean, fabrics and yeah. are kind of the essence of sewing, I suppose, were way before it got named. Does the that need make sense? Needles as well. I yeah. mean, um, I went to the Needle Museum and read it. Oh, did you? It's yes. fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. I went to there and I keep going in there now. I buy my needles in there now as well because they do a really good selection. Yes, yeah. But everything is proper stainless steel yeah, and everything. So they've got, um, but I was quite uh, fascinated that there wasn't actually any needles in the, say, 12th century up to 14th century, I think, yes, they invented yeah, the needle. Yeah. So, in, you know, embroidery terms, when you think of it, what do they were using like sort of thick pieces with a great big slot in the back mm -hmm. so they were actually yeah so that's why probably you know nothing went through the fabric <laughs> it was all couching and if you are ever um, in the redditch area do take yourself down to, to have a look it's really informative they have loads of different fabulous um, events on through the school holidays and things as well so yeah it's always worth it. take a picnic and have a lovely time as well yeah. and there's a water mill there that you can go and have a little look at and i was just hearing um ben talking about uh, john uh, james needles i didn't realize yeah. you've got a family connection with that ben our producer that's, today that's, is that's involved, right yeah. yes yeah because i and always buy their their needles for kits that i bring so I'm a, yeah. as a conservator that's what we use we use john james yeah. because we know it's some um, proper you know genuine yeah. stainless steel i, I, I do um, kind of doll the, needles that i, I buy right. from them not for dolls but for yeah. the, use, yeah. but the ones that are curved curved yes. needles yeah. we do a lot with the tapestry especially yeah. Yeah. as well oh, big small world so yeah i do love um, john james's products they're really good yeah so basically as you can see it's quite therapeutic really doing yes, this yeah it's so just to do it in your own place. time don't you? you don't win a prize for doing it in a few hours you no. just enjoy it but on, on the actual print in the kit um i put like a little there's two ridges there's two gray lines basically and what you're doing is it's giving you that thing where you can actually just put the thread in the center mm -hmm. if you wanted it thicker you can do double thread if you wanted but i think the fine the finer the detail the better really and also, I suppose if you want to, you can take inspiration from the design, but add your own little kind of twist to it if you wanted to. You can. You can put more beads into yeah. it. You can um, fill in the areas if you wanted to with embroidery threads, just normal satin stitch. Nice idea. Yeah. Um, Almost like a fusion of crafts then. Yeah, it? have real colour in there. It would be really nice. Fabulous. Now, um, I will warn you, it's been a very popular kit as well. I'm sitting here having a lovely time just watching and suddenly <laughs> thought I'd better do some work, hadn't I? Uh, we've only got five kits left. Um, so the Tiffany Rose is the one that we've got here, as you can see. Um, you've got that beautiful decorative detail where you're going to be learning all the different elements. And you guys, I know you guys are enjoying the demonstration as much as I am because uh, it's about 30-odd 30, 30 of you uh, have got these in your baskets, 31 in baskets, but we only have four available. <laughs> so you might be watching and you're having a lovely calm morning watching Maria so but the urgency is for you to check your baskets out now people are checking their baskets out as I speak to you now so yeah um, those four are not going to last very long at all so yeah if you want in yours details are on your screen get involved as you can quickly as you can just if you have just joined us and you love this piece here just to explain to you what you are getting when you're shopping with that item number you can get a box with your inspiration photograph on the front of your box and it's all beautifully packaged full instructions as you can see there you're also going to have your fabric and your fabric is the foundation for you to get started so you've actually got the design there already printed on the fabric now it might look familiar to you because we have actually got over on hobby maker um, a, a block that you can actually print this design now whether they still have it available or not i don't know because it was a very busy show yesterday that uh, i think there was some there. left on the tiffany rose There's just a few left and on the, the alphabets tiffany. and the numbers went i think oh, yeah right. but um yeah i mean again it's um nice to have the block uh, yeah and the block show because they're made in india well and they're hard. beautiful absolutely gorgeous I was, I was looking at them yesterday so yeah do check out over on hobby maker the um if you look for is, is it under the same company name yeah, yeah it's old, old made new, new. Yeah. so yeah look under yeah. old made 
made new on the Hobby Maker website. We also have this fusion, this crossover, shouldn't we, really? Where you can't have <laughs> well, I've, I've been on Hobby you Maker for them up then. a few months, haven't I? Yes. Well, since January. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so it's not my first time on oh, well, Street. Oh, if ever you want to bring things over, lovely. just just ask and then yeah. you can, yeah. Here's me making managerial decisions. <laughs> I don't. I haven't even qualified to make the tea, so let alone making these managerial decisions. Um, we've only got three of those kits left. You're going to get a full skein in there. So if you're wanting to get hold of your full skein, then you can do because that's already in the kit. You're only going to use a small amount, and then you're going to get your additional little embellishments, your needles in there as well, and your fabulous little sequins there, which is beautiful here. Um, lovely, lovely message coming through. Um, I have another of Maria's blocks and got the Tiffany Rose one yesterday. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well done. Brilliant. Uh, and again, print it on calico. That's a really good idea. Um, if have we got any of the early birds left, or have they gone there? Oh, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, that's really um, lovely. That I must uh, admit, that's a good find. That it is. And if you do want your calico, that is something. Oh, I nearly forgot to put the panel back in. You can get your calico. We're just getting it added onto the show. Ben's doing it as we speak. I can hear him tip, 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 typing away. Bless him. Um, <laughs> and uh, you can get hold of calico. We do sell calico in a variety of different cuts. But one of the ways that we have available at the moment is if you're shopping for your bolt of calico, which might seem quite excessive with your embroidery, but you're actually getting 25 metres of it. So that is going to last you a long, long time. And it is beautiful quality. You're saving £24.50 in that, but it is a perfect way for you to get hold of them. Um, and uh, yeah, it's always, it's kind of like a bread and butter fabric, isn't it, to have it? Well, it's not a bread and butter fabric, but it's like a pantry item. That's what I mean. Um, and uh, yeah, it's always popular. And it could be that if you are um, just like that message, the, the messenger that came to, I didn't catch the name on that one, so uh, apologies for that. But uh, I don't think they gave the name, I don't think. Yeah, collector. Um, so I'm not too sure who it'll be, but um, it is, oh, it's Kate. So it's, it's, am I allowed to say, well, I've said it now, haven't I? So yeah. I don't know if you're trying to be anonymous, Kate, but you're out there. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, do check. And I think if we have been looking on Hobby Maker um, and you can get hold of that, that block. So, yeah, you have to kind of marry all your baskets up together. So, there. Yeah. Anyway, the kit, uh, no, not the kit, the calico is on your screen at the moment. Split pay means you can spread the cost, and that means that you don't have to worry about um, any interest on there because uh, it's kind of, well, free. You don't have any interest on there. I'm mentioning all these things, Maria, yeah. because you've obviously brought your own following to the channel. So that's right. There'll be people that haven't lovely. shopped with us here before. Yeah, so, that's really, yeah. really nice because that's what I want to do. I want to try and keep heritage crafts and skills yes. in both ways. And again, block printing is. And it's the way of me, instead of um, like mass producing printed fabrics, yes, yeah. um, basically I would hand block it. So you're learning the skills of hand block printing and then you can do your gold work and your embroidery. And since we're talking about fabric, and, well. and also, I mean, this ties in with, there's a lot of those TV programmes that we love to watch where they're kind of like repairs going yeah. on. I mean, repair I absolutely shop. love the repair shop. There's loads of other yeah. ones out there. But we're all getting into these and I think everybody's thinking it's so lovely to see those skills coming through the That's generations. Right. They've kind of skipped a few generations, haven't they? Yeah. Um, and, and coming through. But while we're talking about fabrics, um, excuse me, Liberty Fabric Designer. Yes, I know, I've come In ways. the house, <laughs> Anne Maria. So yeah. this is what you used to do in a former life. That's right. Well, when I was when I was young, <laughs> when I was are. young, when I was only about <laughs> 20, <laughs> um, basically I was at Chelsea School of Art. So I did a diploma in textiles. And um, one of my work placements was working at Liberties oh in London. Oh my goodness. Because I used to work in Titchfield Street, Portland Street, with the fashion designers. Um, so basically I was a textile designer and colorist and I used to color up at least seven colorways per design. Wow. So I'd sit and hand paint all those little tiny flowers. So this is before prints. we had kind of tablets That's to work right. on uh, and layers in, in yeah. oh. And I used to work for um, other companies, Debenhams, you know, Topshop. Oh, um, wow. So I used to see my prints in the window at Oxford Street. Yeah, I mean, and Debenhams used to do a lot of swimwear stuff. Oh, wow. um, I worked for US and Canada. I used to do Jap Japanese prints oh my goodness. for Japan. But I did this for about 20 odd years, 22 years. I used to travel, show my work, all hand painted designs, swatches. Oh, wow. And then get them printed. So, yeah, that was, my, that oh, was what I was doing. You need to speak <laughs> to the people upstairs about this. You certainly do. Oh, so, it's my nice goodness. because, again, when I was working with 
fact, I've always come back to sewing. My dad was a tailor. Oh, okay. So, so it's in, in your veins. <laughs> yeah. But I've always come back to the sewing because I understand about the cloth and the fabric yes. and what it can do, what it can't do. Um, but yeah, it's lovely and it's really nice now because mixed media is just, in those days we didn't do everything, did we? And we used to do either printing or textiles weave or something like that. And when even when I was at art college, we wouldn't mix medias. Yes, yeah. But now, I mean, it's lovely because you can experiment. You Absolutely, know, yeah. You know, which is I love nice. It. That fusion, isn't it? Oh, we get yeah. some lovely messages come through. Oh, lovely. Um, uh, I would like. I would like to make this incredibly beautiful um, embroidery too. It's amazing. Well, you can. Yeah, well, you can. You can if you quit. Sick, yeah. Um, because I say you can, and I said that I said that out loud before I actually checked on the stock. Oh, we've got two left. So yeah, if you're quick, then you can take advantage of the kit that we've got, and that's allowing you to create this beautiful Tiffany rose that you've got here yeah. as well. Uh, we've got 32 people with these in the baskets, and we have two available. Wow. And I will warn you, we're not going to be able to say to you, oh, we've got more of these, and we're adding them onto the show. That is it. We won't have any more of these until we see Maria back again um, in her next show, which we hope isn't going to be too long away, to be honest, as well. So, uh, yeah, um, I don't think it'll be too long. It's been phenomenally busy. So, did you want to show us any more with regards yeah, to that particular Yeah, I mean, I was going piece? to do a bit of chipping again. Oh, let's I just, do it. Yeah, just in case you didn't out. see the 8 o'clock show, I can show the chipping again, Lovely. which was really good. So, with the metal threads, they actually are made of copper, and they're sprayed in colours. Okay. Um, I don't know if you can see, probably I'll put it just about... Do you want to nudge it there? There you go. Is that better? Yeah, that's great. Wonderful. So I've got my beading tray because that stops it from flying all over. And I have a pair of scissors that are actually designed to cut metal threads. These are serrated inside. So they, what they do is they grip the thread and then they cut it and chip it. Basically what I do is with your threads, you usually get about 12 inches in colours. Okay. But I'm using this lovely greeny yellow colour, which I'm going to do in the centre of the flower. Lovely. So we're going to do that loop tipping, which is mm. lovely. So you get that really nice texture, because on the kit, you can see the centre of the flower. You can, um, yeah. The, yeah. It's, it's kind like, of magnified on the, the yeah. photograph on the kit, actually. So all you're doing really is, if you, you've got a ruler, you can do, but it doesn't matter with this, because the actual wires are going to be curled right. so it doesn't matter how le the lengths are okay. but roughly around about five millimeters three millimeters that's fine so all you're doing is you're chipping them literally cutting them into so like chipping them and you'll learn all the terminology because yeah. it's all kind of uh, based chipping in is cutting it's um, a bit like bugle beads they look and like they bugle do beads. look like beads now yeah, yeah. and that is the thing because the actual thread is actually hollow inside that enables you to put the needle through and bead them on so it's basically so it's, it's almost like a tube yeah. to start with that's right oh, so okay. i've got my chips now so i'm just going to go back to bringing this over lovely right so, so we've got this work back, back in again yeah so again you're just using your cotton and your needle as you did before but this is actually the yellow gutterman thread that's but if you've got any in your your cotton stash you can use normal cottons okay but if you've got another this is mesmerized right so it's actually a very strong smooth cotton lovely it's double threaded as well which actually in conservation conservation we always double thread yes and because it just strengthens it more and it stops it snag if one part snags then the other bit's still in place. That's a good point, so, actually, yes. You know, yeah. That's why we do that for. But the, oh, if you haven't got, or haven't got any of this cotton, you can actually just wax the cotton. Mm -hmm. Again, it makes it smooth coming through as well. So when I'm going to actually just bead on with the needle, your first chip. So your first chip is literally on the needle. It's a fine needle, it's a sharp, like a sharp needle. So it hasn't got that bevel on the end. You bring it all the way down to the base and go back through the hole that you came up through. Oh, now can I just ask, oh. because we haven't touched on this beautiful bundle of threads that I've got here, oh, yes. could you actually use these for the technique that you're doing or are they too too pretty to actually use for that? Um, kind of? I would do French knots because oh, that's okay. the kind of same thing. Instead of using metal threads, you can just do French knots, which would be nice as well. But oh. that's a nice combination. So you can actually use the metallic thread and Beautiful. 
Yeah, so because the metallic ones are lovely as well. Gorgeous. Now this little bundle of threads, I'm just going to move that out yeah. of the way. We'll, we'll have a little chat about that in a yeah. few moments, but the details are up on the screen. Now this is going to be that you'll get an assortment, not necessarily the exact same colour that we've got here, but there's loads of fabulous colours. So you'll get five different reels. Um, each one of them uh, has got a bountiful supply of thread, giving you, um, where am I, is that 1,000, one no, 50, yeah, 1,500 metres. I couldn't quite figure it out well, for a moment there's then. There's 350 metres on, on each, each one. one. That would make sense um, then. So yeah, so on the five, I think that's, that Beautiful. adds up to 1,500. Gorgeous. Yeah. Lovely if you're into your embroidery. So if you are watching and you like your embroidery and you haven't managed to get hold of the kits, then you can get um, hold of these threads. You're going to get um, an assortment of five for just £12.99. And they're a beautiful quality, I have to say. Um, and uh, they've got that gorgeous silk um, art finish, as you can see with those. So definitely worth going for those. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, they are actually 80% silk Ooh. and 20% polyester. So, so they've got that, that durability, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in a sewing machine, if you do freestyle sewing machine, that is absolutely, they glide through the machine. They're free really motion work, yeah. yeah. And they're slightly thicker than you might have come across with um, things like a rayon thread. So you're really going to actually see that beautiful um, sheen come through. Perfect for your hands. So you might not get exactly the same as we've got here, um, but if you are shopping for them, you will get five different colours. If people decide to go for multiple sets, this is something that you're dispatching. Will you, you kind of make sure they've got 10 different colours? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah so that's what I do. Up. Yeah, I don't repeat the colours. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Um, so there you go. If you fancy getting hold of those threads, turning our attention very briefly back to the Tiffany Rose. And I say briefly because I think I did hear, has it gone now, the kit? Has it sold out now? Yes. Yeah. So oh. thank you. Do make sure when you see in the schedule, um, Maria's show's been back again, make sure you get involved again. Um, very quickly, while I've got your attention, just so as I make sure that we've covered everything that we've got on the show, we've got a fabulous set of threads as well. And these are beautiful. They've got that gorgeous shine, but you have found them already. So half the stock has gone of these. So would we use these for hand embroidery as well? Yeah, you can use them for couching, like I was just demonstrating just now so you can actually couch with them you can embroider them you can do satin stitch you know basically you can actually mix them with normal color threads as yes, well yeah. which you can have like a double oh, strand a nice idea, which would be yeah. nice or in wool um, cross stitch yeah so Beautiful. you know I love it. Um, brilliant because you're going to get 200 metres on each one of those, giving you 600 in total, and you will get exactly as you look um, looking at here. So you've got that kind of old gold, it's that, got that kind of yellow antique look to it. You've got um, more of a kind of creamy gold with that particular one there, which is your new gold, and then you've also got your silver thread in there as well. So all three of those coming to you for just $8.99, a very affordable price. Nice as well um, for adding those um, little French knots if you wanted. Yeah, you know, they would look right. like little beads, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, wow. but they are new to Beautiful. Sewing Street because I've not had these ones on before. I have had the gold and silver sari ones, yes, which are out of stock at the moment, but I put those in the place. But I think I like those better, they're Beautiful. really lovely colours. Gorgeous, absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, so, $8.99, if you're wanting to get hold of those, uh, please do so. Now, we've had a question come through something to do with French wire. Oh, right, yes. Oh. The French wire was like the pearl wire, ah. which was that rigid wire, which was on the Goldwork taster kits. Right. Yeah, oh, because so do we, still, that we sell that on, on Jewelry Maker, do we? Right. We're doing a bit of research. We're doing a bit of research because Ben, who is our producer um, for this hour, he's done work over on Jewelry Maker as well. So he's actually come to find the thread, to feel the thread and compare it yeah. with uh, the, uh, it's like, sing the theme tune. <laughs> it's like the theme tune. <laughs> and so he's come to find the thread, feel the thread and compare it with the thread that we've been talking about. So I'm not sure who emailed in, where the message came from. And uh, yeah, it is, that's Ben. Uh, so yeah, he's so going to have a little look. Have a look so while Ben's words. doing that, can I show yes. you one of the other kits that we've got available? Available as well so this is now we, uh, oh actually I can't can you because the detail can you change the details for us oh thank you um, so this is now Charlie I'm introducing you to all this but you saw it then you can carry on off he goes there's Ben again there you go oh all his fans will be there um, you are Alice 
<laughs> um, so uh, yeah this is another kit that we've got available this is what you're ultimately going to make and you're going to make this fabulous little brooch or it could be a clip that goes in your hair because I think that's the original um, historic element of that which we'll ch chat about in a few moments you've also got your fabulous little earrings and this comes together as a little kit as well so the kit for this one the details are up on your screen it's your Celtic Jewels Gold Work Kit again when you open it up you're going to have your full instructions you've got in this one the full color photograph in there you've also got your template and your stitch guide with regards to those as well in addition to that you are going to get the felt you're also going to get um, your beautiful silver tone which is going to be your base for you to work on so all of that coming in there you've got almost well it's almost got uh, like a moleskin feel to it as well absolutely beautiful bit of felt there you've got your little bit of padding because that's something that you're going to need to do as well to get the shape um, and then you're going to get all the beads you're earring findings are in there as well your little thread um, your needle there is in there as well all your thread absolutely beautiful kit for um, 24.99 now you might want to follow it exactly per instructions which you can do or you might have invested in more of those fabulous blocks that we've been chatting about and coming up with your own idea and just using the components well it's entirely up to you so 24.99 that oh i forgot that a little bit there let's pop that back in there as well as the instructions 24.99 ultimately if you're following it per the instructions that's what you're going to be creating absolutely beautiful J, um, jl7950 if you wanted to go for those now going back to the french wire so if you've bought any jewelry maker french wire and that's the only one that we can relate to because there might be other brands that are out there but the one that we sell on jewelry maker um it's a, a lot more slinky so the the one that we are uh, selling today that is much firmer it's got much more substance to it so it, it's going to be slightly different to work with so is it was that that was that that where we were looking at or is it something different ah oh, the coiled one that we had in the little, little bags right they're in the earlier show so i haven't got those to show you so there you go hopefully that's answered that question yeah, because they're um, made of copper wire that are coiled right and they're much more flexible right and you can pull them apart to couch with got so you. you can actually couch through the ridges i love it but i think the one that you were saying i think was a bit more it's softer isn't yes, it? yes yes i don't think yeah. it's kind of got the substance no behind that's right it, so. yeah it might work but mm -hmm. yeah I, I think when you've actually got it's kind of the right tools for the job it makes it easier doesn't it yeah now we've got about 15 minutes or so left right. so should we turn I'll our attention to the jewelry i was just going to say i've got this in front of me and what i've done is basically after you've traced out onto the gold lar and silver lame in lovely there, in the kit um i've done the earring pieces as well before i do this i usually iron on some bond web or heat bond because it's a bit like applique oh, we're okay. actually going to applique and iron it on so again if you've got any of those tools again if you're a sewer you know you're going to have these tools so yeah so basically what i do is then i trace it onto the paper side oh okay yes and yeah. or with a light box you can point, then yeah. trace it back onto there so it's just a black um, fabric marker right. that I've actually traced onto this okay. and it was lovely to actually draw on this it's nice surface. smooth yeah it's yeah. lovely then I've cut it out peeled off the back and then ironed it onto the grey fabric that's in your kit ah. which is actually your background fabric it's got a lovely feel to it that I fabric know. again it's a fabric that's quite it doesn't stretch when you're working. Okay. It's firm, it's hard, but it's got that lovely satiny feel it's to it. It's got the feel of quality. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, beautiful. Now, we haven't come across this yet. Oh, okay, so <laughs> what's this? This is called plate. Plate? Yeah, in gold work terms, you can have it in gold plate, silver plate, oh, embossed plate. Oh, okay, now it sounds yeah. familiar. Yeah, it's lovely. So this is actually in the kit, and this one's an embossed one. Okay. And what we do is, when we've ironed, this, when we've ironed it on and we're ready, we can couch again. Oh, so again it catch. sits on the surface. That's around. So oh, if you look like at the sample, line. you can see it on there as well. And the nice thing about this is we're going to do half that way and half that way so you just need about that much again because it's metal you use your metal scissors it is actually metal again i'll bring this on future shows as well i think <laughs> all the components we need all the yeah. components as well and um, i think this is key thing. so what i'm going to do is with my hand because um, it's nice because it just bends as you as you're stretching it it kind of bends into shape 
So I'm just literally giving it a bevel, sort of like an arc. Okay. So it's easier then to couch because then you can actually then couch just on the outside. You have a choice of catching it inside or out. Because what I'm going to do then is use the passing thread, which was the gold thread that we came across earlier, yeah, which is in yeah. the kit, to actually outline the inside. Nice. So, and also it makes the edging really nice on this. Um, so when you're fold, when you're cutting it out and folding it under, when you come to make up the jewellery, um, it folds nicely because you've got that edge. Got to guide yes, you. yes, of course you will. Yeah. yeah. So basically, I'm just manipulating the um, metal thread around so it gives you that arch so is this feeling. kind of the, the heat of your hands helping it form that shape that's right yeah ah. it's really really good so now the first thing to do is just lay it on and then you're going to couch it on with some cotton and thread lovely right so now you can be really really adventurous with this you don't need to use yellow cotton or silver cotton if you don't want to okay you can use red Ooh. You can make it really sort of jazzy because there is red and black in there. You could use the black as well. Oh, it's almost like creative license. You can yeah. do whatever you like. So, yeah, so basically it's just a... I'm just using this yellow because I've got this threaded up. Just a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the tip on it. I haven't put this through a hoop because you don't really need to work... Yeah. You need to be sort of more tactile with this, yeah. being a piece of jewellery as well. It's actually better to not do that. So okay. I've come up with a knot on the end there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm actually going to do another little tack knot, tack sort of in there as well so to secure it. It doesn't okay. come through. And then you're going to lay... You can go over it because what you're going to do is you can bend it back as well so can you make it go kind of um, beyond the area yeah is that what you mean so, yeah. yeah so you're sort of going over the edge um, where you need it mm -hmm. and literally let's get it into there those first few stitches are the trickiest of all of them because you've got to make yeah. sure it's, it's sitting where it needs to be there's that way and then what you're going to do then to get a neater edge you're just going to bend that over Oh right. So with with the plate, you may have seen this in gold work where you they do a zigzag, literally bending over one tap oh, stitch. Right. And you okay. can actually do bigger areas and that's oh. where you get that lovely gold and oh. silver. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. You can cover surfaces with that. I didn't realise it. It's so it's, it is literally like a kind of like a metal, I suppose, that you that's metal right. piece that you're working with. That. So again you can hold it with one hand and just come through. You don't need to do them so close together either the stitches because that will hold it in anyway so I'm just doing this so you can see the stitching but you could I've almost make a feature of those couldn't you yeah that's what I was going to say if you've got red or black it still looks quite nice looks you know goes with the pattern and obviously the instructions give you the guidelines and making it in, in the authentic way but I suppose if you wanted to, if you were using a different colour thread you could almost do like a little cross stitch almost or something like that so as you can see that, that decorative yeah, detail. Yeah you can do yeah. And make it your own really. And you can even put a bead into it if you yeah, wanted that's to nice as well idea. which would be quite yeah. nice as well. So yeah so basically that is actually the way you just couch the metal plate and it stays on because you've bent the end there. Lovely. Um, you'll follow that around till you get to here and then when you're here you'll do the same again you'll cut it bend it over so it's kind of two pieces you don't yeah. do it in two it's quite a tight turn isn't it so yeah that yeah. would make sense to do it as two that's separate right. pieces so that's one of the methods Lovely. in the actual kit which is quite nice it's just such a fabulous craft i mean we learned so much in this i really enjoyed it after so well in this hour this morning should i say um, yeah, I've had young people as well, like teenagers, doing this with mum and dad. Yes, you know, yeah. where, you know, people have actually said they've really enjoyed their afternoon, where they've learned something as well. And one girl actually put it into a GCSE oh, arts, wow. and um, it's actually known because it was a heritage craft that yes, she's learning yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, so I love it. So I love that, that all one. these skills are, are being continued. So thank you, thank you for doing that. 
Yeah, this was actually designed from Celtic um, Scottish jewellery. Okay. Um, yeah, so in the 1700s, they used to wear this on hats and things. Okay, and would so it have been stitched in a similar sort of way? Yeah, yeah, it would have been, yeah. But whether you make it, I mean, you can make this, obviously it comes with the brooch back, but you could either wear it as a brooch or I suppose you could attach it to a hair slide or something like that That's if you right. wanted to. to go yeah, out of it. yeah. Um, and again, or, there's more than enough in the kits um, because you can see how much you can get on here. You could probably do two or three. Kind of manipulate yeah. it, couldn't you? Yeah, you couldn't you? And once you've got that template, I mean, the template itself, you can kind of transfer onto other projects. So you're going to get way more thread than you need. You may have additional thread. Um, it might be that you kind of got your little seed beads or you're using some of those beautiful threads that we were looking at to do little French knots on your project. So. <clears throat> The world's your oyster really isn't it i mean it's a beautiful piece to start with but it's not just about that one piece that you're creating it's an education you're learning how to create these pieces that you can go on and replicate over and over again with additional threads that you've got can i ask as well this piece that i've yeah. got here you've got these fabulous little kind of elements down the side there are these actual beads that yeah that's in right there are some silver beads in the kit um beautiful which actually you can just couch beads on the end there, just to give it a bit more of an Lovely edge. Really. detail, yeah. You know, you could do it with any colour, but I think the silver does look nice. It frames yeah. the whole piece beautifully, doesn't that's it? That's right. Gorgeous. Yeah. And that shimmer and shine that you've got. The choice of fabric's incredible, I have to say, with this. And it's all within the kit. That's the beauty of buying things that are in the kit. You've got everything that you need in there, aren't you? Haven't you? And it just yeah. means you don't have to go looking for all the different components. So I'm going to use the um, gold couching thread on Lovely. the middle because we're going to now put the parson thread around the center following your lines okay so that's in the kit as well so Lovely. You, you won't just be to lost. give you a bit of a time check marie we've got yeah. about eight minutes or so oh, okay left. well what i'll do is i'll start it off just to show people okay and then we can you know sort of see what again we're going to be doing you've seen the chipping already <coughs> so the red and the black filling is actually the chipping of that metal thread again which is really nice See, I, I looked at them and I was thinking they were beads and that's, yeah. it's hard to tell the difference. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. And it does go a long way. I mean, you think how much you're going to get out of that. Some of those pieces are tiny that you've cut there. Yeah. So again, I'm just going to cut that end off because it, can, it does fray quite yes. a bit as well. Yeah. So all you're doing is you're laying the same method as you've just done with the um, plate, just a different colour. I've gone over, so you can actually then cut that end off. Well, I'm going to do two or three on the end here, just to really secure that in. You can see already, though, how it just grabs that as well, which is it's already secure. But you won't see your couching on this method. So you're just following your line. There is a black line, but it doesn't matter because you can't see it when you've gone on there. Fabulous seeing it coming together. And um, remind our viewers as well um, where we can find you because obviously the, yeah. the knowledge that Maria has got is absolutely amazing. And, and the story talking about how her path has gone um, from kind of college days right the way through to the current day. Um, on your website, where do we find you and on social media as well? Yeah, I've got um, Facebook Old Made New. Lovely. Um, and I've also got um, www.oldmadenew.com. Lovely. And on there, there is education pages. So there's videos. So Lovely. again, if you watch this and think, oh, how did I do that again? Yes. There's little short videos of me doing couching, you know, the wire work, the pearl, the shipping, painting on fabric. There's loads. It's growing. It's like a library. But there's also the conservation projects I've been doing I as well. So if you want a bit of history, you can sort of read that as well. So yeah, so I'm trying to make it more educational which is lovely. Well, our views have been um, loving it, and I've, yeah. I've certainly been loving it. I've been yeah. learning loads. <laughs> yeah, and I'd also do a blog every month as well. So oh, if you dear, sign up lady. to subscribe to be a member, yes, um, you'll get my blogs about what I'm doing, you know, the new projects that are coming. Upcoming shows. So the coming shows, they're all the Brilliant. dates Brilliant, don't want to miss out. Yeah, um, where I am as well, because I do a lot of face-to-face -face markets. Okay. Face. I've got a marquee. Um, so in Devon, I do a lot of the actual like two day events, yes, like 1940s days and oh, things like that. Wow. So again, it's all like make doing men, yes, you know, yeah. It's all stitching 
to do with that as well. Oh, those so are so popular, aren't they? Those yeah. the weekend events. Yeah, we dress up. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Me and my partner, he's into all his um, army stuff. He's a tank regiment. Oh, moment. I say. Oh, well, if you yeah. do go along and you, you bump into Maria, go and say hello. Yeah, he, he's always really, really good fun as well. It's just nice to meet different people as well, which Absolutely. is lovely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so we do those as well. But I know you do camper van, don't you? Oh, as well. we've got our motome, yeah, our Mavis. <laughs> Mavis, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So Mavis the motorhome, yeah. Um it's kind of getting into the cooler season now. But we don't put her away for the winter. We we we've got um I think it's a couple of weeks time we're heading quite locally we, we yeah. like to kind of find places that are kind of within half an hour because then on friday night when you kind of knock off work you can kind of go and do something with your weekend that's so. lovely isn't oh, it oh we love it yeah, yeah especially and uh, hopefully we might get some warmer days in october well it's supposed to be a nice weekend coming oh, no. that's so what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. yeah um we, well i say we david my other half he's kind of chief um organizer because I'm just <laughs> terrible at stuff. And he's planning our next trip. So next year, we're hoping to take her as far as Switzerland. <gasps> Oh so yeah, that's I just good. turn up with a bottle of gin and tonic and that's it. I just, yeah, I'm just <laughs> leaving to everything else. <laughs> so you can see already, I'm just tatting away and already I've done half of this. <laughs> so you can see how it's developing. That's beautiful. You know, you're just literally following your line. And I then, love it. then it's chipping. So it's actually quite a quick one to do this. You can literally do this in an evening. Um, cut it out, then pad it I love with it. your beads. And the finished article I've got here, and, and this is where you could be very much forgiven for thinking you've got little tiny seed beads in here, but obviously in the time when it was actually um, kind of the inspirational piece that we've got here with that Celtic work, beads didn't exist, they hadn't been um, created. So the only way they could do it is by taking those little tiny tubes that you've got within your actual kit, that wire, and cut them into those little tiny chips. I'm learning all the lingo yeah. um, and use those in the same way as you would now in the modern day use your seed beads. So you've got your black and your uh, red featuring that kind of infill that you've got with that lovely kind of swirly pattern that you've got. And again, the centerpieces of the earrings as well. And again, if you are shopping for this one, the best way that you can shop is to get a kit because in your kit, you've got everything that you need. So it's all beautifully packaged. So if you're making and giving this as a gift, you could actually make them up and present them within the box as well. But you've got everything that you need. So if you have just joined us, full instructions, you've got your template in there and your illustration. So you could, oh, should I say your photograph? You've got all the kind of components for making up and kind of adding the padding to your little brooch that you've got there, as well as your earring wires and all the different components that we've seen Maria working with, even down to the fact that you've got your needle in there. So you just need your scissors really, and then away you go. And it's a beautiful kit. The first of many jewellery kits I am sure that we will see from Maria, because yeah. we do love our jewellery, don't we? And uh, it's a lovely, lovely project. And Maria, we've only got um, 10 of these left, so know, yeah, yeah um, and we've got 17 in baskets. And obviously, we, it, the kit is designed as a brooch and earrings, but you don't have to use it in that way. You've got your template, so you could kind of just have it going straight onto garments if you're wanting to do a border with these, play around with the design. Once you get your tome, it's entirely up to you. But we have had a phenomenally busy day. Yeah. First time that we've seen yeah. Old Made New on Sewing Street, and I know it won't be the last time. Um, I just would like yeah. to say as well that I do have a stamp kit with the Celtic jewels oh, do as well. You? It's oh. actually on my website. Right. But the next time I could actually always bring in the stamp ranges as well. So I I've think got that's a brilliant idea. Bethan as well. There's a Bethan. And I love. I do love it when we kind of kind. Of, it's not a firm boundary between Sewing Street and Hobby Maker. There's so many kind yeah. of crossovers, and I love that when we start seeing that together. Well, it's so, a way of actually yeah. getting you know, to get it onto fabric really. Yes, you know, yeah. So you can do it in many ways. And if you are a card maker and you've never done jewellery making. So that would be fabulous That would be card, lovely, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. I love it. Well, the time has come, Maria, for us to say goodbye to you for, just it's for today, though. though. Uh, but <laughs> do keep an eye open on that schedule. Maybe do subscribe to the, um, the website and then you can get yeah. notifications from us as to when uh, Maria is back and also from her website as well. So just, thank you. No, thank you. And thank you for everybody at home as well, making me so welcome. Oh, <laughs> That's really lovely. You're so nice. It's so easy thank to make you welcome. Um, <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We've got Pat and Mark um, doing their crafty lunges, ready to come back into uh, the studio for their last hour with us today. So I will see you just after the break with them. Hi everyone, I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am 
a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlate thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston and I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with a sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street. Goodness knows how that happened. Uh, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas. So do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party, and even a tombola, if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Hello there and welcome back. Welcome back to what is a fabulous day. I love it when I'm over here and it's fabulous to have your company. And I've been spending the morning with some familiar faces to myself. They might be new faces to you guys because this is only their second morning here at Sewing Street. But I am sure you will have known our pattern mark through Totally Patch for many, many years. Because you've been making it and you're creating your kits for, for a long time now. A long, long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a long, yeah, long, a few, a, a few years. Definitely yes. a long time. <laughs> yes, a few years. Yeah. I love it. And one of the things that you do, I mean, you bring us some amazing amazing designs but you're quite unique in the way that you bring your kits to us this is the other thing which is something that some of our viewers might not be aware of and mark a lot of this is down <laughs> to you bless you all, all the kits that we produce are, are pre-cut so okay. all the fabric is cut for each individual block that you make in a quilt a cushion a bag or whatever it may be it kind of um, takes that headache away doesn't definitely it, it? and yeah. the, nearly all of the uh, items that we made are designed by pat uh, and in that design process, Pat, I mean, you look at all the gorgeous fabrics that are out there on the Dude. market, um, <laughs> and it's like being in a sweetie shop, picking out all those gorgeous <laughs> fabrics and putting them together. Yep. I, uh, that's the fun bit, really. And then I like it when it gets delivered, and I keep it on my shelves for a while. <laughs> don't I? <laughs> and I, I don't just keep looking you, have, you have ideas and think, should we use it for that one? No, it's too nice on the shelf. Yeah, we won't leave it, it for that. Leave it on the use shelf. something else, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, th I think you've got to be led by the fabric yeah. uh, with a bit of an idea yes and yeah. then I think it grows and I often talk about this because quite often we will sell fabric by the half meter here and sometimes you'll see a fabric and you don't know what you're going to use it for you just know you need that fabric yeah and and the project sometimes finds you doesn't it with, yeah. the, with the yeah. fabric but, yeah. uh, but especially I mean like we usually order a whole range when we order fabric yeah so that's just such a pleasure it's you know it's Taking a while to get there, but we yeah. it's best because if you've got to pick from a range, like there might be 40 fabrics, yeah. uh, you think, oh, I'll miss that one out. Well, no, I really yeah. like that. Or it might be <laughs> the one that just when you start using them becomes the one you need, That's you never true. know. Absolutely. So yeah. Um, yeah. it's just like people at home buying, you know, layer cakes and bundles yes. and yeah. all of that only a bit bigger scale That's it. and it's kind of project based as well which is where yeah. we find ourselves to start with now yeah. when you jump onto the website you'll see there's lots of things we have this beautiful quilt kit that was on the show this morning different cushion kits but this hour we're talking about other things that we've got i'm working with one of my favorite fabric collections mm -hmm. and this is the french general absolutely beautiful i love this now this is one of the projects that you're going to be able to create and there's a variety of ways that you can do so looking at this fabulous oh it's just beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous and this is your mat that you're going to be creating now we've got a variety of ways you can get a hold of this it's 16 inches by 11 and a half inches as you can see the details on your screen and it's a gorgeous placemat it's kind of too pretty to use almost though, <laughs> isn't it definitely not to spill the gravy on it oh my no. goodness yeah i'd need like a piece of pvc over the top to protect <laughs> it when i'm having a dinner um, so there's a few different ways you can get hold of it now you can buy them as individual kits so it might be that you've got, I don't know, five in your household, so you want to buy multiples. But if you want to go for any more than two, let me introduce you to another way you can get hold of these. Because you can get hold of them as individuals, you can get hold of them as multiples, where you're going to be able to create two. And we've also got the pattern, so I'll take you through everything in a few moments. And this is where you can see that when you are shopping for a kit, everything is there that you need to know, um, to know. You've got the instructions that we'll look at in a little while, but you've also got everything 
everything beautifully packaged. I mean, the way that it arrives, Mark, this looks so pretty. <laughs> I, can't, I can hardly bring myself to touch it. It looks beautiful. Oh, um, don't do it. No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm twitching as I'm doing it. Um, and these, some of these are quite intricate cuts that we've got here. Yeah, it's... it's uh they're laid out so you can see the different fabrics as yes, well. Yes, yeah. Um, so you know the, the sort of the colour palette you've got there as well. And the beauty is this is a project that you can be able to, to create. But can you imagine going to a fabric shop and saying, right, OK, I've got my list here. I need six um, two-inch squares of that. So they'd be like, <laughs> make them half a metre. Um, <laughs> And that is way more than you're going to need because what you've got here is the precise elements that you need to make that project. So you're saving yourself time and money, time because it's all pre-cut and money because you're not buying any more fabric than you actually need. So you've got everything. You've got your fabric for your backing. You've got your wadding there as well. So you're going to get that wonderful um, look to it. And of course, you have got your full instructions, which I'll um, introduce you to in a few moments. But the details that are on your screen are for you to create one of these. So the single one that you're going to be making is a beautiful piece. I mean, this, Pat, I mean, how amazing is this? Nice introduction, maybe, to quilting for somebody. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Mm. Really lovely. I, I love it. You do. You do, yeah. Mark, yeah. Mark wasn't so keen on all the squares, but you know. <laughs> Once you go into the swing of it. Comes yeah. in the territory. Yeah, yeah. it does. Um, and, a, and a lovely selection of yes, fabrics yeah. as well. French General, so... Um, oh, it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Fabric, obviously, to create your quilted top. Your wadding is going to give you that little substance that you've got in there. And then, of course, that beautiful backing fabric. And obviously, the serving suggestion is for you to create a placemat. But you might be looking at this and thinking, do you know what? I like that idea. Um, I've got some French General already, or you've got similar sort of fabrics that you could incorporate. To turn it almost into a tote bag or something like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Anything. Yeah. I think that's the beauty of patchwork, isn't it? Absolutely. You can make one thing, and it can lead to so many more. Absolutely. With, now, with, the, with, the, with the mats there, if you bought, let's say, four mats, you can have two hearts going one way, two hearts going oh, another, and you've, got a, nice and you've got a table runner. Yeah. 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 I never thought of that, because yeah. you could do table runners and all yeah. sorts mm. with it, couldn't yeah. you, if you've got multiples? So, OK, let's talk about um, multiple. Oh, obviously you've got your fabric, you've got your instructions. Let me just very quickly show you the instructions so as you know what you're buying into as well. Um, oh, and there you go. That's a nice little idea if you wanted to put yeah, them as a runner. Yeah, I was just thinking, I thought. I'd, I'd <laughs> I didn't know that. you'd put that in there either. Yeah, I thought, I'm sure I'd put that somewhere. Have you been married long, you two? You think you <laughs> like each other? 20 now. odd years. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, little, the, the little serving suggestion in there. But yeah. as I mentioned, you've got your single kit, the details of which are on your screen. You've got your multiples as well. So if you're wanting to create two of these, then we have got the opportunity for you to do so. It's a little bit of a saving because you're kind of bulking up on these. £18.50 pence is your price for two of those. So you'll double up on everything, the, the quantity of the fabrics that you've got in there, but they will still be individual kits that you've got in there. So when you get them, um, you ha still haven't got to cut up your fabrics. It's all done for you. So you'll just get two repeats of the same kit. Equally so, if you want to go for multiples, then you can do so. If you're looking at increasing the quantities, table runner, you're going to need four or five of them. Then go for a couple of the kits, the details which are on your screen, and add in a single if you want to as well. It's up to you how you get to that final quantity that you need, but this is proving to be incredibly popular with you guys and such an affordable way to create some beautiful pieces, as you can see, with that gorgeous French general fabric. But I know some of you will be asking about patterns because we do sometimes like a pattern by itself. And this is where you can get hold of the pattern by itself. But let's bring the details up and let's talk about the price for the pattern. So when your pattern comes to you, you've got a fabulous pattern there. Okay, it's all in a beautiful envelope there. I'm not going to open that one up because I've got one here to share with you. So it's the exact same pattern that we saw a few moments ago. I'm almost loath to show you the pattern by itself though, because when you look at the price, £8.50, £9.99, is that what we said for the kit? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Extra £1.50, £1.49. I shouldn't say that out loud, should I? Because poor Mark's thinking, do you know how much time it takes? <laughs> do you know how much squares got to cut That's not even the minimum wage, is it, when you think about it? My goodness. <laughs> so, you need to get a pay rise. Um, so, yeah, think about it. To get all your fabrics in there, 
French general fabric. It's not just any old fabric that's gone in there. From a designer range that looks absolutely incredible when you bring it together, it makes sense for you to go for that kit with your fabrics in there. But it's all about choice, and that's what we like to do here at Sewing Street. So if you do want to go for your pattern by itself, then it's only right and proper that we allow you to make that decision. So um, at YUT, in, in, yeah, why? Exactly, why? <laughs> um, <laughs> so YUT018 if you want the pattern by itself. But I know the kits have been incredibly, um, incredibly uh, popular. So yeah, definitely go for that. Now, before we go over to demo, I think we're going to have a little look at something else that we've got from that fabric range because it makes sense so this is a cushion that uh, Mark has got over by himself oh I was going to let you do the moment then Mark oh, oh okay oh, okay you do no the problem. moment yeah, you do it so not? well yeah. uh, this is beautiful this gorgeous cushion and it's actually the cushion cover that you're going to be creating with that fabulous star I'm doing this because you can well. have it any way I this like it the, the, yeah, there, yeah. Is, there is no <laughs> correct way to have it yeah it's just your in the corner it doesn't say which corner exactly no. <laughs> that lovely yeah. um, and the fabric as well not only for your cushion cover front but the back as well beautiful oh so well done it's almost like we rehearsed it <laughs> um, so yeah so that is the next project so again everything pre-cut Mark everything pre-cut ready you wonderful again beautiful kit few different ways for you to get hold of this one so 20.99 is for the kit including all the fabric so again you've got your full instructions in there again you've got your gorgeous french general fabric so you know that it's going to coordinate beautifully if you're going to be using it alongside the um, the fabulous placemats that we've just seen different elements some of these fabrics may be in the, the placemat i haven't cross-referenced it at all but it's all from the same collection so you know it's going to come together beautifully backing fabric in there as well and you've also got your wad in there to give your um, cushion a little bit of oomph and it always looks nice doesn't it when you add that in there full instructions as well so as i slide those fabrics out of the way and come back with the instructions you've got everything that you need to know you don't have to worry about cutting your fabrics because that's already done if you've gone for it as a kit and you've got your full color and um, photographs there taking you step by step throughout, throughout the whole process right to your making up at the end there so there you go if you wanting to, to buy as a kit then the details are on your screen everything that you need in there for just 20 pounds and 99 pence but we do have the pattern by itself so if you do want to shop for the pattern on its own it is available similarly to the pattern that we saw a few moments ago beautifully packaged illustration on there 16 inch um, size cushion as well you do this a lot actually have 16 inch cushion so it's nice you can kind of take different patterns and, and put them together I guess if you just get a bit bored of it you just make a new cushion and put it over the old one that's a good point I like <laughs> that <laughs> and you get bored just, of that when you take it off again um, swap the uh, swap the uh, inner pad out yeah. Couldn't you? yeah and again just the pattern by itself 9.99 it's entirely up to you but I've waffled on for long enough I think it's time we get into a demo <laughs> so what we're looking at first well, I was going to look at, at something that you haven't spoken about. <laughs> oh, okay. Fresh of a daisy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, is Fresh that the daisy? Well, well, I tell you what, I won't talk about it because we've got the quilt behind you yeah. and we'll see you putting it together and then I'll show everybody what's in the box yeah. afterwards. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd start with this one because I, well, I like them all, but I, I just like this fresh, I just like the name, you like the, name, the really fabric, yeah. <laughs> a bit of a softy really. Um, and because I think it looks beautiful but it's so, so, so easy. So that's the reason I've got to show you how to do this, really. Um, <clears throat> all plans as per normal, uh, you know, tells you. Uh, so another thing people wonder about with our patterns, because you get a kit, you still get the cutting instructions. Yes, you do, yes. So you can yeah. mix pa and match it. Have you got it. a glass of water over there, my darling? I'm okay, I think. Okay. <laughs> can, I just, can I just very quickly mention, though, the price on your screen is not the price you're going to be paying on this one. In fact, we'll do it now, so oh, as you know. Look. Because otherwise oh, oh, it'll, be, oh, it'll oh. be a while before we get oh. to. So going down to £59.50. and p But I will show you what's in the box after the and demo. And this, this, this kit comes absolutely complete. Wadding, backing, everything. Oh, wow. That's okay. all included. Okay. Yeah, that's wow. why. That's why. Um, because, well, sometimes we don't do big pieces of wadding and all that on, you know, with a big quilt very often. I can't waft big pieces of wadding around when I've got all these all pieces these of fabric pieces. cut. I don't know <laughs> that for a fact. No, I, it took me nearly two weeks to get a piece of wadding for this quilt. Oh I said, right. come on, Mark, I need, I need wadding. wadding. Yeah, yeah, wadding. yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> two weeks later, I need that wadding. Now. Okay. <laughs> so, this is um, it's, we're, uh, fast pieced half square triangles, which are 
every, in practically everything we do. Um, and you're going to start by drawing your line and stitching either side of the line to give you fast piece half square triangles. And then it's the way you put them together that makes the whole thing look the way it's going to look. Yes, sir. And once you've learned this um, technique, then uh, oh. you just use it over and over again. Um, Mark, I think because you're using the overhead oh, camera, yeah. could you twist the way. pattern around the 180 degrees? There you go. Spot on. We can see okay. it perfectly now. Thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Well, I went off my quarter an inch then, looking what we've done. <laughs> That's been nice, isn't it? And then I was going in a different go. direction. Let's see what's yeah, happening. That'll teach you, won't it? Yeah, it will. No, it's not, it's not too bad. <laughs> so line, two lines of stitching. Okay, we're gonna chop put up that line. Here. Put everyone here, so people can see. And That's you it. know what? This is nice seeing you cut it with scissors, because yeah. sometimes people think when they're getting involved with quilting, they've got to invest in rotary cutters, yeah. built rulers. And again, that's another aspect of all the kits being cut. People mm. who are only starting don't have to have the big outlay to start point, with, yeah. just to see that they want to. Do you it. might not Make, like exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just cut it in half. You can also hand sew anything that we make. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Sit and sew. So can you press those towards it's the kind green? of how it okay. was done in the day, wasn't it? Before we yeah. had the, the luxury sewing machines. So, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to imagine that that. I mean, they'd spend so much time, wouldn't they? Um, yeah. Stitching these together by hand. Um, instantly, just as quick, um, Mark is. Um, pressing that one just very quickly the fresh of the daisy fresh as a daisy quilt is available as a pattern as well as a quilt kit just in yeah. case you're wondering so the quilt kit we've already dropped the price down if you just wanted to go for the pattern itself you can add your own fabrics into this one and get hold of it by itself and it's 9.99 so the details on your screen there but again i'll go through everything in a little while oh yeah so, I never know this. Why is the pattern upside down and I don't have to be? Oh, just, I'm not going to ask that question now. Um, so this is what we've just made there, those two units. So all we've got is four units and you put them together exactly as it says on the pattern and you make this. So we put them together like so um, and you make all of your units the same, the, exactly the same. So I'll whip through this. I'll just do a little chain piece, which I haven't done today. Okay, so, so you're going from one piece to the next? One to the next, yeah. Um, I had a sewing machine question during the break, and. Um, ah, okay. And uh, about the Dukey and my opinion on it, and it goes beautifully for chain piecing, it never gives you any problem at all. Perfect. We've actually had a question that's popped up on um, Facebook. I don't know whether it's come through to the studio. Oh, right. um, Beverly's asking, how do I order? So we might show you that in a little while, Beverly. But one of the quickest ways is to use the number that's on your screen. So we've got the app, we've got the website as well. And our call centre, it's a free phone number. And they're a lovely bunch. Give them a call and they'll help you out. So now we've got two pieces. Um, are they the wrong way around? Yeah, they are the wrong way around. No. You um, went. No. Oh, what are you doing? Isn't it? Uh, yeah, but this is upside down to me now. <laughs> I can't do this. So we've got uh, two pieces. This is what they're going to look like, hopefully, when I get them together. I love um, it. You can kind of see the, the, the quilt that's behind. Yeah. You've got the kind of four blocks coming together, so opposite yeah. corners. So um, what Pat is doing, you'll do twice, and they'll go in opposite corners, and then you'll do them again in other fabrics, and they'll go the other way <laughs> so yeah. to speak. but they all exactly the same the, when you see the quilt you'll be able to see exactly absolutely yeah. yes but they they are all <clears throat> all exactly the same so once you've got this little four patch here which if you could give it a press mark yep then you've got turn your page <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I mean, Fresh as a Daisy, the, the absolute perfect name for this with the fabrics, isn't it? It's Lovely. beautiful. So what you do is, when you place them down, what what I did in the design process, they sort of got turned around a lot, um, is if you start with one piece up there with your two triangles looking like normal half square triangles, forget okay. this bit, Yeah. then your next colour goes next to it, and if you pop that there, 
Oh, I see. It's almost like a positive and negative. So where you've yeah. got the light on one, you've and got you just, the patterns on the other. Yeah, and you just right. turn them round as you go. And that is literally all you do. And if you look at the pattern, you just follow the shapes round like so. Just get it to match. I'm nice. sorry, I can't pick that up. No. <laughs> yeah, so you get them so that they're the same. I think I've put this one, I have done this one wrong, I think. Have I? It's not hard. It's not. It's You've got not, one who pre made that one, then. It's not easy when they're all upside down, you know. Like that. Show the block on the quilt. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> so you just put them together and. No, that isn't right. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. I'm just trying to compare with what you've got there with the quilt that's behind you. And this I'm is correct. Yeah. You got it right then. Yeah. Perfect. Because what you're doing is you're making like a white bit and then a print bit, a white bit and a print bit. And when you look at them like this, you think, wow. Oh, so when you look at the actual quilt itself, yeah. you've kind Can of you got the star yeah, that's, that's formed in the centre. Oh, better. I see it yeah, there, you, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that they're coming out of the centre, really. So the bottom one got to be rotated, the blue one. Ta-da! There you go. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Um, and then you just join them together and that's one block. There's only four blocks on, in the quilt. Well, that's very effective. Very effective. That's why I wanted to show it you at this stage because if you can make one of these, you can make the whole quilt. And it's half square triangles with that technique that you'll revisit yeah. time and time again. And, and yet the quilt itself is very effective. Like it's got the light and dark and yes, then the yeah. nice bit of sashing in between and I, I just think it's a really lovely yeah. um, I think it's fresh as a daisy myself it is it's fresh as a daisy um, <laughs> and a beautiful look to it as well yeah. I love it um, yeah. and uh, the fabric shall I show you what's in the kit now that we've learned how to do the block so let me bring the kit in because we mentioned about getting the pattern by itself the pattern is actually included within the kit as well as you'd naturally expect and if you want the dimensions your quilt um, your finished quilt is 34 and a half inches now sometimes as is the case with this one you've got everything that you need in the box not only to create your quilt top but also to create your quilt back as well and the squidgy bit the wadding is all included in this as well so this is a complete project so this would make a fabulous gift for somebody because they don't have to go off and find anything else but equally so if you are a novice quilter you've never quilted before then this is a perfect way of you knowing what you need because sometimes if you're new to a craft you don't know what you need until you kind of a little way through the journey so full instructions the dimensions are there so as Pat quite rightly says as time goes on you might want to use other fabrics and create your own version of it which you can you'll learn that fabulous technique that she just shared with us how um, to create your half square triangles very very quickly with minimal effort because it's all pre-cut for you and obviously here are all your fabulous squares of fabrics beautifully put together um, by Mark. You've also got your additional fabrics there that are going to help you with regards to your backing and of course things like your sashing all included in there as well. So I'm going to very carefully pick that up and move it to the side. Your wadding is included as well so that's a sizable piece that's going to be there for you to actually quilt your project and it will all come together absolutely beautifully and it's going to be something that you are going to admire over and over again but safe in the knowledge that it's all been done for you all of that cutting so that 59 pounds and 99 pence is not only the pattern that you'd normally be paying a tenner for all of the fabrics as well as the cutting process the time that it has taken so the minute that this arrives you can get it out of the box look at those instructions and get crafting straight away i mean sometimes dare i ask when you're actually cutting these out i mean you've got it to a fine art now um, <laughs> so you've kind of got like your technique but for, I know in the past I've kind of I've had to split the cutting into a different day to the sewing sometimes yeah. Yeah. because it, it, you're concentrating so much and and it's that old that you kind of measure twice and then cut don't you <laughs> just in case you make the mistake so it could be that you're spending a whole day cutting a project and not even going anywhere near your sewing machine and it can get a bit boring and you can easily yes. lose concentration that Absolutely, way as well yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You only need the phone to go, the doorbell to go, somebody to come in the room and ask your opinion on something, and then all of a sudden you've forgotten what you've cut and what you haven't cut. So with this, you don't have to worry. It's all done. It's in a fabulous box, so it's almost like a project box, but as a, a, a gift for somebody. Maybe you know somebody who um, is having a sewing machine for Christmas. 
So it's all well and good. Open up Christmas Day. You've got this box under the tree. And it's like, oh, I wonder, if, I wonder if it is. I wonder if I've got my sewing machine. Open it up. Oh, I've got my sewing machine. But I've got nothing to sew. <laughs> it's kind of fundamental. I wonder how many times that happens. <laughs> Loads yeah. of times. You have to whip the curtains down. And <laughs> <laughs> so especially if you're watching the show, maybe you've got somebody in the room with you who is a person who might be getting a sewing machine or might not. I don't want to spoil any surprises. But do bear in mind that on Christmas morning, when that gift gets opened, they're going to want to start sewing straight away <laughs> so why not treat them to a kit like this where everything is included all you need is your thread which i'm sure you'll have already but we can help you with that as well if you wanted to get hold of it but that is a brilliant kit and you can create that fabulous quilt that's been hanging behind um, our lovely pat throughout the course of her demonstration and the colors i mean mark is fresh as a daisy isn't it's, it when you look it's at lovely it? yeah and and the block sort of looks a bit like a daisy as well if you it really does. like squint and think about it it's a clever one because it does look like a daisy but yeah. e equally so if you were to play around with your lights and your dark fabrics because yeah. you've got the measurements very easily a star or a snowflake yes. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You just yeah. got to play with them to get yeah. the look that you want. That's yeah. the beauty of quilting. That's why we cut fabrics up and we put them back together. <laughs> and that is that the reason is. why, because you can make it look so different each time. Um, so that's the kit. If you want the kit, at fifty-nine pounds and fifty pence. But if you do want the pattern by itself, you can get hold of it. It's only nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. And can I suggest you look through this a couple of times before you even start cutting your fabrics up? Because you'll see that you've got all the tuition there, all the photographs. Just make sure that you've got everything that you need before you start. Because if you start going off on a tangent, that's when mistakes can happen, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you said like when you get tired, yes, like yeah. that's the same, you know, whatever you yeah. you're sewing. Yeah. Like I can piece and piece and piece and then I do something and then my bobbin runs out and I go, that's it. That's it. Time to stop. I've done, done something stop, yeah. wrong. My bobbin's run out. Yeah. I've had enough. It's a sign, today. isn't it? Yeah. And, it's a and sign. The other, thing is, the other thing is when you when you do repetitive over and over and over yeah. and over, get, you get into such a an easy flow of yes. it that you just pick it up, put it in, pick it up, put it in. You go, oh no, I've done oh. one the wrong way because I wasn't concentrating. Yeah. I was just going yeah. straight time. through. That's the yeah. signal for me to stop. Yeah. That's, when you a, get that's to your that cup of coffee point. or yeah. glass of wine time, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. And the amount of times I've unpicked and then stitched it wrong again. Yeah. That's yeah. definitely. That's so <laughs> annoying. That is a time to yeah. put everything down and step away yeah. and then come back another day. So uh, nine ninety nine, incredibly affordable, brilliant value for money, and a beautiful project. I'm sure you'll agree. Can we have a look at the bag as the next project as well? Now, mm -hmm. um, I can look at the bag. I can well, do the bag. Only to mention the kit. You don't oh, have okay. to demonstrate it, Pat. Don't worry, because I haven't mentioned this kit, and I've just noticed we're about halfway through the show. So this is a lovely bag. So not only do we see cushion covers, placemats, quilts, you name the kind of project, <laughs> Pat and Mark will come up with a pattern. And this is another one. Just very quickly going to talk around this one. Um, beautiful design, gorgeous fabrics again, Pat, you've chosen for this one. Yeah, gorgeous fabrics. And also we've, we've my, uh, my strap is just a plain strap, but we have slipped in some more gorgeous straps. Yes. Oh, okay. Some right. other ones, yes. yeah. yeah. I nearly changed mine and I ran out of time. Um, so you like you could get uh, one of the fabrics that's one in of the it, fabrics that are in, the woody in or it, or this, or yeah, the anything yeah. like that coordinates goes, beautifully. Yeah. So it's gorgeous, um, um, beautiful triangles coming together on this one, which is lovely, and this shows you kind of like the mathematical formation of pieces when you put them together. Can I just compliment you on your bag handles? Because <laughs> this is the kind of bag that I love, because they're a nice long handle. Yeah. So you could have it as over your shoulder if you're a taller person, brilliant, but potentially even cross body. Yeah, or sometimes I tie a knot in the top. Oh, yes, I want yeah, it a bit yeah. shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Because I suppose you it could can make them shorter if you want. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've, I've said that in the pattern, you can make them shorter, but if you've got the length, you can, you know, it's easy enough it, to trim it away, options, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so the details are on your screen. Now we've got a variety of ways you can get involved with this one. As I'm sure you've probably gathered, we've got a kit. And the kit, <laughs> I'm not going to take it all out of the bag because you kind of know how it works. So you've got the pyramid bag, which I love because it's got that um, pyramid star that you've got in there. The pattern, I'm guessing $9.99 if we're following on the continuity, but you've got all of your fabric there and your wadding. So you've basically got a bag kit there for £23.50. 50 pence 
but take the price of the pattern off which is around a tenner what it means is you are making the most amazing bag for the equivalent of 13 pounds and 50 pence and i'm sure you will agree that that is a fabulous bag you're also going to learn how to do different techniques so maybe you've made a bag previously and it's kind of been like the sugar bag bottom where you're cutting out the corners and putting it together this is a different style because you're creating that kind of ellipse on the base there and you're learning about different construction but i'm just going to take the the kind of the stuffing out for a minute <laughs> so, you could use it as a knitting down. bag though couldn't you well you could use it as a knitting bag but i mean it's lovely when it's got something in there but i don't know whether you can pick up you've almost got a hexagon coming mm. together mm. here if you take those triangles out of the way and this is where you learn the beauty of quilting and the way that the maths come together because if you work with hexagons as time goes on that's sometimes how they come together lovely kit again beautiful <laughs> 23 pounds and 50 pence incredibly affordable if you want to buy it as a kit again the bag pattern is available by itself um, for 9.99 but i'd certainly think about going for it as a kit because for that extra 13.50 you can follow the photographs and it's all there perfectly to follow time and time again so um if you're wanting to get hold of those you can do incidentally i didn't go back to the question from um, beverly if you're wanting to shop with us i've mentioned the telephone number which is at the bottom of your screen you, you may well have placed your order already taking that long coming round to you probably got fed up away <laughs> and then found it yourself but you can shop on our website very easy for you to shop and we've also got an app as well which you can shop so if you just go for um, sewingstreet.co.uk it will come up on your screen similar to what you've got there and then if you look up at the top there where it says watch now you'll be able to see us there's a slight lag with regards to what we're chatting about but then you've got your menu there which will allow you to to actually not your menu so your message system if you want to get involved simply add to basket whatever it is that you're wanting to add to your basket and then you go back up to the top and you'll see your little basket with your goodies in there which will allow you to check out now if you've not shopped from us before beverly um one postage covers you for the whole day so we start off at midnight and go right the way around to the following morning and so if you're shopping for anything it all gets shipped to you for three pounds and 95 pence even if they're different suppliers coming from different places something that we love to do here at sewing street and it's very popular as well so hopefully that has helped you but if not pop me a message up and i'll try and help you further right pat what's next um i'm going to go on to the french general corner star cushion lovely <laughs> star in the corner well done <laughs> star in the <laughs> um, uh, just to show you i'm only using half square triangles here okay. for the for the whole cushion oh, okay. and for the whole um like we've just done with the fresh as a daisy yep. so this is how different they same can principle look. exactly the same principle so take your fabric on, I draw on the lightest one, stitch either side of the line, okay. which then gives you one of these. See how much more small they come? So that gives you yes, one of those. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you will also notice that on here, if you look here, see all these little ears sticking out? Yes. Looks a little bit, you know. Squiffy. Mm -hmm. Squ Scruffy? He was too quick with that comment. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. He never he doesn't have to do ears. <laughs> so if you look at this one, I've trimmed off the ears. Okay? Oh, I see. Look right. at the difference. Yes. And what that means is, because people listen to things and they go, I wonder why is she saying that? Um, if you put them together like this, I'm going to put it back down when I've got them up together. Okay. Yeah. It's, it fits exactly right got there. Yeah. If you try and put this on, you can't see quite as well where yes, you are. Yes, that's a good point. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, but you, if you've just got it nice and flat, you yes. can see where you are. So definitely on something small, it's always trim better go. to trim as you go. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Um, makes a mess on the floor because you know you miss the bin obviously well, yeah, i'm sure the people out there that do save those little ears as well uh, yeah me too <laughs> not me <laughs> that is a bit too small for me <laughs> but you do can do that confetti quilting where you stick them onto bond away take a while but you know <laughs> take a lot of ears <laughs> fabric confetti maybe, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and you press these towards the solid piece of fabric not the pieced piece okay put it back on position where it's come from make sure we're going to stitch this the right way 
So we're getting these red bits coming together in the This centre. is the importance of laying it out, even you yeah. do this, you lay them out I like do. they are, yes. just to make sure that the pieces are in, in the right place, yeah. It's very easy to kind of pick them up and rotate yeah. them. And yeah. again, you can reference the, pa the pattern yeah. because Good of point. the pictures, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it might seem, you, you, you probably think I wouldn't do this, but I do do you this do, yeah. at home. It's just, you, you can see it's perfectly right then because nobody likes, I know we can all unsew, but nobody really likes doing it, do they? So you can see those two have gone into pairs and I probably wouldn't press these because they're quite small. They're not okay. going to travel anywhere, yeah. but I would lock the seams uh, opposite each other so that the, because the seams are pressed towards the solid piece of fabric, you can see here maybe. Tilt it up. Mm -hmm. Tilt it down or up? Up. 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 I see, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, I see. Um, that they lock together in the centre. So I just put my thumb there. But you so one's going one way, okay. one's going the other. Yeah. I sometimes put a little quilt clip because I'm notoriously, <laughs> I don't know how I do it. Every time I think I'm concentrating, but I'm not, and I rotate it and end up stitching the wrong piece. Yeah. Um, while Pat's stitching that, Mark, do you want to show us the cushion cover that's behind you? Because that's the one that um, she's actually putting together, isn't she? And so if you're wanting to sit, it's a 16 inch cushion cover um, that you're going to be creating, whether it's the kit that you're going for, which is on your screen, or whether you've chosen to go for the pattern. Comes together beautifully, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Can see, can you can you can you see? That's oh, where like I am. Is oh, that where okay. I am? Oh no, yeah. I think you've got to rotate it round a bit. Whether you're dark, that's it, yeah. Dark there in the middle, that's it, yeah. yeah. There you go. You got it. Got Your hands in the way. I can't see from this side. I'm not going to do that again. Put it on there now. You're Put it on, on there now. Own. You can see now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look. See. <laughs> there we go. Teamwork. There. You there. Go. Oh, then, so so leave, leave it on there. Leave it on there. Leave it on there. Leave it on there. <laughs> right. So I'm going to join this this square to this this triangle now half square triangle and before you know it we're going to have a quarter of this central block um, finished. Complexity level um, Pat with this one what sort of level of sewing would you say that somebody needs to be at with this one? Well we've all learnt to do the half square triangle already. That's true yeah. So that's a piece of cake isn't it? So the, the own, that is the only technique you need. So the rest of it is kind of the laying it down yeah, and, and deciding the where the pieces go. Yeah. yeah. And like if you're doing, let's say you bought the pattern, I would look at the pattern and just think light and dark. Yes. Yeah. To get the, the right effect of where you want to put mm -hmm. um, things. I mean, the fabric Impressive. itself is beautiful. French yeah. General is such a beautiful collection, and, and I know it's one that we regularly see from Pat and Mark. And don't forget, yeah. you've got the placemats in the same fabric. So yeah. I would seriously consider going for the actual pattern because when you think about, uh, sorry, the kit, should I say, because when you think 9.99 is what you're going to be paying for the pattern by itself, you're looking at, um, where am I? Take nine back. Oh, gosh, no. Is that £11.99p? Is that what you're paying for the... Thereabouts. Is that right? Thereabouts, yeah. I've said it out loud what? and that doesn't sound right. Eleven ninety nine. Well it will be, isn't it? Because you might as well let's call it eleven pounds, rounding it up. So eleven pounds for the fabric, ten pounds for the pattern. That's what you'd normally yeah. be paying if you go for the kit. Eleven pounds for the fabric to make a French general cushion cover. Yeah. Think about that phrase for a few moments. It doesn't make sense. I mean, nine ninety nine. I'm not. No, well, nine ninety nine. Mark's kind of he's crying as yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. Um, nine, I don't talk about costing too much with you. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence is your pattern price, the equivalent of eleven pounds for your fabrics. That's all I'm going to say to you if you're going for it as that. And it's it, sometimes. Especially if it's a new style of sewing, I often suggest you, you buy the kit because the photographs match the kit and your brain yeah. isn't having to think, oh, I've substituted that fabric for that fabric because yeah. it's something else to think about. Which, which that sounds nothing, but it really is important. It's, it's key, yeah. 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 It can the, make or break a hobby, really. Yeah. It can because you get so frustrated mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, the hard work's been done for you because, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I've been color, doing color, it a while. <laughs> color choice is so important. And if you substitute a color, you think, oh, that's okay. And then you look at it two weeks later when you're finishing it and think, oh, I wish I'd never put that in there. Yeah, and yeah. you'll always look at the one that you don't oh, yeah. like. It sticks out. It like sticks out, yeah. 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 And if you're not yeah. sure, don't put it in. Yes, yeah. yeah that's because a good point. Because sometimes you try, especially like if I'm trying to design something and... I haven't quite got the right shade. Yes, yeah. And then you put the put another one in. You're never happy with no, it. And then no, I have to start that's again. Good advice. I'll that go uh, 
I completely forget it and start again. So um, it's just not worth the the time. And we say these things because we, we, we're all sewers, we're quilters. We, we kind of have walked that walk. So if you yes. are new, we're only passing on what we've experienced because it can save you a lot of time and trouble. I sometimes wish that I'd had somebody telling me some of the things that I mentioned. Because yes. it, it would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of fabric. A lot of unpicking. A lot of unpicking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I... I I started because I bought a, I could, I thought I can sew. I bought a book, I bought some fabric, went home, cut it all up and couldn't put it back together. Yeah. And I didn't understand why. Yeah, I don't work well with, in that respect. No. I, I like to have it all there. No. And, yeah. and, and that's where the kits came from mm. because I thought, what would I have wanted at this stage? Yeah. So started doing the pre-cut kits and they've stayed a while yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yep. sometimes sometimes i mean joking aside mark does spend hours cutting yes yeah um and um sometimes they'll say well can't they just have a strip or something and i go no mm. they can't yeah. if it's a if it's a very easy process that's okay but and or it or it helps you if it speeds you up or it's Gives you makes more choice. Sense, makes sure. sense to have yeah. the strip, yeah. But it, yeah. Uh, uh, it's not the way we work, is it? No. Really? No. No. And, and no. Some, no. Can we and have sometimes, a question? Sometimes Christian. a strip, if you excuse the uh, the pun, doesn't cut it. It's, it's kind <laughs> of a, a strip is not the right shape for the pieces that you need necessarily. Yeah. So I've put those pieces together now exactly as they were here, and I'm going to put that there. Correct? Is that right? I think that's looking. Oh, look at that. There you go. There oh, you go. Okay, that's looking okay. good. So that's where that is. That's exactly a quarter of this central piece. So four of those make the whole piece. Make the yeah. whole piece. Perfect. Easy. Was that easy? I Very think it was easy. Yeah. Yeah, so I, it looked easy where I was. So now I'm going to do around the edge, we've got some pinwheels. So the pinwheels are almost like these little kind of windmills we can yeah. see, Mark. So the pin in you in and, and when I open the kit, I would put all this sort of fabric on one space, which is exactly what I've done. My borders over here, and then these are my pinwheels. Okay. Then you can't mix up your bits. That's a good you? good bit of advice. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you end up with these. You've got little piles like this, exactly the same. You do your line. You stitch either side of the line, and that gives you one of these. Okay. 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 So rather than keep doing that same process, um, we want to make some pinwheels and all we do is put pairs of these together. So I've got one here that I've done. If you put this, another one the same underneath, mm -hmm. all these little pictures, um, and uh, stitch them together. The seam will lock together where the colour changes, it'll just do it. This so would put it on there so people can see it. So you can see it. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. And it's kind of your, your opposites, isn't it? When yeah. you lay one on top of the other, you've got yeah. your light. And I didn't, your dark. you don't have to try to feel these, they come together. Take off your ears because pinwheels are renowned for having a lot of bulk in mm -hmm. the middle. So now I've already turned that round. So I'm just going to check it's going to be the right yeah. way. It's and it easily does, done. It, it certainly is. I used to have a student ages ago and she used to call it a twizzle. A twizzle. She could easily <laughs> do a twizzle. Easy do a twizzle. Yeah. Oh, that's so, that is so definitely a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Janet, she, she, I, I've twizzled again. I don't know how I did it. I only went to the iron. <laughs> you go, well, it's easily done. So now we've got two sections. You twizzled, yeah. I'm not twisting. <laughs> so I've made half square triangles. No, I'm not going to give them you. Okay. And then um, I've made them into pairs. You put one on top of the other and that gives you a pinwheel. Okay. So if you pop them together now, put, just put your thumb or your pin or your clip. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't, I can't be bothered with a clip. <laughs> I don't, Once you get into the swing of it, I don't you, own you don't, any clips. Yeah. Do you know? Which is very pins. unusual. No, clips. Pin. Yeah, I know, you've got, got the, the only, only got pins, haven't you? Yeah. That's what you use. Yeah. And I will put a pin in occasionally, occasionally. but not. Oh, but if you need to... I don't think the single pieces of fabric around long enough to be a pin and then put <laughs> no, them... No, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> they done, whoosh, done. Now, we've got a new member of the Mark fan club. I don't know if you've oh, that Mark. message. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, that's two of us then. Oh, that's two of us. Uh, oh, I don't know. We've got like, hordes and hordes of people that tune in <laughs> for the shows on Mark's head. Um, thank you, Mark, for making our lives easier. And that's from Carol. <laughs> thank you. There you go. Thank you. There you go. So can you do this? 
little technical bit of ironing now. No. Well, not. Okay. Oh, it's gone to it's his bit, head now. It's a bit bulky in the middle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. a bit bulky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, oh, I need it squashed like exactly like. Are you going to show people how, well, how? When you give it me back, looking oh, okay. beautiful, I am. <laughs> Um, just, no as pressure, eh? press, just as Mark's pressing that, um, we've been chatting about this French general fabric. If you are looking at shopping for the cushion cover, sadly it's now sold out. Um, wow. But we do have the instructions, so the pattern is still available with regards to this one. So um, fabric wise, you're looking um, with regards to your, your back of your cushion, you're looking at 11 by 17, um, you're wadding 17 by 17 um, as well. So that's to make your overall size of your, your 16. Um, by 16 cushion with regards to the actual quantities of the fabrics um, I don't know is the answer does it let me have a little look to see whether I can tell you because I, I don't know if I want to tell you because that's why you buy the pattern <laughs> um, <laughs> The thing is, I, I always think with a cushion as well, it's quite difficult mm. because you don't need much really. Yes. Depending yeah. on your complexity. It's the variety, isn't it? Well, yeah. It, it could cushion. be almost yeah. like a scrap buster, couldn't yes. it? Yes. Because yeah. it might be that the, the, the star that you're making to go in the corner is different fabric to the pinwheels. So, and just, just remember the light and dark. Like yeah. you might have loads of fabric. Well, you know, lots of people have got loads of fabric. Mm -hmm. We're not crazy. We know that because we've been there. <laughs> um, so what? You know, just think of the light and dark. Think yes, of the light, light and dark. Light and dark. And like even on, on this pattern, you could have this one colour, light and dark, then some sashing, and these could be like a totally different colour. This really could be colour, like yeah. red, these could be black and white, yes, couldn't they? Yeah think about it and this like is that. the beauty because it's a, the style of pattern that will take you from the novice um as i say it could be simply that you're going for i don't know a navy and an ivory mm. those could be light and dark doesn't have any pattern at all but then you might start going on thinking right okay now i'm going to start you, thinking yeah. about how it comes together yeah. i want to have a light blue as well as my navy as well as my ivory and you'll mm. start placing those fabrics i was going to say that when if you if you buy lucky enough to get a kit you can buy the kit, uh, um, make it as we've made it in the colours there. You'll have the confidence of making it the first time in our colours. Then you can look and think, oh, I could put a, a blue there, I could put a red yes, there, yeah. and that sort of thing. It gives yeah. you a bit more confidence step by step Absolutely, in, in, yeah. your, in your journey. That's it. And, and it also this block could make a lovely quilt, like four of these together. Oh, yes. And then you can't do that now then, can you? Four, 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 four. Why? Because other people have already done it. They will be doing it now you said that. I'm not going to do it. Okay. I've only done a cushion. Okay. <laughs> I'm and just saying, if you wanted, if you wanted to make a cushion, this is what happens. <laughs> oh, I see. Do, like this, I'll do one thing. Yeah. And now I can easily see how I could make this into a lovely quilt. Yes. But yeah. I really shouldn't get diverted onto something <laughs> else. <laughs> and that's what track. happens, isn't it? Does, it? Yeah, yeah. I say, you see, it could, couldn't it? Mm. Um, so um, after Mark's beautiful pressing, absolutely gorgeous. Ish. Um, this seam here, I would open. Only because the centre of a pinwheel is always very bulky. Okay. So it just spreads it one way or the oh, other. I see, yeah. Um, and it's just a, a lovely thing, this pinwheel. Oh, beautiful. They go round the edge. Gorgeous. That's Absolutely that. gorgeous. So, so have I got, have I got, I don't know what the time is. Can I move on to the bag? I've got about eight minutes or so. Oh, I can talk about a bag for eight minutes. Lovely. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the, the kit that we're going to be looking at next is for the bag. So, we've had to say goodbye to the kit for the cushion. Pattern is still available. Um, oh, is the bag sold out as well? The bag kit. You can still talk about it. Pat, <laughs> Pat's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a pattern. Look, we've got sold the pattern. Sold down. So, I, can yeah. just, I can just say a little bit about it. You, okay, can, still, you yeah. can still get the pattern. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's still relevant. <laughs> so what you need to do, um, sometimes people are scared of triangles. Okay. And you need to get the, the like the hang of them really. Yes. So this is, those are, where, those are the way the triangles are cut, okay? Okay. Because of the, the bias edges and all the rest of it. And it's really easy to twizzle these okay. onto there. And you think, oh, it didn't quite You do get right. an odd shaped bag then. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that is not right. Okay. So when you pick them up, keep them the way they are in your kit. Okay. Right. Like okay. Good advice. Yeah. And then when you want to join them together, so like we got, uh, let's go the bottom row again here. So we need three, two darks and a light. These could be all different colours if you're buying the pattern. How nice would these look? All lots of bright colours. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Turn Again, these. another fabulous scrap buster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> see. So they're going to go there. Now, when you join them, absolutely, definitely 
pick them up and sew them, pin them, something straight away. Right. But you don't offset the corners. You know, sometimes when you're piecing, yes. you need to offset the corners yes, yeah. to make a straight line. Mm -hmm. But with this, because of the angle they're cut at, they need to line up perfectly. Wonderful. So you put that together and line them up point at the to top. Point. point to point at the bottom. Whew, fits. <laughs> so, like so and away you go and that it doesn't look the way where you would stitch but that is where you stitch and so also because i've just been looking at the bag and they're not um i think was it equilateral triangles at the same on each side yeah, these are the kind of tall triangles so that's why it's yeah. elongated, the elongated, elongated it's probably it's worse for yeah, it. yeah. it's a long, long time that? since i did maths <laughs> the tall ones <laughs> so, yeah the tall one. these are 60 degree triangles that's why together they would form a whole circle have you done that right Yes, I've done it right. Okay. What do you mean have I done it right? It's getting cheap. I know it's your birthday, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> get pushing there. No, just, 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 you know, we've got I'm to go home, you've got to cut. Got to keep cutting, Mark. This piece, that's okay. <laughs> so, this is the correct way, look, because you fold it back and it's ready to join Perfect. the next one. Just checking. Uh, just checking, <laughs> yeah. So, if you could press it that way, please, towards this dark yep. one. I love it. And then let's see if you can put it back in the right place. Yeah. All right, Pat, just as Mark's doing this, have we got another date in a diary for you guys to come back and join us yet? We have. November ninth. the 9th. Yeah. Oh, not too long then. So everyone no, about a month, yeah? yeah. Lovely. November uh, the 9th. And can you give us any sneaky ideas of what's coming? <sighs> we'll stay tight lips. Look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah, look, that's it. No. Yeah, you've just swapped the sockets over there. <laughs> so that's exactly the same look. Goes on there and then you get this row. Perfect. I just need to say, I'll go back to your question, Hayley. No, no problem, Dan. These form the shape of the bag at the oh, sides. Oh, I see, yes. Like that. And you do get the templates um, because they're fast and easy to make. Instructions. But you do get the templates included that so you can make them yourself and cut them. Perfect. Templates, it says on the page, are actual size, don't add any seam allowance, and then you're good to go. Oh, but, okay. But like, right. it's really quite simple for yeah. the effect of the bag. So your triangles, you like side oh, bits, you go, side, side bits, bits. yeah. Um, and then you've got the base of the bag there as well. Wonderful. Um, and the question was anything, yeah. Um, yeah, I've got that thing I was talking about in the first hour. Oh, okay. Well, about, we're not going to recap because you'll have yeah. to go back and watch the show if you want to yeah, know. Yeah, we're having uh, two quilts in the first Ooh, hour. okay. And a selection of smaller things in the second <laughs> hour. Nice. But the two quilts are both beautiful gorgeous yeah. very gorgeous. beautiful yeah. well your quilt yeah. kits are always incredibly popular I mean, the problem is i only make what i like yes and yeah. people say I'm, I'm sure people think i bet she's only saying that but i don't make things i don't like i think you have to like get, especially the fabric you get a feel, yeah. feel, feel for making it otherwise yeah. it's, it, it just doesn't because mark likes work. a wall hanging and he'll go you do your new wall hanging and oh, i don't know I don't like it's not what I do, yeah. No, <laughs> but I have got a really nice, yes. it's, it's a more than a wall hanging yes. coming up. But yeah. we're, 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 our brains are quite a way ahead, aren't they? They are. If pity our bodies on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> myself, <laughs> that yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've been, uh, I mean, obviously, fabulous demonstrations that from, the, from both of you guys. So thank you for that. And if you have been watching the show and wondering about the things that we've got um, decorating the studio, do go and have a little look. We had the show this morning, which was at 9 a.m. Some of the products might still be available. I know we had lots of sellouts as well. And during this hour, we've had equally as popular items and sellouts as well. But there might be things that are there. So if you do want to go and have a little rummage, you can do. But make sure the 9th of November you are back joining us because that's when Pat and Mark are going to be back again. And uh, yeah, if it's as popular as what we've seen today, I cannot wait. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for watching, everybody. Thank you, everybody. I yes. love it. So uh, enjoy what's left of your birthday. Thank you. Have you got a nice lazy afternoon ahead of you? <laughs> No. That'll be a no. <laughs> that little no. giggle. No. <laughs> well, Back enjoy in. whatever it is that you're going to. Like, yeah. Lovely. Thank you. No. Thank, but you. thank you for spending the, the morning with us on your birthday. So thank there you. you go. Um, so, yeah, just you guys, if you've got anything in your basket, now is an important time. We've got break between the shows, which means it's a perfect time for you to complete your purchases, check out your baskets, and then ensure that your goodies will be on their way to you. I will see you just after the break with the last hour of the day. Me, myself, and I and we're talking quilting tools so some of the things that we may well have touched on during the course of the morning and the perfect chance for you to get those as well so i'll see you the other side of this
Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Hello there, how you doing? <laughs> look at my stall. I do look like I've got a little stall here, don't I, with all these goodies. And it's funny because as I've been stood here on the break, I've been going, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I've got that, I need that. And that's the kind of ad that we are talking about because we have got a whole range of different tools that are going to help you with your planning your projects, with you creating your projects, with getting professional results, and maybe just to help you um, in your day-to-day -day life. So I would love you to get involved involved no you're still watching um, I can see that you're watching via social media and obviously we've got the website that you can get involved with as well so if you go on the website you'll see all the different things that we've got now we've got a lot to go through um, and we're kind of turning this into well it's a request hour on my part I'm going to choose a few bits and pieces to chat about but equally so the products that we've got you'll find on the website so if there's elements there that you've not seen before or you've seen but you don't fully understand by all means message message through using the message system on the website and we'll see if we can turn our attention to that and see if we can answer a few of those questions but we had a lovely morning we're going to continue so with all of these wonderful things that we are sharing with you and I'm starting off with it's actually a, a, a scarf that I've got here and this has been somebody I think this is kind of like a personal um, a personal request because I don't know whether you'll be able to see but we've got a scarf here and it's got a few bobbles on it you know the kind of bobbles that will um, kind of come in, over time when you've got a garment um, and uh, what you want to do is get rid of the bubbles well this is what we've got it's not a bubble remover it's a lint remover so it's got a very grown-up phrase um, there but isn't it stylish I love this now it's from Beldre so you know that you've got quality with regards to this one and every time we have this in stock it flies out and it, we struggle to get them back now when it does come to you it does come packaged in a fabulous box so giving it as a gift for somebody absolutely perfect and it explains to you everything that you need to know about it here but it's rechargeable so I have gone for these previously where it's kind of batteries um, and you'll find that after doing one garment you've got to change the batteries and off you go again but with this one you don't have to you can plug it in charge it off and away you go and you can see within that area there and it is safe for me to run my finger over there because you've got a guard but if I stop it you might be able to see can you see how you've kind of got that blade it's almost like three arms to the blade and that is where you've got your cutting area so just bear that in mind that is protected it's under there and the reason it needs to be protected is because you don't want it to make direct contact with your fabrics because otherwise it'll just shred them so you've got that there now if I press the button off it goes so there you go it is now ready for action and you've got it literally that you can just move it over your garment and you can almost hear it munching away at those little bubbles that are there and what it will do is it will take those little bubbles the bubbles that, that are kind of through the friction on the surface and it's just literally grazing the surface of your fabric it's not cutting into the fibers um, but it's taking away those little bubbles now obviously if something's knitted I don't want it to go too deep into that fabric because it's going to cut the fabric or cut the yarn should I say next thing you know you kind of got a Tom and Jerry moment and it's all unraveling so with this you don't have to worry about it it's all been absorbed in there now I've not actually seen this before but you've got a little padlock here so that is shown at the moment it's on the little line there which is locked and then you've got an open padlock so if you twist it just slightly to the um, the left and then oh look at that fluff look at that my goodness wow 
So that has been uh, giving you that fabulous um, kind of uh, professional finish and it kind of gathers up around the edge there. So you don't need to take that blade off at all because it's protected. Pop that back in place again, just line it up. So where's my little line? There it is. Line it up um, with the, um, the open and then lock it and then again it's good to go. If you're not using it then obviously put the cover on there and you could have that hanging up couldn't you in your wardrobe or the understairs cupboard or wherever you want it to go and then it's ready to go and it's brilliant and it kind of gives your fabrics even longer with regards to um, the, the kind of durability in their life because a lot of fibres now are made fibres aren't they when you're kind of buying garments because quite often it's kind of the, um, the, the quality to give it the durability but sometimes they can bobble and you can pay a lot of money for garments only to find after a few times of wearing them that you are going to get those bobbles appear again. So yeah, having a tool like this that is going to mean that you keep it pristine for longer then uh, I think it's brilliant, brilliant idea as well. Now if you've got um, garments and you're thinking, do you know what, that coat looks really shabby, I kind of pushed it to its limit last season and, and I really could do with a new coat but I do love that coat. What about paying £17.99 and a little bit of time to actually bring it back to life and get even more use out of it as well? Um, so absolutely brilliant, um, as you can see with this one. Somebody, somebody's been tickled with this one. Pauline Wheeler's watching. <laughs> Hayley, I bought this from Sewing Street and it's brilliant. And then she's put the lint remover on me. I, think, I didn't know. For a minute then, I thought you meant you'd bought everything, Pauline. But it's only a matter of time. Um, and it's just so stylish. The thing that I love about it though is it's rechargeable and I don't think I've ever come across one that is rechargeable because you always have to get your kind of your batteries don't you and you've got your little kind of um, plug in there does it come with a cable I don't know usually if it's it might not come with the plug because they're kind of like those USB plugs that you use for your phone aren't they but it is it is in there there you go there's your cable there's your full instructions as well so uh, yeah brilliant idea as a gift even comes with a little brush there so brilliant I like that a lot I've not seen it before so not surprised that we've struggled to keep that one in stock so if it's good enough for Pauline Wheeler then it's good enough for any of us out there isn't it so there you go like that a lot so I'm gonna leave that one with you um, we've only got what what sort of quantity have we got left of those less than 20 oh my goodness that could be another one to sell out I might need to hang on to it because I haven't finished you 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 um, your scarf there yet so I'll I might need to keep it for a bit longer, but I'll put it over there just for the time being. Brilliant. Right, where are we going next? Freezer paper. Always a popular item. It's always the thing that's furthest away from me, isn't it? Thanks for that, Ben. Thank you for that, Ben. Ooh, picked up the bed. Always like, like I was in one of those claw machines then, and I got two for the price of one. Love it. Now, freezer paper. This is a must-have. Must-have in so many different scenarios. It is called freezer paper and yes you can use it for freezing items but as crafters we rarely use it for that occasion although you can do. So it's brilliant for your arts and crafts so if you're wanting to create things like stencils or you're wanting to um, create paintings or drawings or all sorts of different scenarios you can utilise that. Perfect for creating temporary stencils I would say because it's a paper you might get two or three uses out of it um, and then you go on and create others but of course you could do that if you wanted to. I I use mine predominantly for when I'm doing my quilting. Um, perfect for your applique because you can cut out your pieces, it will actually press onto your fabric temporarily and mean that you can get a pristine cutout. So it could be that you're um, printing onto this one, ironing it onto your fabric and cutting out to get a finish, um, a finish look. But then you've got the household bits where you can use it for wrapping up your food in the freezer, but also little drawer liners and stuff like that. So it's something that's always useful to have in your stash and at £7.40. 49 pence very affordable so you've actually got 50 square feet on here it's 50 inches wide and you've got um, 13 and a third yards there so if you want your um, your metric it's there and it's brilliant because it's on the roll um, and you've got two different sides to it so one side is your kind of shiny finish and that's where you've kind of got your your wax element on there the other side is your paper finish so if you've got something like an inkjet printer and I do hasten to, ha um, to add to the, say an inkjet printer don't put it through a laser printer because laser printers work with heat and wax and heat don't mix well 
but if you have got an inkjet printer you could cut this down into A4 sizes and actually print onto it, use it for your applique patterns, iron it onto your fabric and then cut around them. So it's one of those situations that's really really easy for you to get um, those results with your uh, applique and that roll is going to last and last and last isn't it? So always a wise investment of any sewer's money. So if you're wanting to get hold of yours then please do so fabulous I like that let me move that working on a similar sort of guise to that shall we talk about the tracing paper because this is talking about transferring your designs over now tracing paper can be used quite often it's used um, again in applique um, sometimes you'll use it because you're wanting to take your, your design and take it from a book or something like that so for instance you're wanting to trace it over so here you go so um, you can use it for vegetable craft paper really that's interesting um ideal uh, for transferring um tracing patterns uh, dressmaking and craft and use it with the heat transfer pencil now i don't know if we've got the pencil on the show but basically if it's the, the what i'm thinking of you use the pencil to draw on here and then you will iron it uh, to trace that design over onto your garment and then the, the actual pen or pencil should i say transfers over i think that's how this one works because it refers to the uh, the transfer pencil there but you've got a little qr code and we do like a qr code don't we because that takes you to all the information that you need to know so if you're wanting to go for your tracing paper then the details are on your screen I like that idea so i'm going to pop that to one side as well where should we go next shall we go oh should we get that out of the way because it's kind of in my eye line it's like i need to get it out of the way um, chatted about this uh, um, last week I think it was I'm trying to think who was on who we had on the show and she was talking about this but this is to take the um, kind of the, the, the heat um, when you're pressing your seams um, and it allows you to actually kind of drop down on your fabric and it keeps those presses was it Lisa Lisa or Lucy Lucy Emma I can't think who was in last week um, so you've got two points so you've kind of got your flat end You've also got your pointed end, as you can see. So that's perfect for getting into kind of like the nitty gritty because you can turn it over and get right into the corners of your projects if you wanted to. Or it might be just flat ends that you need to get into, which you can. But equally so, this flat surface that you've got here is perfect if you've got a seam that you're pressing open. And sometimes the heat goes into your fabric, but then when you move your iron away, because it slows down um, or the heat kind of slows down, um, quite a slow pace I said the word slow lots of times there but this will kind of re um, speed up the process because you'll pop that down on that seam the heat is transferred into the wood which means your fabric cools down quicker which means that seam is set in place and it's pretty much a one-time purchase isn't it You're not likely to lose that anywhere are you so 19 pounds and 99 pence very useful you've got this curved edge here as well so useful if you're working with collars and cuffs and lapels and things like that so it can get right into the knitting gritty should you need so and it's created by Millward so you know it's quality too and it's made out of beech wood so it's got a lovely look to it looks fabulous on your shelf actually in your, your craft room and it comes fully boxed as well and it's quite weighty it's probably going to cost more than three pounds 95 to post to be fair so uh, yeah like it there you go good size very useful tool um, and certainly one of the things that's worth considering when you fill in them at your craft room with bits and pieces where should we go next the rotary blade sharpener oh i saw that because this is something that i have got and i've got these in a couple of different sizes so let me show you this so this is your rotary blade sharpener now what this is going to do is to going to give you a new lease of life to your blades now i'm not saying this will mean that you'll never have to um, kind of buy more blades as time goes on but you know sometimes when you you've got a project and it just starts nicking your fabrics as you cut in but you haven't got spare blades there this will allow you to put a little bit more life into those blades that you've got so the way that it works and we've got a lovely illustration on the back here i'm not going to open up the packaging but what it shows you is you've kind of got two halves so your halves come out uh, well it's actually three because you've kind of got um a, it's like a running wheel that you've got in there and you will actually roll it along your counter surface to to get that rotation going to sharpen everything up really easy to work with just follow those instructions and for the first time the uh, first few times of using it follow the instructions as well you've also got this little kind of arc and there's magnets on the end of that which means you don't even need to make contact with that cutting blade um, so your fingers are protected 
selected and you literally will pop it in you'll lock it in place and then you literally just run it it's almost like a, you, you, a, a tape runner or something like that if you're a paper crafter um, you run it several times on your surface and that rubberized wheel there means that the, uh, the blade is rotated and it's kind of sharpened as it goes and you can get them in a variety of different sizes so this one is for your 40 um, oh no actually you can use it for both on this one you can use it for your 28 and your 40 um, 45 i've got two i wonder if it ones it must be the 65 oh we've got one here oh levi you're a little star he's good he's good so there we go so you've got your two parts now you will pull it apart literally it will pull um apart like that okay so what you would do is and you can see that it says 45 i don't know if you can see actually it says 45 mil so that's where your blade would go the center of your blade goes onto that pin and then that would go on so you'd probably put it on like that to lock it in place okay and then you put the other half on and then you could kind of roll it along the other side is for your 20 um what do you say 28 mil so you've got the two sides dependent on which of the blades that you're working with and rather than you actually picking your blade up you've got your little magnet on the end of your curly bit that means you can pick up your rotary um, blade and pop it into place like so so you're not going to lose that at all and then you've got your a cover goes over why have we got two of those covers have we got an extra one I think we're just confusing the issue because I'm looking at that thinking why have I got another one I think it might have come from another one so that's all right because I started questioning myself. Now, when you actually got your blade in there, so imagine your blade's in there, you've got this rubberized wheel that when you actually run it along the surface, it will literally, you can kind of see it going um, round as it's rotating it, and it will sharpen your blade within the housing, which means that you're giving um, a little bit more life into those blades. So, very useful tool, and at 12 99 even if it means that you kind of get, a, I don't know, a third of extra life out of your blades, it's worth doing so, isn't it? And for me, it's more so the fact that if I haven't got replacement blades and I suddenly find that I need um, a replacement blade, then uh, yes, it just gives you that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Shows how good the magnet is. Did you see it? Whee, up it goes. Love it. Um, so there you go. Got all the information there that you need. A brilliant tool, fabulous stocking filler gift for anybody, and it's just really useful to have. So twelve ninety nine, pop that one in your stash. So uh, thank you for that one. Thank you, Levi, for finding that. Um, what should we do next? Where should we go? Oh, what's this? I've not seen this before. What's this? Oh, a needle threader. Oh, I say. I might have to put my specs on to read this, which I know is it. Ah, oh, right, okay. So you insert your needle. Oh, we've got a needle inserted there. Oh, and it means that you can look through. Oh, look at that. I don't know if we've got batteries in here, have we? Oh, we have. Oh, my goodness. So you've got your needle. Now, this is something that many of us struggle with, isn't it? You've almost got like a little foam pincushion element to it there. So you will sit your needle in there. And then the magnifier that you've got, and to be honest, you could use that magnifier that way around. Well, I don't know about that way around because it'd probably make things further away. But put the light on and you can actually see where you have got that pin. And you can actually rotate it around. Look, there you go. So now, and the beauty is, because of the way that it is a stand, you could actually have your hands free getting in there as well. That is so useful to have. But you know what? I'm going to take the pin out or the needle out for a few moments because I think it'd be useful if you just need to kind of read the small print. Because you can do, can't you? In fact, that's quite big writing, so it's probably not the best to show you. Let's have a look at one of the blocks. Look at that! Oh, that's brilliant! I'm showing you a book that we're going to come up to in a minute. So that's useful to have as well. Oh, that's a useful tool. And with that little kind of light, you don't have to use it with the light if you don't want to. So what, which one am I looking at there? That way. What's that one? Going down the garden path. And there it is, garden path. So yeah, it's good magnification on there. Do we know what size the magnification is? It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Oh, where's the needle gone there? Well, there it is. 
I thought I'd love the needle for a minute then. I better put that in there before I do lose it. Um, incidentally, it all comes packaged up. A fabulous gift for somebody yet again. Um, and it actually comes with battery as well and needle threader. So nice idea. Tailors of Seville, they do things so well, don't they, when it comes to, um, to sewing. It's one of those names that you can trust. But I think that's a brilliant idea. Fabulous gift. And at $14.99, definitely worth your consideration. So there you go, leave the details with you with that one. I'm going to pass that back to Levi because he's tidying up as we go. Thank you, my darling. There you go. Oh, that block tool kit. Let me tell you about this since we were looking at it. Now, this is brilliant. This one is a library of blocks. In fact, you've got 110. And it's brilliant because it's something that just sits so easy in the palm of your hand. And this is brilliant. If you've not seen this before and you've just got started, maybe you've been watching the shows this morning with Pat and Mark and you've got your first quilt kit and you're already thinking to yourself, oh, I want to go on and learn more and more. Well, this is a lovely way for you to do so. So you've got a few different ways that you can actually use this book. I'm going to pop my specs on just to, to show you. So you've got how to use the block chart. So that's worth taking a few moments just to look at because you've got your blank blocks, you've got grayscale, your piecing and your finish block so all of that will kind of reference in here when you're looking at the charts it will tell you how many pieces you need of each of these and also the size that you need to cut it for your finished block that's the maths done for you because if you want your overall block to finish six inches and you're wanting to put four squares in there then you need them to be that two and a half inches in order for it all to come together so it might sound a little bit of gobbledygook when I say it out loud but it's got all the information in there and then you've got your chart key here so if you see the phrase w-o-o-f it means width of fabric um, it tells you the width of the fat quarters if it's a single dimension then you've got a square if you need to cut something on the diagonal you've got all of these illustrations there to help you so this is literally um, a, a kind of dictionary of different blocks so you've got blocks where they're indexed by names. So you'll notice with these, they're in alphabetical order. They've got numbers associated to them as well. But of course, because it's alphabetical, those numbers are all over the place. But you can literally go to any of these and look at that and think, well, what's that called? What's that one called? What's this one called? Some of them do have names attached to them, but some of them just kind of evolve, so they don't necessarily have a name attached to them. But that is when you look at the green um, kind of highlight section within here. So again, you've got all the different elements there. Nice thing as well, you've got your different kind of elements here with regards to your grid blocks. So whether you're wanting them a two by two, three by three divisions and variations, it's all detailed in here. And again, you've got color coded with this working your way through and you've got complexity skill level one skill level two and so on skill level three you've also got this kind of pre-cut um, section so if you have invested in your pre-cuts your charm squares your fat quarters your jelly rolls your layer cakes again it back references the different um, blocks so it's one of these things that you can pick up for instance churned that was actually on the first page that we looked at because it's there so if you were looking for blocks because you've considered yourself to be at level two, you've done a bit of sewing, you've got a bit of confidence there, you could find that block there, but also you can find it in the first section because it was there alphabetically as well. But equally so, if you've bought charm squares, you can literally find that that is a suitable um, block to create using those patches. Fat quarters, you'll see them there. You've got jelly roll, layer cakes, they're all there. And again, you've got um, some fabulous kind of tuition to do different things, little tea blocks that you've got there. Grandmother's Choice, we saw that earlier on. It's under um, skill level two. Gives you a little idea of how you can use it together, um, what sort of yardage you need, what kind of results that you get with your pre-cuts. So there's a lot of information within here that you are going to be able to reference. And it's nice whether you've got scraps that you've got in your stash because, for instance, if you wanted to do this particular block here, you can see it's referenced A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you might have some scraps of fabrics that you just need to cut out to C. So here you'll find C. And dependent on the overall uh, size of that patch depends on the size that you need. Um, so, for instance, if you've only got a two inch piece, trim it to an inch and three quarters. And that will be a component for a four inch block or a four inch patch. <coughs> Love it. I like it. I've never looked that closely at this one. I knew there was a lot of information in there, but didn't realise just how much. So 
brilliant one 14.99 very affordable brilliant idea um, and definitely one worth considering and you've got hints and tips in there um, and as i say going right the way through all the different skill levels little technique that we saw there so that's a technique that we saw um, previously from um, pat and mark <coughs> oh got tickle excuse me um, you can see there your yardage there for your triangles and then a little bit about lovely Debbie who is the person who put the book together in the first place I like that oh better if you had coffee like that idea um, and uh, as you saw on there on the screen a little review so uh, yeah there you go and say goodbye to that but if you need to know any more information you'll find it on the website to that where shall we go next the magic square Oh, this one here right now this is something that popped into my head when we were having a chat earlier on um, with the lovely Maria now Maria was here with old made new um, and it's old made as in M-A-I-D um, and uh, she kind of worked with um, kind of heritage embroidery and things like that and she was talking about conditioning your threads because some of the metallic threads that she works with um, can unravel um, and she was talking about kind of using a little bit of wax and things like that to actually condition the thread well this is a little tool that will do that for you now I've not seen this before but I think is it in that little bit there there you go so there you go you've kind of got your little wax element there now the idea being is that you can either um, run your strip through I think you'll run your thread through that can't you if I, I'm gonna put my glasses on just to make sure I've understood it right yes so you've got um, you in fact I think that might have turned over I think it's supposed to be on that side is it meant to be on the other side that's what that's what threw me so there we go that's where it's meant to sit that makes sense that's your lid but it's stuck to the lid so when you look at the instructions you'll see where you've kind of got these little grooves at the side here and the idea is, is that you run your thread through those little grooves there and run it across the wax and then you'll close it and literally pull your thread through so as it passes through the conditioner it's kind of got that wax it's kind of wax but it doesn't make it too waxy so please don't think that it's kind of well, it's better than wax it's not actually called wax that you've got in there so it kind of does that trick for you so really really clever idea also it's got a thread cutter so dare I say if you are a person that likes to sew on a plane you can't take your scissors with you can you so there you go you've got a little thread cutter in there so you could actually cut your threads as you go as well and you've got that little bit of web in there which is all important because you don't want to lose your lid your lid is attached to the main body of it and you just literally will cover that up it can sit within your little sewing bag really easy and it's just a very useful little tool to have and i just think a lovely little stocking filler that one it's a brilliant idea there so whether you're into your hand piecing if you're into your embroidery if you simply want to condition your thread before you thread um, up your sewing machine then you can do so a really clever idea and a nice little gadget so we like a gadget and again taylor seville know what they're doing don't they know what they're doing right should we have a look at some fabrics because i've been talking about tools for a little while now haven't we so let's talk about some fabrics and we have got i'm going to bring them all in together actually if i can <gasps> look at these now you could be forgiven for thinking that is sequin fabric it's not it's actually printed on there which is amazing um, and all of these are your extra wide fabrics i'm showing you them all we will go through them individually and give you the details in a few seconds but they are beautiful and they're extra wide which means they are perfect for backing your quilts which means uh, now is the time to shop for these but saying that you could use them on the front of your quilts you could use them for garment making if you want it it's entirely up to you we won't come round to your house and take it back from you if you're not using it on the back of your quilt <laughs> you can use it however you like but saying that would you want to put that on the back of a quilt when you've got all those gorgeous colors i mean look at this this is fabulous you're getting all the colors in here look at that now the price on your screen 12.99 it's extra wide so you can see that it's 274 centimeters wide so two and three quarter meters there or thereabouts get in half a meter now this is cut to order so if you're wanting to go for multiple pieces a wider piece then just increase your quantity but this is brilliant it's a wonderful weight 
So you can see they're perfect if you're wanting to use it for the backs of your quilts. Might be that you want to use it for a garment, which you could do. Just increase the quantities to make sure you've got enough. But it's just a lovely one. And also, the length of this, if you wanted to use this and cut it into strips and use it for bag handles and things like that, then I think they'd look fabulous. Pick out any colour that you like. So uh, rainbow sequins nice one and you can kind of lose, use little segments if you want to don't have to have it as a complete run it's an automatic ombre look with that and it does look sparkly doesn't it very clever very clever like that one a lot so there you go 12.99 if you fancy getting hold of that one i can't get over the way that it just looks like sequins when you're looking at it i'm just going to move that out of the way because it's a bit of a distraction that particular there so there we go i can see you know Right, let's move that out of the way. Now, can we go to, are we doing these in order, Ben? Yeah, do them in order, why not? Because they're some nice fabrics. Now, this is nice. See, this one, um, again, fabulous. Um, I mean, we, perfect for you to use on the back of your quilts again. But look at that for a fabric. I mean, if you're wanting to make anything, half metre of this for 12 99 when you consider this way from salvage to salvage you've got nearly two and three quarter meters then that is amazing and it's a brilliant it's kind of like a geometric print but it's almost like splodges and i love it maybe i don't know would you say it's a um quite a, 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 a masculine fabric i don't like saying that though because i like that and I, i'm not a bloke <laughs> so there you go I think anybody would use this. Got a nice kind of mixed media feel to it. So if you're creating things like, I don't know, um, tablet um, uh, wallets for things like your iPad and stuff like that, I think that would work well. Um, little computer bags, like that a lot. I'm, I'm back on fri Friday with my um, hobby bag. And I'm just thinking to myself, that would make a fabulous hobby bag actually. So. Hmm, I might make a note of some item numbers before Friday, so there we go. Popping that one to the side, 12 99 that one has, thank you very much. Now, the little fireflies are back. Little fireflies. Oh, I've got a group of angels in my ears, like a little angelic chorus. Beautiful. It'd be lovely if it was in tune. <laughs> now look at this this is cute i love these these little fireflies so you've got the little fireflies with that little glow in these so cute so cute i've got i think i've got that upside down haven't i let me turn that around i think that's the right way around. there you go because they're antennae there and they're little glowing bottoms and the thing that I love about this as well, it's kind of that glow that is created with the, the little fireflies. It illuminates other parts of the, the leaves as well. So really cute. Beautiful. Heather Rose is the designer behind that. Sorry, Heather, is it Heather Ross? Heather Ross, I do apologise. Beautiful. Lovely quality as well. So uh, nice fabric. Extra wide again, 274 centimetres wide. Um, and just a really good value for money piece of fabric as well. It's almost like a little um, clover leaf there, isn't it? I like it. Nice feel, that one. Bit of fun and very affordable. like it. Pop that one to one side. Um, now, onion rings. Is that what we've called? Is that what we've nicknamed this one, onion rings? I like it. Oh, now if you like a quilt design of a wedding ring, maybe you've done a quilt with a series of wedding rings on the front to use that for your block, then for continuity, this would be fabulous on the back, wouldn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, two, um, 274 centimetres wide. And you've got all these beautiful fabrics that you could pick out detail from. Solids in there, a little bit of tartan going on as well nice and you've got your gray your black beige tones warm almost like a tan tone that you've got with this one as well beautiful absolutely gorgeous love it quality again is there through and through and at 12 pounds and night also 13.99 do apologize on this one then uh, yeah i like it lovely nice one as well nice one nice and then oh no we've got two left i've got two left so this one, what we're calling this one then, if gobstoppers. 
See, I was thinking planets. But it could be gobstoppers. Is it a fabulous fabric? Though I love it. This is good fun. Now this one's twelve ninety nine for your half meter. Again, two hundred and seventy four um, centimeters wide. I would go for a couple of quantities of this one, and then you've got your two and a half, um, well, two and three quarter meters in effect by a meter. And I think you've got enough there to make a reasonable size um, shirt or something like that. But isn't it fabulous? and so easy to pick out another colour. So maybe you're creating a quilt that's kind of got that circular theme on the top, or just because you like the look of it. I just think it looks like fun. Fun fabric, that one. Um, 12 99 nice one for bags as well. I think you could have some fun with that as well. And it could be that you're picking out some of these from your blenders, from your solids, and, and kind of using that for your lining, or the other way around. Like it can use it whichever way you so choose border fabric main fabric quilt blacking it's it, blah, 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 quilt, <laughs> quilt backing put my teeth back in it's however you want to use it so there you go that is our last but one and then we're going from circles to kind of like a titan Ooh. I'm just literally folding it in Levi's at the side bless him and he's doing it all so neat I do apologize if I've just kind of been thrown at him um, mind you, is it John that throws them? I've seen John on it. He literally just... Whew, it's like a frisbee. Oh, yeah. oh. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't throw it. I couldn't throw anything at Levi. It's fabulous. Adorable. He's looking after me today. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So a bit of... It's kind of like a tartan plaid, but it's not. Because it's almost like squares. But I like the style of it. Very geometric. Oh, thank you, darling. Very geometric. And again, loads of colours to pick out. Your solid black in there. You've got your white, your, your everything from those greys right the way through. It almost looks like an aerial view of somewhere like New York, doesn't it, with all the tower blocks? I love it. I do like it. And this is one that's, um, I mean, some of the others we didn't really look at, but with this one, I think, would make um, a nice little border. So there you go, if you want to do a binding on something, I think that'd work well, wouldn't it? Like it, like it. And you're going to be able to make long runs of your binding with that. In fact, if you're going for that, if you, because you can do techniques, can't you, where you kind of create bountiful amounts of um, binding without having to mitre it all. I've never had a go at it. I've watched the technique, but yet to have a go. Maybe that's the fabric to try it with. So there you go last of our beautiful fabrics again quality phenomenal with that as well so um the beauty is um it's, uh, so that's our fabric we haven't got any more fabric to, to tell with you can we have a little chat about some of the essentials that you should have in your sewing room and quite often we will have people that will come in and they'll talk about these but we don't always have them on the show so i think it's a good opportunity for you to kind of um stock up on these because they're things that we that they get mentioned we know they exist but sometimes unless the details are there on the screen you don't order them do you you think right i'll jot it down i'll get it at some point well you might have already shopped today for something maybe got the early bird or, or whatever pattern marks kits one of those fabulous embroidery kits that maria bought and your basket is now open which means that you can add this into your basket for 9.99 there's no additional post and packing. But if you come back tomorrow or in next week and you think, oh, I need to get that starch savvy, you have to start a new basket off again. And that will be an extra 3.95. So wouldn't you rather be paying 9.99 today because you've already got an order in process um, and then get yourself this. Now this is something that's brilliant for you to use on your fabrics, to stiffen your fabrics without them making too kind of um, starchy. It's got a lovely fragrance to it and we will regularly hear um, quilters come and bag makers alike that will use this to actually give a little bit of substance to their fabrics when they're sewing. So um, very affordable, um, nice trigger bottle that you've got there. You just kind of twist it and spray it um, and uh, you let it go into your fabric. And it's one of those ones that if you're working with anything that's been cut on the bias that is going to help stops that kind of um, warping of your fabric. So. If you find that you're a bit like me and you're a bit heavy handed with your fabrics, especially if you've cut on the bias, then this is going to help you get that perfect result. And it's only $9.99. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that we talk about it, 
but we don't always have um, on the show we don't always have it in stock to be fair as well so um, in September which is let's face it, it was only last month well last month it was last week wasn't it really <laughs> almost as well August it went we struggled to keep it in stock so yeah every month July August September is sold out potentially it will go in October we're, still, we're okay at the moment though beginning of October but uh, yeah there you go if you fancy getting hold of that you can do your starch savvy like that so um basting spray now this is so useful and we will again we will hear people talk about this one june taylor again fabulous brand and this is wonderful when you don't want it's like pins in a spray can <laughs> that's the only way i can describe it so you've got your spray um, that you'll literally you will spray this onto your your wadding you don't spray it onto your fabric itself because sometimes you can leave like little marks so the thing about this is it's been made to use as a temporary adhesive on your fabrics which will in turn be stitched by your sewing machine so not all um, temporary adhesives are the same so this one is perfect for basting your quilt layers or your embroidery um, and uh, yeah multi use different types of, of fabric and it gives you your full instructions here if you're using it for your quilting if you're using it for your embroidery you can use it in both ways so yeah definitely want to go for a um, good size bottle um 13.99 so yeah why not get hold of that one as well so there we go got that i'm gonna pop that one to the side as well um uh, where should we go next the eye cleaner oh this is brilliant this is, i've got one of these i've got one of these visaline one of those brands that we don't own love isn't it and this is brilliant because this stops you having a mucky iron and i think i can see it over at the side there oh levi's on it thank you very much my dear so this is brilliant you never want to be without this and this is one where it's worth having several of these because the idea being is it will actually go onto the sole plate of your iron you can see um, I've not got this particular one, but I don't think it comes at an angle, does it? Has somebody been using this one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say I thought it was a, um, a block piece, but yeah. So literally you will rub this over your iron sole plate and what it does is it actually takes off all the mucky bits. So if you've kind of um, stayed on an area um, uh, when you've been pressing and it's left a mark because the fabric's melted or maybe it's one um, your uh, bonder web or something like that, then you will literally use that on your sole plate of your iron oh go on then thank you Levi. I've got the iron we've actually got I think somebody's already got to this one because it's not a bad iron but the idea being is you literally you've got the little holder there so your fingers aren't anywhere near the sole plate this hasn't been plugged in but you literally just rub that over um, and it kind of takes have a look at this yuck is that Haley's iron Haley Marshall says iron <gasps> she should be ashamed but there she goes she starts cleaning it up rub 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 scrub 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 and put it over onto obviously a waste bit of fabric just to wipe away but look at that it looks like a brand new iron and 4.99 is a lot less to pay than buying a brand new iron and you think about the the problems that you can have especially if you've got other people in your um, family who use the, not necessarily the iron that you would sew with but sometimes people will go over motifs that are on t-shirts and all sorts and they can make a right mess can't it so one thing i will say though once you have used it make sure you give it a good clean because you don't want the residue of the cleaner actually on your fabrics and things so um, get the steam because the steam it might go into the little holes as well and it gets it all out there but all the instructions are on it so you don't have to worry about it. it's nice and easy for you to to work with so um, there you go um, details are on your screen here what else have we got we're gonna have a little look oh pins now we have got a fabulous array of pins so I'm gonna bring these in oh that's in the, out the packet these I need to get these and I've seen so many people work with them and I'm thinking I must get them I must get them and I keep forgetting to order them that situation again isn't it i saw them demonstrated thought i need to get them the item number wasn't there on the screen so i haven't ordered them but it's there now so these are brilliant now taylor seville they do a whole range of different pins for all sorts of different scenarios and these are brilliant and the thing that i love about this they actually put a pin so as you can see it in the package in there so these ones are your fine detail ones now pins 
pins is one of the areas where we are always naughty we don't replace our pins and sometimes what can happen is you can kind of get that shot that runs through your fabric um, because you've tried to put a pin in place and it's literally pushed the threads around if you try using a pin and it doesn't go through your fabric first time don't try a second third fourth time it's not going to make any difference it means that that pin is not sharp enough anymore it's not going to mean that you can kind of resharpen it i think there are ways that you can resharpen them but really who's got the time why would you do that so these are your patchwork um, pins so they're ultra fine you can see they're half a mil um, wide you've got a reasonable length with regards to the actual body of the pin but what you have got is a fabulous handle there that allows you to pull those out now these are heat resistant so this is something else that i have found is i picked up pins thought they were glass head pins put them into my fa fabric pressed only to find that they're actually plastic beads in the pins the heat of the iron makes them melt goes onto your fabrics you can imagine the rest of the story so with this this is brilliant you're going to use them in that little case there and each one of the different pins that we see from taylor seville are color coded as well so that's always useful and it's the packaging that will be um, color coded so you can see here you could keep that there and know that that's exactly what they do i don't know if it actually mentions it on the packaging I'm not sure but, uh, but there you go so those those are your magic pins for your patchwork you got 100 pins there as you can see but we're going to bring in the next one which i think these are both packs of the same have we got singles or doubles of these we've got 50 or 100 right so pack of 50 i think this is a pack of 50 so these they come in a lovely little case as well so with these again look at those they're beautiful beautiful and again, look at that. They're just so easy to hold. They lay flat as well. And because you've got that fabulous length on these particular ones, actually an inch and three quarters, you can almost weave these through your fabrics if you need to. Absolutely brilliant, love these. Um, 50 pins, and we've got a couple of ways for you to get hold of these. 12.99 for your 50 pins. We have got 100 coming up in a few moments, so it's down to personal choice. But they are just useful to have. Um, and again, with the little handle um, on there, that heat resistant handle, it makes sense. Different colors with these. So <coughs> we've got a price of what, 12.99 for 50. Okay, I'm gonna swap the details out now for the 100 so they look the same they're the same pins 19.99 so it's that seven pounds more <coughs> seven pounds more for double the quantity i'm just gonna have a quick slurp excuse me a moment bit of a tickle bit of a tickle but we're all right so yeah double the size but not double the money makes sense doesn't it does make sense to go for those and you can never have too many pins can you always useful to have oh oh yes there is another pack i'm just it said our last pack of pins and i'm like going okay i just spied them now i don't think i've seen these ones before applique pins oh okay now these oh look at these look at dinky ones so these are brilliant in fact i've got something i can lay them down on because with my big my big chunky fingers. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see it there? There we go. Oh, it's moving round now. How dinky is that little pin? Now, the inch um, length that we've got on these, I think it must be from the tip to the point. I've never measured them actually before. I've always thought it was the actual pinage. But I think an inch would be from the... the t Do you know what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's woken everybody up. Should we measure them? So there you go. Now we know they are an inch from the tip to the tip. And I didn't know. I wasn't sure that because what I quite often I think the last ones I said were an inch and three quarters. And I don't know why I always thought it was that pinage area. Is pinage an actual word? I don't know. It is now. And these are brilliant. I'm actually going to use the, the, the pressing mat that we've got here because if you imagine you've got your applique and you're wanting to put these in place, then you can do that very, very easily. Um, useful for maybe putting pieces in and, and kind of keeping them in place um, as you're pressing them as well. Um, I mean, we've been talking about quilting pins, but sometimes you might have um, a little quilt 
um, patch that you want into pin out and actually press where you can use these as well I mean there are lots of kind of um, blocking out pins and things like that but so these ones are your applique pins you can get 50 of those um, and uh, very fine perfect for your applique now uh, this mat for a few moments I thought at the beginning of the show I thought what have I bought why have I bought that in I've actually got this at home <laughs> I thought somehow I'd managed to bring it with me to work but I haven't but these are brilliant these are fabulous now when they come to you they are beautifully packaged and it's brilliant because it's um, a quilter as multi back we say quilters I use it in lots of different ways it's kind of got four mats in one and this is brilliant because you will see how you can use these in the different ways but ultimately what you've got is an area that you can utilize for a cutting mat so if you go into classes and workshops brilliant idea because you've got a cutting mat which has got centimeters as well as inches now for you to get imperial as well as a metric on a cutting mat in this size is brilliant but what's got your angles pat was talking about the 60 degree angles earlier on when she was doing the the, the triangles for the um the bag that she was making 45 degree angle there as well going that way and also that way as well so for your mitring when you're joining your pieces and your uh, your binding absolutely perfect you've also got the flip side which is your pressing area so good firm surface there for when you're pressing out your pieces as you can see with there um, so those two incredibly useful to start with now if you are working and you're wanting to lay out your pieces then what you can actually do is lay them out on here which is very very easy for you to do so but also if you're wanting to stop your fabrics from moving in transit you can put them on here and you will find that they won't move it's almost like a, a fine sandpaper so if you're piecing your your elements together then that is a lovely way of using it and also you've got that kind of wrap around which will keep them in place um, if you wanted to as well so yeah useful little tool that one all beautifully packaged so if you wanted to give it as a gift for somebody then you can do so what would I recommend you do consider um, well let's go for the signed winder because this is something that we always use isn't it if we're sewing you need your bobbins and this is a brilliant way for you to literally sit um, and wind your bobbins up without actually having to go to your machine so you've got a very very portable little side winder it's battery operated and again it's one of those tools that's going to be incredibly useful it's such a frustrating thing to find when you are sewing that your bobbin runs out and you need to take everything off your machine to start winding your bobbin up so this is just a lovely way for you to actually wind your bobbins you can get multiple but different brand bobbins to fit on that little um, bobble there and then it will wind it up full instructions so if you need to know the path of where your thread goes then it's all in, included on there you've got a little tension there so you can kind of wind the tension knob if you need to but it's all instructions in there a fabulous gift again anybody that's um, getting a sewing machine for a birthday or Christmas gift then that is just a lovely little additional gift to go alongside it and just very useful nice as a treat for yourself as well so yeah simplicity name that we trust isn't it when it comes to sewing um, and there you go battery operated portable bobbin winder love it so there you go fancy getting hold of those so there you go so I've had a lovely morning with you this morning thank you for your company if you have just joined us where have you been we've had a lovely day we had the fabulous Maria here and wonderful Pat and Mark and tomorrow we're gonna have a fabulous day as well because guess who's back Vicky yay did you see her in the week she came in with a little little bundles of goodies I don't know whether she'll be bringing the babies with her. it might be a bit of a distraction although I know we will have lots of people who'll be more than willing to look after those beautiful little bundles um, when she's here at work so yes welcoming Vicky back at ATM I know she will be thrilled if you can join her tomorrow morning so yeah um, lovely lady first time I met her was in the week and she's adorable so yeah make sure that you do uh, tune in 8 a.m uh, 9 a.m we've got um sandy Ki sandy christmas is that scandy 
Scan, I've never heard of a Sandy Christmas, although I suppose if you're in Australia, it could be. Um, so I think it's meant to be Scandy, and the lovely Cara is going to be showing us that one. She's going to be back a little bit later on in the day with stitched um, textiles concentrating on animals. Perfect pre-cuts as well. That's going to be a lovely hour, isn't it, for Vicky? All that gorgeous fabric in that 10 o'clock show. And then, as I say, Cara back at 11 before we have a, a concentrated look at sewing machines at 12 through till 1. I don't know if Vicky's got guests for those shows that we we've got kind of interspersed there so it might be nice if you do join her um, because it's always good to have a bit of company in these solo shows so thank you very much I'm not sure when I'm back with you here um, at Sewing Street I'm coming back to guests because I've got a handmade by Hayley on Friday how could I forget that thank you Ben um, so on Friday my brand handmade by Hayley is the first airing here on Sewing Street now some of you know my journey you know how I, I make patterns and different bits and pieces well this is the first time I've designed fabric panels so I'm a little bit nervous but the idea is that they're simple panels for quick makes so if you've never sewn before it's going to be a really easy way for you to kind of put a project together but if you are um, a seasoned sewer then you can kind of use them in different ways Ways to maximize the use of those so that's going to be 9 a.m. on Friday then um, 11 a.m. I am going to be back with the mocker block and my quilting rule um, uh, well, rule set should I say so in that one you've got your binding square you've got your patch maker square and your quilt rule which to be honest it kind of came about through need because I used to get confused with all the markings on a quilting rule so I wanted to strip it back and that's where it all evolved so we will see you um, on Friday um, Friday at 11 o'clock with regards to that one as well um, and the mocker block is all about designing your um, your blocks as well so nice easy way for you to do so as well so lots going on but there's a lot going on throughout the week anyway and on Friday it's John Scott that I'm going to be working with so I am very much looking forward to that so uh, um, yeah should be a good week so I am going to say goodbye to you thank you for your company um, hopefully you join me on Friday and hopefully I'll get to present here on Sewing Street again soon so thank you thank you for your company bye for now <laughs>